Guys, I'm starving. Me too, dude. Uh, guys, why is there toilet paper and mustard on the couch? Because we're gonna eat it. Wait, toilet paper and mustard? That's my favorite. Mine too. <laughs> Ew, we can't eat toilet paper. Well, dude, not without mustard we can. You have to have mustard. Mm -hmm. No, no, I mean we can't eat toilet paper at all. That's gross. Have you ever tried it? No. Dude, don't knock it if you haven't tried it. You have to try everything once, Cody. Mm-hmm. That's what my uncle told me. Yeah, I don't really agree with him, but that's how he got me to do the head, shoulders, knees, and toes dance. Head, shoulders, knees, and toes, 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 Cody, you gotta try the toilet paper. It's delicious. No, Junior, that's disgusting. Well, what if the first caveman in 800 BC was walking through the jungle and he saw a double cheeseburger and he's like, ew, don't eat that. That's a double cheeseburger. But through the jungle? Junior, where do you think double cheeseburgers come from? The ground. That's why it's called ground beef. Duh. No, no, Junior, they come from cows. So it comes from your mom? Oh, burn! Hey, hey, waiter, can I order a Cody's mom burger? Bring it on a huge plate because she's fat. <laughs> you know what, guys? We are not eating toilet paper. Uh No, I didn't. Yes, you did. When you did that toilet paper, you said, I hope it breaks your piggy bank, Junior. I didn't say that. Dude, he totally said that. Yeah, you said it, Cody. And you're, all four of your eyes look really mean when you said it. Oh, yeah, he, he was looking at you with a vengeance, dude. Yeah, you looked vicious. Well, guys, it was an accident. You were an accident. Well, yeah, but Junior, I couldn't do that again if I wanted to. Yeah, because I only have one piggy bank, but if I had another piggy bank, you'd do it again because you have laser precision accuracy. Mm -hmm. Junior, you called my mom fat because I wouldn't eat toilet paper. Oh, so since I called your mom a factual name, you resulted to violence? Who's next? Yeah, who's next? Next, me? Yeah, you're gonna punch Joseph in the face? What are you gonna do? You're gonna rob me? All my money's on the ground in the kitchen because you broke my piggy bank. What are you gonna do? St steal Chef Me's wallet? No, no, guys, all I did was throw a roll of toilet paper. Oh, all I did was throw a roll of toilet paper. You make it sound like the bad thing you did wasn't that bad. Oh, all I did was key a car. All I did was throw rocks through your windows. All I did was unplug your grandma from life support. Junior, that's not the same. It is the same. They're all bad things. Oh, you don't know the difference between bad and, and right? Oh, oh, okay. Oh, like, uh, you know, Cody, if you hit somebody with your car, that's bad. But yeah, I know, Junior. Okay, look, I'll buy you another piggy bank. Oh, you'll buy me another piggy bank? Like, it's Replaceable? What if my grandma, who you unplugged from my support, bought me that piggy bank? And it was it was priceless. Well, it's not priceless, Junior. You bought it from like a dollar store or something. Oh, okay, so I can burn your house down tonight and just buy you a new one and everything's better? Well, no, because my house is worth more. Oh, your house is worth more? So now your stuff's more valuable than mine? Oh, oh, it's Junior's. It's not worth anything. But since it's on Cody, all my stuff's really valuable. Well, well, yeah, my house is more valuable than your piggy bank. You don't know that. Okay, I'm burning your house down tonight. I'm just gonna do that. I'm gonna go on Zillow, look up the estimate for your house, and I'm gonna burn your house down. Well, Junior, I threw a roll of toilet paper, so now you're threatening me with arson? I don't know who arson is, but me, Junior, I'm gonna burn your house down tonight. Junior, if you do that, I'm calling the police. Oh, you're calling the police? Shouldn't you call the fire department? It's a fire. What are the police gonna do? Arrest the fire? Like, bad fire. Put your hands behind your back. Well, okay, I'll call both. Okay, well, then we'll go, go call both, because I'm, I'm heading to your house right now to burn your house down. Well, okay, I'll do that. Oh, now you're going to run from your problems? Like, oh, I'm just going to leave. Classic Cody. Yeah, classic Cody. Breaking people's stuff and calling the police and the fire department for no reason. Come on, Joseph. Let's give him a reason to call. I'm going to go burn his house down. Oh, let's do it, dude. All right, Joseph. We're at Cody's house. Try to light it on fire. Are you sure, dude? This is not my first time. Light it on fire. I want to see his house burn down. Okay, say less. <laughs> oh, it's lighting. <laughs> Guys, what are you doing? Ah, Cody, well, what are you doing here? I live here. Oh, oh, oh we, we didn't know that. We, we thought it was a random house. Yep, yep. Wait, are you guys trying to burn my house down with a lighter? But yeah, it's gonna work. Joseph, light it. Oh, I got you, dude. <laughs> it's not gonna work. My house is made of brick. Well, then how'd the wolf do it with the three little pigs? He huffed and he puffed and he blew the houses down. Joseph, start blowing. Uh, guys, it didn't even work in the story. It's not gonna work now. All right, Joseph, let's rent a wrecking ball and knock his house down. Okay, we can do that, dude. Guys, just go home. What, 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 why do you want us to go home? Do, do, you, do you like your house or something? What, yeah. Well, why don't you marry your house? <laughs> hey, Cody in his house, sitting on the foundation. K-I-S-S-I-N-G. First comes the mortgage, and then comes the payment, and then comes up with the baby carriage. Yeah. Hey, go marry your house, weirdo. Weirdo. Can you guys just please go home now? You know what, Cody? You're going to get what's coming for you. It's called karma, so you're going to get what's coming to you, so we don't have to do anything. Come on, George. Let's get out of here. All right, dude. I'll try to light. Try to light. <laughs> Guys, stop it. Just go. Oh, we almost had it, dude. Oh, Joseph, I really wanted to burn his house down. Oh, me too, dude. Uh, but I guess his house was flame retarded. Yeah, he does love his house. It's so special. Yeah. Do you know any way to get him back? Oh, dude, we could poop in the bag, put it right in front of his door, and then light the bag on fire. He has to stomp the bag out and put the fire out, and then his shoes are covered in poop. <laughs> well, 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 Joseph, when he sees the bag on fire, he's not going to want to step on the fire. He's not, he doesn't want to burn his foot. 
Ooh, I got a better idea. What if we poop in a bag, yeah. and then we write on the bag with Sharpie, please step on bag, and he's gonna be like, oh wait, that bag wants me to step on it. He's gonna start stepping on it, and he gets poop all over his shoes. You know what, I like that better, dude. Because you asked please, he's gonna do it. Yeah, he's gonna say, please step on bag, I gotta do it. Uh, 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 uh. <laughs> Ew, poop. Oh, let's go get a bag, let's do it. Yeah, I got a poop already. All right, Joseph, that bag's full of poop, check. Okay. Oh, dude, yeah, it's full of poop. Oh, it smells disgusting. Yeah, it's so gross. Cody's gonna open the door, he's gonna see, please step on me, he's gonna step on it. He's like, it's saying please, it has good manners. Oh yeah, he's definitely gonna step on it. His foot is gonna be a magnet to this bag. He's gonna be like, stop, stop, stop. Stop, stop. Oh, am I stepping in poop? I think I like it. <laughs> oh, I, I'm gonna knock on the door so Cody can answer, okay? Okay, dude. Okay, and. Run! <laughs> <laughs> oh, Joseph, I can't believe we just did that. Dude, that was hilarious. Oh, I know. We literally pooped in a bag and put it in his front door. Dude, do you think he stepped on it? Oh, I think he's stepping on it right now. <laughs> he, he's like, stop, stop, stop. <laughs> and there's poop going everywhere in his eyes oh, and everything. Man. Oh, man. Oh, <laughs> My phone's ringing. Oh, that's probably him. Oh, I bet it is. Is it him? Is it him? Yeah, it's him. I'm answering it right now, okay? okay. Shut up, shut up. No, you shut up. You shut up. <laughs> uh, <laughs> hello? Junior, did you leave a bag of poop outside my front door that says, please step on me? <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm going to take that as a yes. No. No, we, we didn't do that, but... Did you step on it? No. What, well, then how'd you know there was poop in it? Yeah, turtles! Turtles! <laughs> I, I just opened it up and I saw there was poop inside. No, you totally stepped on a coach. <laughs> yeah, feces foot. Oh, feces foot. Ah! I didn't step on it. How'd you not step on it? Cause, Cause the bag said, please step on me. So you totally stepped on it. What? No, I wouldn't do that just because a bag told me to. You totally stepped on it. Yeah, poopy paws. Poopy paws. <laughs> I did not step on the poop bag. Yeah, you, you, you did. That's why you're so mad, Connor, because you're washing your feet. I can hear the bathtub right now. <laughs> no, I'm mad because you left a bag of poop outside my front door. But we didn't do that. Junior, whose poop was that? Me and Joseph's. <laughs> did you see that at McDonald's earlier? No, no, right I, I didn't notice that. It's really bad. <laughs> I'm gonna hang up now, Junior. Oh yeah, well you have to go wash your feet. No. Yeah, okay, okay. Yeah, okay. McDonald's poop on his foot. <laughs> Okay, go wash your feet, Cody. <laughs> yeah. Hello. He hung up. Oh. <sighs> okay, but look, I, I don't feel like I got payback completely. Like, he can wash his feet, but I can't wash my broken piggy bank. That is true, dude. Ooh. What? I got the perfect idea. I'll download a fake texting app, and I'll text him and say he's gonna die tonight. Dude, that is genius. Best prank of 2020. Yeah, he's gonna, he's gonna, he's not gonna lose all his sleep. He's not gonna be able to sleep at night. He's gonna think, oh, who's trying to kill me? Who's trying to kill me? <laughs> and no one's trying to kill him. Oh, bro, that is so smart. I waste his time, 2020. Yes, let's do it. All right, so I'm gonna go download a fake texting app. Come on. Okay. All right, Joseph. I downloaded a texting app, and I texted Cody. I said. Hey, Cody, you better not go to sleep tonight because I'm going to kill you. Oh, dude. I also said, I'm also going to eat your pet goldfish. Oh, I bet he's so nervous right now trying to protect that goldfish. I know. He's so in love with his pet goldfish. He won't stop talking about it. I know, dude. Junior. Oh, oh well, well, what's up, Cody? Well, what do you have your phone? Did you just text me threatening to kill me and eat my pet goldfish? What? No. Did somebody text you and say that? Yeah, and whoever it was obviously doesn't know me because I don't have a pet goldfish. What? You don't have a pet goldfish? No, I never have. I totally thought you had a pet goldfish and you were in love with that thing. Nope. Uh, Joseph, I gotta go use the bathroom. Dude, why are you telling me? Just go. Joseph, did Junior text me? Uh, uh, no, dude. Uh, why would you ask? Well, because I know he's mad at me and it seems like the kind of thing he would do and he's done a lot of other really weird things tonight. Oh, he would never do that, dude. What's this? Never mind, I thought you had a pet goldfish. Still gonna kill you, though. Ha 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 ha, co-dweeb. Oh, man, I just got done using the bathroom. So what's up, Codeweeb? Junior, you just texted me while you were in the bathroom. Uh, no, I didn't. I didn't have my phone. Oh, I got a little battery. Junior, they called me Codeweeb, and you're the only person that calls me that. What, well, Codeweeb? That's a really good nickname. But, uh, Cody, I did not text you. I didn't even have my phone in the bathroom. I was just washing my hands. J Junior, I know it's you. It's not me, Cody. I, it's Scout's Honor. Y you're not a scout that doesn't mean anything to me. Cody, would I ever do anything mean to you? Junior, you tried to burn my house down earlier, and then after that, you put a bag of poop outside my front door. Okay, and you stepped in it. No, I did it. You turned toes. You turned toes. Cody, look, I did not text you. That's not me, I promise. I swear on my life, I did not text you. Okay, so it's really not you. It's not me. Well, then I'm going to call the police because someone's threatening my life. Well, at least you're going to call the right person this time. You're not going to call the fire department over a crime. <laughs> All right, I'm going to go call them. Uh, 
He's such an idiot. I totally had my fingers crossed when I swore on my life. Oh, you're so smooth, dude. I know, smooth. Hey there, this kid says you've been sending him death threats? What? Me? No. Yes, you, Junior. Joseph, you've been my boy for years. Yup. Would I do anything bad like that? Nope. See, officer, I would not send bad messages like that. Cody's a nerd, and he wanted to sit at the popular table at lunch, and I wouldn't let him because he's ugly, and so now he's just getting back at me by trying to get me arrested. Why would you lie to me? I'm not lying to you. He's the one that's lying. Well, I'm not lying. I know it's illegal to lie to a police officer. Yeah, that's right. We have a pretty easy way of figuring out who sent the messages. See, I have a software that can track the message to see what phone it came from. So whenever we find that person, they're going to jail. What? Jail? Yeah, jail. What, you go to jail for sending messages? Yeah, sending death threats is illegal. Well, 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 what if it was just a big joke? Well, it doesn't matter if it's a joke, it's still illegal. Well, what if the person messages and says this whole thing was a joke, don't take it seriously? Well, did he do that? No. Uh, well, hold on, I, I gotta go use the bathroom. Huh, this thing was a joke, don't take it seriously. Huh. Uh, man, I just got back from using the bathroom, I was really quick with that. Huh. No, hold on. That guy sent a text message while you were in the bathroom. Hmm. This means something, but... But what? It means it's him! Officer, it's not me! Look, just because the guy coincidentally sent a text message while I was in the bathroom doesn't mean it was me. It's not me. Look, I promise it's not me. Go trace the number, and it's not gonna come back to me. Okay, we're gonna trace the number, and we're gonna figure this out. Well, but officer, uh, hypothetically, if it was me, and I hypothetically smash my phone, would you be able to trace to my phone? Well, no, because your phone's broken, so we wouldn't be able to find it. Okay, so I, I just want to know that. Wait, why would you ask me that? Because the new iPhone 12 is coming out, and I really want it. So if I smash my phone on YouTube for views, I'll, I'll make that YouTube money, and I can buy the new iPhone 12. Oh, yeah, that's a great idea. Make sure you get it slow mo That'd be awesome. Yeah, I'm totally going to do that. I'm going to go break my phone. <sighs> I'm sorry, Thomas. <laughs> <laughs> This is how I type. This is how I type. This is how I type, 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 type. All right, let's track that message. All right, I just smashed my phone. Dude, Smashville population one? What? Yep, so I smashed my phone. Hey, officer, any luck tracing that number? Huh, that's weird. I can't seem to find the phone anywhere. All I'm getting is HelenKellerSimulated.org. Well, I don't know what to tell you. I guess you can't trace it. What? He obviously smashed his phone so you wouldn't be able to find it. Well, no, no, he said he was going to make a YouTube video of him smashing his phone. Wait, kid, where's the video? What video? The video you smashing your phone. Oh, darn it, I forgot to record it. Huh, that's kind of suspicious. But then again, I forget stuff all the time. Like the other day, I forgot to not cheat on my wife. Can you believe that? It's like, oops, shouldn't have done that. Yeah, I'm so forgetful, but... I guess since you can't trace the number, we should just stop it here. The case is closed, right? Yeah, it's too bad. I really want to know who did it. Yeah, the case is closed. Wait, what's this? What? Cody, you're still going to die. What? Die, Cody, die? What, Junior, how are you doing this? Well, I'm not sending those messages. My, my phone smashed. Wait, wait but it, it was you before, though, right? Well, yeah, but, but now it's not me. Wait, th then who's doing this? Look, Cody, look, 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 look at my hand. I'm not doing it. I'm totally not doing it. Look, look, my phone is smashed. I can't be sending those texts. You, you can track the message, though, right? But yeah, yeah, I can do that. All right, let's see who this is. Type, 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 type. Uh-oh. What? The messages seem to be coming from inside the house. Well, really? Yeah. And, and if you're here, then uh-oh. Oh, can you see what, 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 what part of the house it's coming from? Yeah, hold on. Oh, no. It looks like it's coming from the kitchen. Dun, dun, dun. Oh, let's go in the kitchen and see what it is. Yeah. <laughs> die! Die alone? Die at home? Die in Rome? Wait, don't die in Rome. That's too nice. Die somewhere else worse! Ha ha! You're the texter. Uh, I am. Jeff PP, how could you? Cody, you throw a roll of toilet paper at my head and make me knock over my pasta! Wait, is this true? Assault? Uh, yeah. He also broke my piggy bank. Destruction of personal property? All they do is throw a roll of toilet paper. Tell him why you threw the roll of toilet paper. Because I was mad. Okay, yeah, and you also have anger issues. Okay, look, it's five o'clock in the morning, and we're all really tired. Okay, so you, Chef, you're a grown man. You shouldn't be sending mean messages to this kid. And you, kid, you gotta learn how to manage your anger. And you, you broke your phone for a lie. That can't have been worth it, all right? We all just need to grow up. 
we all need to learn some lessons today. And the lessons are, be nice, just don't say mean things to people. And if you're watching this at home, just leave a, leave a comment below if you can think of a better ending than the one we came up with, because we're all tired and this is the best we got. So I'm gonna try to read the best ending that people came up with at the end of the next video. Jeffy, are you ready for dinner? Mommy, I swear, if you guys try to feed me green beans again, I will unleash a rage unlike anything you've ever seen before. I will say the worst word I can possibly think of in that moment. <clears throat> oh, Jeffy. <sighs> All right, Jeffy, here's your dinner, green beans. <clears throat> Woodpecker! Or Jeffy! Jeffy, that's not a bad word. Well, the second word is, the second word means baby. Well, Jeffy, don't say that. Well, the YouTube robot didn't hear me say it, and it does mean baby. Well, Jeffy, just eat your green beans. Uh, I don't have to. Uh, you do have to. Uh, I know you not. Jeffy, eat your green beans. Why? Because they're good for you. Why? Because they're green. Why? Because they're a vegetable. Why? Because I don't know, Jeffy. Uh huh, I got you, Jay. Don't have to eat it. Oh, Jeffy, what can I do to make you eat your green beans? Um, stick your head in the porta potty for 10 minutes. Jeffy, th th what's something realistic I can do? Hmm, stick your hand in the porta potty for 10 minutes? No, Jeffy, what's something not gross I can do? Make me a milkshake. You're not drinking a milkshake, Jeffy. That's unhealthy. Says the fat guy. What? Jeffy, there is no fat shaming in this household. Uh huh. Just because Mario's fat. What? 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 No, 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 Jeffy, look, look just, just eat your green beans, okay? I'll get you a milkshake after you finish your green beans. Danny, this is not my first rodeo. I'm not even taking these green beans in my mouth until there's a milkshake sitting right here, so tooth that bottom. All right, Jeffy, you want a milkshake? I'll get you a milkshake. Good. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Mario, what are you doing? Making Jeffy a green bean milkshake. Mario, that's disgusting. No, it's healthy. He's not going to know. He's going to think it's a milkshake, okay? Mario, that's not going to work. It's going to work. Trust me, baby. Look, let me just add the milk. Oh, Ew. yeah. That's looking like a milkshake. Uh-huh. Oh, that's so gross, Mario. Just trust me, baby. He's not going to notice it. Now watch this. milkshake a -roni. Uh-huh. No, Mario. It looks delicious. You can't feed him that. Look, he's not going to know, okay? No one's going to know. No one's going to know. All right, Jeffy, here's your milk. Jeffy! Oh! What? You're already back? Well, Jeffy, well, you said you didn't eat your green beans. That means you don't get your milkshake. Well, good, because I literally just watched you guys with my own two eyes put cans of green beans in the blender and blend it up and try to pass it off as your milkshake. Well, Jeffy, what are you talking about? We didn't do that. You guys were literally five feet from me. You were standing right there. It's true, Mario. He saw us. What? Jimmy, drink your green bean milkshake right now. Okay, Danny. Let me just take a sip. Mmm, oh, it's so good. Mmm, yummy. Oh, what? Oh, what? Jimmy, stop it. Jimmy, you know what? You're going to eat your green beans. I'm going to give you uh, five more cans of green beans. Danny, you'll never get a green bean down my throat. <laughs> Mario, why don't we try feeding him something else? Never. Never. Jimmy, this means war. Oh, he's going to get some green beans. He's going to eat some green beans tonight. Jeffy's eating some green beans. I sure showed my daddy I'm never eating green beans ever, ever again. Hey, Jeffy. Who's that? Your worst nightmare. Daddy? Why do you sound like that? You should have ate your green beans when you had the chance. No more Mr. Nice Guy. And why are you wearing those goofy glasses? You're going to regret not eating your green beans. Well, I'm not eating them, so I don't know what you want me to say. Do me a favor. <sighs> Say ah. Uh. You missed. Ha ha. <laughs> I don't miss twice. <laughs> huh. Okay, maybe I missed twice, but I won't miss a third time. Third time's a charm. Ha ha. <laughs> Bullseye. <laughs> Jeffy, you chose the hard way when you should have chose the easy way. 
Mario, how's it going? I just fed Jeffy a mouthful of green beans. Oh, good. Did he like them? Sent him right to sleep. Mario, Jeffy's not breathing. But he's not... Oh, he's just playing around. He, he just acts like that because it tastes so bad. Well, how did you feed it to him? Shot it down his throat with this Nerf gun. <gasps> Mario, he's choking! Well, he's not choking. He looks nothing like the Atlanta Falcons. Mario, Mario, you have to give him the Heimlich. He's dying! Well, I'm not going to lick his butt. Mario, we need to call the doctor right now so he can save Jeffy! Oh, Jeffy, come on. Stop playing around. Mario! Stop playing around, Jeffy. Mario, call the doctor! Okay, okay, I'll call the doctor. <laughs> hey there, somebody call the doctor. D -d 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 Hold on, let me finish my line first. <clears throat> hey there, somebody call a doctor. Doctor, my son is choking! Hold on, hold on, I'm the doctor here. No one's choking unless I say they're choking. Let's take a look. Um, hmm. Yuck. Well, the good news is he's not choking. Really? Yeah, the bad news is he already choked. What, he already choked? Give him CPR! Mm, hold on, how old is he? 16. Ooh, yeah, sorry, no can do. 18 and up, that's my rule. You're no, you know, it starts with the kiss, and then maybe you go out to dinner, and one thing leads to another, so I just want to play it safe, 18 or not. You know, call me in two years, we'll see what happens. Well, so there's nothing you can do? Like, well, what's wrong with him? Well, I mean, he's dead, man. He's dead! Oh, God. Oh, how long is she going to be doing this? Because I'm going to go. Well, I mean, <laughs> this is really the worst part of the job, honestly. I'm going to tell parents that their kid croaked. It's like I come out of the operating room, they're like, how is he? And it's like, ugh. Can I just text it to you? Because I don't really want to say it out loud. Mario killed him! I'm sorry, what? what? He shot him with a gun! What? Okay, should I be getting my cop uniform? Oh, no, 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 this is what happened, this is what happened, look. I, I took this Nerf gun, and I put green beans in it, because Jeffy wouldn't eat his green beans, and I shot him down his throat, and then he choked. Oh, I, I don't, I, this isn't really looking too good for you. Well, no, 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 it, it was an accident! Yeah, okay, uh, excuse, excuse me, miss, 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 miss yeah, yeah, could, could, could you keep it down, we're trying to have a conversation, could, could you just take that to another level? I'm sorry, I'll go, I'll go, Thank I'll you, go. oh my god, you have to live with that? Jesus, I was, I was gonna arrest you, but that's punishment enough, you're gonna be deaf. Oh, so, so Jeffy's really dead? Well, yeah, he's dead. Like, he's gone forever, like, there's no bringing him back? Yeah, that's what dead means. Well, what? So, so there's nothing you can do to bring Jeffy back? I mean, you could try burying him in the pet cemetery. What's that? Well, it's a movie I saw one time. It's like these people, they bury the pets in like the cemetery and the pets come back to life. Is that real? No, man, it's a movie. Well, well why would you tell me about that? I just thought it was cool, I don't know. So you can't bring Jeffy back to life? No, sorry. <laughs> I can help you bury him, though. Uh, you can help me bury him? Yeah, I'll go get my shovel, and I guess we can just bury him in the backyard like a like a pet hamster or something. Well, come on. Uh, oh, Jeffy, I'm so sorry. <laughs> All right, he's buried. Oh, poor Jeffy. <laughs> yeah, it's a good thing you had a spare piece of wood we could carve ripping through, though. Oh, I miss him so much. It's all my fault. Oh, oh yeah, uh, some advice. If you ever sell your house, uh, let the people who live here after you know that your son's buried in the backyard. You don't want them getting a nasty surprise when they try to put a pool in. Okay, I'll remember that. Jeffy. But Jeffy ate all the Play-Doh. <laughs> I didn't mean make him out of Play-Doh. Then what did you mean, Mario? Just forget it. You... Look, just after a while, it'll be like Jeffy never existed. You did this. Well, it was an accident. I was just trying to feed him his vegetables. <laughs> and it cost him his life. Look, if I could bring Jeffy back, I would. You know I would. I didn't mean for him to, I didn't mean for him to choke. You know, I, I didn't know that was going to happen. I thought he was just going to eat his vegetables. Look, maybe if I could bring Jeffy back, I would. But... That'll never happen. He's gone forever. And I miss him so much. Is that my phone? Jeffy's calling. Jeffy? Answer it, Mario. This better not be some type of prank. Uh, hello? Uh, hello? Uh, you got you got the wrong number. Bye. 
<sighs> was it Jeffy Mario? Well, I mean, he's dead, so no, it's not him. It's, someone has his phone and is messing with us. We had to disconnect that number. Uh, Who's at the door? I don't know, Mario. Let's go answer, let's go answer. Uh, let me check. Ah! Mario, who is it? I don't know who it is. It's some scary thing. Mario, we need to open the door. Well, what makes you think we have to do that? What if it's Jeffy? It's not Jeffy. I don't, I don't know what that thing is. Mario, I'm opening the door. What the, 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 what's wrong with you? Jeffy, is that you? Ah! Mario, is that Jeffy? I don't know. It kind of looks like Jeffy, but it's like... It's like he's a zombie. What's he doing? <laughs> yeah, that's Jeffy. That's definitely Jeffy. Okay, so let's call a doctor and see if he can be saved. So maybe he has some life in him. And he's just really sick, you know? But let's call a doctor. Okay. okay. Come on, Jeffy. Come on, come on, Jeffy. Hey there, somebody call a doctor? Yes, doctor, my son is a zombie! A, 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 a zombie?! Mario, I don't want to stand by him, I'm afraid he's gonna eat me! Alright, Jeffy, look, get away from Rosalina, come closer to me. Come closer to me. <laughs> touch me, touch me, I need to take a shower, ew. I need to take a shower, ew, 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 ew. wipe it off. Ew. No, don't touch me with that! <laughs> so, so what do we do about my son being a zombie? Well, I don't know what happened! I don't know, like he just showed up at our front door, breathing like that and acting all scary. Like maybe he's still alive. Maybe he needs medical attention. Well, I guess I could give him like a like an examination or something. I mean clearly his arm is missing and that eye looks like it's gone bad. Wait, Jeffy, show us the top of your head. Oh yeah, his brain's sticking out. That's not good. Was it like that already? I don't know. He always wore a helmet, so I don't know if his brain was sticking out. Oh. Well I do like those sweet designer jeans he's wearing. Oh, hey, hey, you get those at Abba Zombie and Fitch? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you get it? Like like Abercrombie and Fitch is the clothing store, but but he's a zombie, you know? So so like he'd shop at Abba Zombie and Fitch. Yeah, yeah, we, yeah, we get it, yeah. <laughs> yeah, you get it like Abba Zombie and Fitch because it's you know it's like a pun, you know. Okay, so is there anything you can do about our son being a zombie? Like can you bring him back to life? Well, I don't know about that, but I do know zombies eat brains, and we should probably get him some brains before he gets hungry. Yeah, we, we don't want him to eat our brains. Oh, I just remembered. I have a whole bunch of brains in my car. I'll be right back. Oh, uh, okay. Mm -mm, these brains look delicious. Why do you have a plate full of brains in your car? What, you don't like to get a little road brain? I like to munch on these while I'm driving. What, you eat brains? Well, yeah, when you eat somebody's brain, you learn everything they know. Like, let me check this guy out. <laughs> Mm. Ooh, ooh, okay, okay. Did you know that when the queen ant dies, all the other ants in the colony also die because they live off of the queen's poop? That guy was an entomologist. What? Okay, well, so shouldn't we be feeding these brains to Jeffy? He's the one that's a zombie. Oh, yeah, sure. Here you go, Jeffy. Jeffy, chew with your mouth closed. Uh, all right, so now that he's eating those brains, what do we do? Can, can we turn Jeffy back into a human? Hmm, I don't know. Ooh, I have an idea. If I, if I try tasting all these brains, maybe one of them will know what to do. Okay. Okay, let me try this one. Oh, don't worry, Jeffy. Oh, oh okay. Mm, mm. Oh, oh, okay, okay, yeah. I, I think I know what to do. What? Well, you see, Jeffy came back from the dead because he wants to teach you a lesson. Now, if only the one of these brains spoke zombie. Yeah, that, that, that was the one. Okay, Jeffy. <laughs> Uh huh, uh huh. 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 Is, that, is, that, is, that, is there anything else I can do? Well, let me ask. <laughs> no, that's what he wants. <laughs> you should probably go do it. Okay, I'll do it. I'll, I'll go to the porta potty. Okay, there's a porta potty. Oh, bye.
Now he once told me. Oh, hey, donkey. What, Shrek, you were in there? Yeah, donkey. I gave birth to a little crap baby out of my butthole. Eight pounds, three ounces, donkey. I'm a proud mommy. Whoa, 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 whoa. So, so it stinks really bad in there? Oh, yeah, donkey. I think the stench is starting to breach the doorway. Hurry up and get a whiff, donkey. One, two, three. All right, do it with me, donkey. Oh, oh, oh. Ah. oh God, it smells so bad. Yeah, donkey, if you're going to go in there, I think you're going to need a gas mask, donkey. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, 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 God. I did it. I did it. It was so gross, but I did it. <laughs> that was payback, Daddy, for you making me in your green bean. Wait, what? We got you good, Mario. We? You were a part of this? I did the makeup. What, makeup? Yeah, Daddy. This is all makeup. Am I a pretty girl? And who do you think really amputated Jeffy's arm so you could pull it off? Me. So all you guys were in on this? Why? Mario, you shouldn't force feed Jeffy to eat green beans. Yeah, Danny, and whatever you experienced out in that porta potty is exactly what happens every time I have to eat green beans. I guess you guys are right. I shouldn't just force feed Jeffy green beans. I, I should actually feed him nutritional foods and, and with protein and, and other types of stuff from the food pyramid. It shouldn't just be green beans. I'm sorry, Jeffy, for all these years of me trying to force feed you green beans. I promise I'll be a better dad and feed you different foods. Pee pee! That's what I'm talking about, Daddy! Alright, Jeffy, where's my 20 bucks? Oh, it's right here. There you go. Thank you. Alright, Jeffy, come on, let's go get your arm sewed back on. Alright. Well, Jeffy, stop chewing on my head! But you're my acorn, Daddy! <sighs> Halloween! It's me, Luigi! Wait, Rosalina, you're Luigi for Halloween? Yeah, Mario! What are you guys dressed up as? Well, I'm the squirrel from Ice Age, and Daddy's my acorn, and I'll do anything to get my nut. Yeah, Jeffy drives me nuts. Ha ha ha! That's funny, Mario! Hey, Mommy, I can talk like a squirrel, you wanna hear it? Yeah! Squeakity, squeak, 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 squeaker! I learned it from Emperor's New Groove. Look, let's just go trick or treat, okay? Let's have a fun night, come on. Okay. Alright, Daddy. <sighs> I'm a racket! Oh, no, no, no. More anger, PP. Pee -pee. More anger! It's more like, I'm a racket! Oh, you're getting close. You're getting close. Hey, Chef PP, do you like my elephant costume? <laughs> Junior, out of every costume you could have chosen, why did you choose an elephant? Well, it's the only costume they had in my size. What are you supposed to be, a fat guy with tumors for hands? No, no I'm Ralph. Get it? Like, wreck it, Ralph? I'm a racket! <laughs> oh, because every time you cook, you wreck the food. You wreck it. No, no Junior, I'm exactly Ralph. Look, look, I'm, I'm a racket! <laughs> Yeah, yeah, because your life's a wreck and you wreck everything. Uh, Julian, do you want me to wreck you? I'm not 18 yet, Chef Pee Pee. What? Oh, that must be my friends! Or it's trick-or-treaters. No, that's my friends. Only my friends ring the doorbell like that. Hey, guys! Happy Halloween! Hey, Junior. What's up, dude? Oh, Cody, what's your costume supposed to be? Oh, Ken and I are Thing 1 and Thing 2. There's a Thing 3, but it's currently rammed up my caboose. Oh, Cody's so shush. Oh, Joseph, what are you supposed to be? A uh, Teletubby without the mask? No, dude! I'm from Among Us! Among Us! Oh. Uh, yeah, I thought he was a Teletubby, too. Like, like he was Tinky Winky or something. Tinky Winky? Not everything's about pee-pees, Cody! Oh, huh. That's its name. Oh, all right, guys, what am I supposed to be? <laughs> Oh, Dumbo! Uh, an elephant pooping? Oh, you guys are both correct. I'm Cody's mom! <laughs> I knew it, dude! Yeah, I'm fat, and I like nuts in my mouth. <sighs> yeah, good one, Junior. Spot on! Yeah, are you guys ready to go trick-or-treating? Yeah. Oh, yeah, dude. I'm gonna try to get all the candy this year, because this is the only time of year where I get free food! Oh, yeah, awesome! Right, guys, whoever gets the most candy wins! Oh, okay! Okay, thanks for giving us a plot, Junior. All right, guys, let's go trick-or-trunking. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Let's go. Ooh, Mario, let's go to this house. What? No, it's by the interstate. The lights are off. They obviously don't want trick or treaters. Jeffy, knock on the door. All right. Hey there, I'm Dr. Seuss. You're dressed up like a silly goose. Actually, I'm the squirrel from Ice Age. Mm-hmm. Well, everything I say has to rhyme, as long as it's Halloween time. Well, trick or treat, smell my butt, my daddy's head looks like a nut. Oh. Give me candy. Well, you're pretty good at this. When, when they don't have Sprite, they offer Sierra Mist. That was a good rhyme. Yeah, uh, uh, here, here. Uh, here's some candy. I hope it comes in handy. You can go now, so I'm gonna take a bow. Please, please leave. Let's go, guys. Ciao!
I'm gonna wreck it! Meow, give me candy, meow! Oh, you eat candy? Why are you making it? Oh, I'm Gary from SpongeBob, and he doesn't wear clothes. Oh my god, that's so disgusting! Popeye, are you gonna give me candy? I'm not Popeye, I'm Ralph! I'm gonna wreck it! Are you gonna give me spinach? Because I don't want spinach, I want candy. I don't have spinach, and I'm Ralph! I'm gonna wreck it! Look, mister, I really don't care what your name is, I just want some candy. You know what? <laughs> Look, wreck this, here's some candy. Are you happy? Thank you, mister. Go put on some clothes and don't go to the neighbor's house. He already has a record. Oh my god. All right, guys, you want some candy? Yeah. yeah. All right, I heard this house has the best candy. What do you want? Uh, trick or treat. We want some candy. You kids are like the 10th kids to show up at my house asking for free food. Do your parents not feed you? Well, it's Halloween. Oh, is that what this is? I was wondering why a bunch of people were dressed up like idiots. Well, what's your costume? Costume? I don't need a costume. I'm me. Why would I need to be anyone else? Well, can you please give us some candy? Ugh. The only candy I have is the good candy. And that's for me! Well, if you give us some, we won't tell anyone. <sighs> I guess. Just don't tell anyone because I don't want a line of poor outside my house. I'll be right back. Oh, we get the good candy. We get the good candy. <laughs> I'm a wreck it! Ooh, I got something for you to wreck, big boy. Oh no, not you again. You do all the trick or treat. And, and what are you, a nun? Oh yeah, I'm a nun, but I'm willing to break the rules for you. <sighs> what kind of candy do you want? I want you to open up a big old can of spinach and save me, Popeye. I'm not Popeye, I'm Ralph. I'm a wreck it! Okay, Ralph the Sailor Man. What, what, I'm Ralph, I'm not a Sailor Man. Look, what kind of candy do you want? I'll just give me a fun size Snickers right here in my bucket. Whatever. Here you go. Oh, what? yeah. Look, leave, okay? Please, now. Thank you. God, I'm not Popeye. All right, guys, who do you think got the most candy? Dude, it has to be me. I got a bunch of candy. No, Joseph, I think I got more. Well, it's definitely not me because somehow I got less candy than either of you, which doesn't make sense because we all went to the same houses. Well, maybe they saw Ken with you, so they thought y'all were sharing a bucket. Well, then I should have more candy, because there's two of us. Maybe they knew Ken was a dollar, you were just trying to con him out of candy. Well, that doesn't explain why some of my candy's already been opened and pre-chewed, like this. I don't know if this is a Starburst or cheese. I mean, it smells like it could go either way. And I have a fuzzy lollipop. Oh, dude, I like that. Can I have that fuzzy lollipop? Well, if you give me your peanut butter. Oh, no, not the Skippy. I love me some Skippy. Look, Cody, they have some candy named after you. Nerds. <sighs> yeah, good one, Junior. I'm a wreck it! Oh no, here comes Neil Armstrong. Alright guys, you can't eat your candy until you finish your dinner, okay? Alright, Neil Armstrong. What? Neil Armstrong, Junior? Yeah, look at his big strong arms. He's Neil Armstrong. But Neil Armstrong didn't have big arms. Okay, fine. Lance Armstrong. But Junior, not everyone with the last name Armstrong has big arms. Then how'd they get that last name? Their ancestors obviously had strong arms. Well, my last name is Nutkiss, so what does that say about my ancestors? I mean, it's pretty self-explanatory. Yeah, Nutkiss, come on, Cody, we know how you are. Okay, yeah, you kinda got me there. So, Chef, we can't eat any candy until dinner? No, no, no candy until dinner, okay? All right, guys, let's eat dinner. <sighs> Daddy, I got so much MF and candy, can I start eating it? Sure, Jeffy. What? Not my head, Jeffy, eat the candy. Well, Daddy, I'm showing my squirrel outfit, so all I can eat is nuts. Well, Jeffy, will you eat these peanut M&Ms? Pee peanut M&Ms. Yeah, start eating that. <laughs> Breaking news, okay? If you went trick-or-treating tonight and you have candy, throw it away right now. Because the candy company and the rat poison company share the same factory. So while creating candy this year, the candy company accidentally made candy with rat poison in it. If you eat the candy, you may die. So throw it away immediately. What? Oh no! Jimmy, spit that candy out! Uh, uh, throw the candy back up! Uh, what day? Don't take my candy! I had to hustle hard for that! Jeffy, it's poison. We'll buy you some more! Mario, we can't buy him more! That could be poison too! Uh, okay, then you can't eat candy, but I'll buy you McDonald's or something. Uh, what day? Can I go back to chewing on your head? No! Look, look, Rosalina, go tell everyone in the house they can't eat their candy, okay? Okay! Uh, uh, Chip Pee Pee, Chip Pee Pee! What do you want, Luigi? You have to take away all the candy from the kids! I already did. No candy until after they finish their dinner. No, they can't have any candy at all. It's poison! Poison? You have to throw it all away. Well, I can't throw all this candy away. They'll eat it out of the trash can. I'll just put it in the pantry. That's a good idea, Donkey Kong. I'm not Donkey Kong! I'm Ralph! Wreck it! I don't know who that is. You know what? Forget it. I'll just take off this costume. Oh, dude, I'm so full. You know what? I'm gonna call an emergency meeting 
full of dessert. <laughs> Good thinking, Joseph. Yeah, I'm full too. What, what, Cody, what's wrong? You barely touched your food. Yeah, I don't know, guys. I just wasn't really in the mood for saltine crackers and uncooked grits today. What are you talking about? This is Chef Pee's best meal that he cooks. I know. He's outdone himself, but I just really wasn't in the mood. All right, guys. Who's ready for some candy? Oh, me, dude. All right, let's go get our candy back from Chef Pee. -Pee. Chef Pee, Pee we want our candy back. Oh, Chef Pee, Pee, you changed costumes. I didn't change costumes. I took my costume off because no one knew who I was. So you changed to your Borat costume. You look better as Borat. I'm not Borat. Say Yakshamash. I'm not going to say Yakshamash. Yes, yeah, say Wowie Wooey. Why would I say Wowie Wooey? You sound just like Borat. It's a good impression. It's not an impression, Junior. Hey, Borat, can we get our candy back? Look, Junior, I had to take away your candy because it was poison. Wow, Borat, you want to eat all our candy so you're just making up a lie so you can eat it because you're fat? No, no, no. Look, the news told me that it was poison, I promise. Okay, the news also said you had to give me $5. What, what? I'm not giving you $5, Junior. Well, the news said it and also says give me my candy back. Look, I'm telling you the truth, Junior, and I'm not giving you your candy back. That's not very nice, Borat. Junior, I hid the stupid candy, okay? You're not getting it back. Well, where'd you hide it at? Uh, in the pantry. I mean, I mean, I hid it somewhere. You're never gonna find it. I wish we knew where he hid it. He hid it in the pantry. How do you know that? Because he slipped up and said he hid it in the pantry. We're gonna go check the pantry, Borat. Uh, you can't check the pantry because uh, I locked it. Yep, and I swallowed the key. It's in my belly. Wow, you, first you eat all our candy, now you're eating keys? What are you gonna eat next? Napkins and trash? You're like a garbage monster. Oh, shut up, Junior. Look, you're not gonna go ahead and find that candy, okay? Uh. Oh, can you believe this, guys? That all our parents want to take our candy away from us because they're adults. And, and since they can't go trick-or-treating anymore, they want to steal candy from kids. Wow! We have to get back at them. Come on. Guys, can you believe that our parents are stealing our candy because they're too old to go trick-or-treating and get candy for themselves? Maybe Chef Pee was just being mean. Hey, guys! What doing? Wait, Jeffy, where's your candy? My daddy stole it from me because he said there was poison in it. See, Cody, look, that confirms that all parents are stealing their kids' candies because they couldn't get candy for themselves. This is so bogus. Dude, that's so lame. But look, we know where our candy's being hidden, and we're gonna take it back. But how? We're gonna pull off a Halloween heist. How are we gonna do that, Junior? Okay, first off, we need code names. I'm gonna be Popsicle Stan. Ooh, I like that. I'll be the Forsaken Child. I'll be Big Wiener. Oh, I was gonna be Big Wiener. Oh, okay, in that case, I'll be Little Wiener. Right, that's too close to Big Wiener. Choose something else. Oh, ooh, I'll be Nighthawk. And Ken can be the doll. Ooh, doll face, because he's really handsome. No, he's a doll. He's gonna be called the doll. Yeah, doll. Yeah, doll face. All right, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go over everyone's missions. Big Wiener? Yeah. yeah. Uh oh, sorry, yeah. No, no. Uh, Big Wiener, your job's gonna be to make Chevy be throw up, because he swallowed the key, so go make him throw up, okay? All right, I'm on it. All right, uh, Forsaken Child? Yep. Your job is going to be on lookout for other adults, because other adults are going to try to stop us, so you, you, you make sure that no other adult tries to stop us. Okay, I can do that. Guys, I got to let you know, I found a piece of candy when Chef Pee, Pee took our candy away from me. So I'm going to eat this, uh, and I'll catch up with you guys. Okay, you start eating that. Uh, Nighthawk? Yeah. Okay, me and you, we're going to try to break into the pantry, just in case Jeffy can't get the key. Okay, but what does Ken do? Uh, I... He, he's on lookout, too. I don't know. All right, come on, Ken. Let's blow this popsicle stand. No, Cody. No? Oh, okay. I could just end it all right now. All I have to do is just one little lick, and then just end it all. Hey, Pee Pee. What do you want, Jeffy? That's not my name. My name's Big Wiener now. Wait, what? And you got five seconds to throw up that key, or else I'm going to hit you with this rolling pin. You're not going to get the key, Jeffy. Stupid dog! You make me look bad! Ooga booga 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 ooga booga ooga booga booga! get this open! <laughs> Give me a key! Ooga booga! Ow, ow! It's not even locked! Jeffy, it's not locked! It's not locked! I promise! It's open right now! You think I'm stupid? We have to go! All right, Nighthawk. How do we get inside this pantry door? Well, Popsicle Stand, I, I don't really see a keyhole where he could have locked it, so I think we could probably just open it. No, they're adults. They're really smart. Obviously, there's like a child lock on it or something. Well, Popsicle Stand, I'm pretty sure we could just open it with the handle. Do you have any C4? C4? Yeah, so we could blow the door open. What? No, no, Popsicle, no. I, I actually left my C4 at home. Well, do you have any landmines? A landmine? What would that do? We would just put a landmine down by the door, and we'd step on it and blow the door open. And we would blow ourselves up, too. No, I don't have a landmine. Ooh. Nighthawk, I have the perfect way to open this door. Okay. All right, Nighthawk. A popsicle stand, what are you gonna do with that cable? I'm gonna open this door with it. Well, couldn't we just open the door with the handle? No, that's too dangerous, hold on. Ow, what are you, what are you doing? See, Cody, look, I opened it. So we could have just opened it with our hands. No, the way I did it was the safe way, okay? Okay. <gasps> look, Cody! 
Oh my god, Junior, that's the holy grail of candy! But look, look how high up it is! We could never reach that high! Uh, oh, maybe you could throw me up there. Yeah, with my elephant trunk, since I'm so strong! Y yeah, sure, yeah. Alright, I'm gonna toss you up there, try to grab as much candy as you can. Okay. Uh, Junior, when I said I wanted to sit on your face, this isn't what I had in mind. Uh, Alright, Cody, I'm gonna toss you in the air, and you try to grab as much candy as you can, okay? Okay. Uh, 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 Come on, Cody, grab the candy! I'm trying! Uh, Junior, you need to throw me higher! Uh, ow! Ow! Uh, Come on, Cody, just grab the candy! Okay. Uh, 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 Cody, you got some candy, but... I want all of it. Well, Junior, how about I try throwing you up there this time? No, we need to, we need to do something different. Um, what if I try standing on your shoulders? We might be tall enough. Okay, let's try it. Okay. Oh uh, no, we're, this this isn't doing much. Yeah, it's not gonna work. Uh, okay, what if I grab the string and I try whipping it with the string? No, Junior, it's not long enough. Say that again, Cody. No, Junior, it's not long enough. Yeah, the long enough part. What? It's not long enough. Yeah, I know something long that we can use. All right, Cody, we're gonna use this broom. It's long enough. Yeah, Junior, you're a genius. <sighs> All right, let's get this candy. Keep working it, Junior. Well, it's starting to work. Uh, oh, get oh, 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 ah, oh, careful. Uh, Cody, we got the candy! C Cody? Your friend has a concussion. What a terrible thing to happen. Happen and concussion don't rhyme. Yes, it does. Don't make a fuss, or else I'll cuss. And that would be bad for all of us. Well, how long is he going to be hurt for? He has brain damage. So someone make me a sandwich. Sandwich and damage don't rhyme. I'm doing my best. This isn't a test. We were just trying to get candy. That candy is poisonous. Didn't you see the nooses? I haven't seen the news. I'll turn it on. Hold on. Breaking news, okay? Earlier today, I reported that there was rat poison in candy and not to eat it. But I'm here to tell you that I misread the teleprompter. The correct story is that there is candy in rat poison. So the candy is safe to eat. But for the rats, I hope you like starburst flavored death. Well, would you look at that? We thought that candy was poison for a rat. But that poison for a rat was really candy for a brat. So we can eat candy now? You can eat candy, and this rhyming is getting exhausting. I, I'm done with this. I'm, I'm going home. What? You hear that, Nighthawk? We can eat candy now. Mm -hmm. Hey, Popsicle Stan, you might want to call that doctor back because uh, old peepers here is dunion rings. Crass. Today, we're going to be having a Crass President Erection. If you become Crass President, you get to make any rule for the Crass that you want. And I can't say anything about it. So which one of you wants to be the Crass President? Ooh, I want to be Class President. Junior, do not take this erection from me. I want to be Class President. Well, I want to be Class President. Well, you're too stupid to be Class President. Well, you're too dorky to be Class President. I want to hey, be Class President. Hey! 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 Hush! I don't want to be class president. Well, you can't be class president because I want to be class yeah, president. I want to be class 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 president. Settle down. Settle down, class. There can only be one class president. That's why we have an erection, okay? It's going to be a long, hard process for my erection. So I'm going to choose. I'm going to choose two people to have erection. It's going to be uh, Cody and Jeffy. You guys come up to the crest and be part of my erection and tell the crest why they should vote for you as crest president. All right, I'm gonna go first. All right, prepare to lose. All right, if you guys elect me as class president, then there will be no more homework ever again. Homework will be illegal. No, 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 I actually think we should have homework because we might forget the stuff we learned at school and we have to keep learning because learning is power. Who's with me? Junior, don't throw paper balls at me. All right, change of plans. If I'm elected class president, then all the homework that we get will go to this guy because he likes it so Whoa. much. No, no, okay, okay, how about this, watch this. How about, if I'm elected class president, we're gonna have healthier school lunches, like celery, so that means no more pizza. Junior, stop throwing things! 
Well, if I'm elected class president, then every day will be pizza day. There will be pizza parties every single day. Your desk will be made out of pizza. You will even be made out of pizza. Wait, no, 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 no. Okay, okay, how about this, how about this? If I'm elected class president, uh, you don't have to wear clothes to school anymore. So, so like, you, you know how long it takes to get dressed in the morning? Well, well, you, you don't have to do that. You, you can just come naked. And, and no girls allowed. Well, if I'm elected class president, you won't even have to come to school anymore! Because then you won't be president of anything. Oh, okay, 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 how about this? Uh, uh, if, you, if you fail a test, you can retake it! How about, how about that? Well, if I'm elected class president, you won't even have tests anymore! Oh, but, but you can't just do that. Alright, class, I've heard enough. So who do you guys want to be the class president? So who wants Jeffy for president? Jeffy, Jeffy, Jeffy. Okay, okay. Jeffy. Who, who, who wants Cody for president? Yeah. Oh, stop. Alright, class, we have a winner. Jeffy has won the erection, and he is now your class president. Uh -huh. Yay! <laughs> Mario, how do you think Jeffy's stay at school is going? It must be going pretty good. I mean, we haven't gotten a call from his teacher saying he's suspended for anything, like pooping his pants or biting another student. <laughs> hey, Jeffy, how was your day at school? Daddy, you can't call me Jeff anymore. You have to call me Mr. Class President. Jeffy, you got class president? I sure did, Mommy. All the kids in class said I was the smartest kid, and now I'm the class president. This, this must be something like a pity award or like a Make-A-Wish Foundation thing. Mario. Yo. Well, look, why would they vote Jeffy class president? Like, what are you even going to do for the class? Well, dang, the first thing I did was cancel school. So now I never have to go to school ever, ever again. Jeffy, you can't make those rules. You can't just cancel school. Yes, I can, because I'm the class president. No, Jeffy, the only way you could cancel school is if you were the real president. Well, how do I get to be the real president? You can't. You can't because you're a kid and you're just too stupid to be the president. Hey, Mario, speaking of the president, isn't it election day today? Oh, it is. Let's turn on the news and see how it's going. <sighs> Breaking news, UK! The President of the United States has something to say before the election tonight. Let's go to that. When I, Donald J. Trump, is re-elected President again, we do not want to share the moon with anyone ever again. Okay, so what I will do when I'm re-elected is I will hire Space Force to build a wall, a huge wall, around the moon. So then it will be our moon and all the other countries will pay for that wall. A wall around the moon? Daddy, can I do stupid stuff like that? No, Jeffy, you can only do stupid stuff like that if you're the president. Well, I want to be president. Jeffy, you'll never be president, ever. Mario, Jeffy can do anything he sets his mind to. Thanks, Mommy. Well, he'll never be president. He cannot be president. He can set his mind to as much as he wants, but he'll never be president. <laughs> Who's the door? Hold on. Uh, hello? Hey, man. Uh, hey, I, I got a really huge problem, and I, I need your help. W what is it? Well, hey, can I come inside? Because it's like November, and it's freezing out here, and I'm just wearing short sleeves and no pants. Uh, yeah, sure, come on inside. Okay. All right, so what's the problem? Well, this is going to sound kind of silly, but you know how there's an election today? Yeah. Yeah, well, we lost the other guy. What do you mean you lost the other guy? I mean, we don't know where he is. Like, like we were playing hide-and-seek, and we just never found him, so he's just, like, gone now. Okay, so then why are you here? Well, I'm here to try to find somebody who wants to run for president and try to beat Trump in this election, and I was kind of hoping that'd be you. Me? Why me? Because you're Mario! Everybody loves you! You know, they recognize you from the games, and they'll be like, oh, it's that guy! Well, I can't run for president because I wasn't born in America. Oh, okay. Well, what about you? I'm from outer space. What? Okay, is anybody here from America? Right here. Well, how old are you? Sixteen. Uh, okay, we just won't tell anyone. Well, no, Jeffy cannot run for president. Well, look, he's the best I have right now. Um, I gotta say something. If I poop in a strainer, it makes poop spaghetti. See, look, he cannot be president of the country. Uh, it'll work. Okay, okay, Jeffy, uh, come with me. You're gonna go debate the president. Okay. Well, no, no, no! Hello and welcome to the presidential debate. Tonight, we have President Donald Trump versus Jeffy. All right, I'm going to ask both of you questions, so just answer those as best you can. Mr. President, we'll start with you. 
Why should you be re-elected president? So, they should elect me president because I'm already president and I'm already living in the White House, okay? And so, if they didn't re-elect me, it would take me approximately like four years to move all my knickknacks and patty wax and give a doggy bone out of the White House. It would take billions upon billions of boxes to get all of my stuff out of there. So to make it easier on me, Donald J. Trump, you should just re-elect me president so I don't have to move all my stuff out of the office. All right. Now, Jeffy, your turn. Same question. Why should you be elected president? Wrong. M Mr. President, ple please don't interrupt. He, he hasn't even said anything, so he, he can't be wrong yet. You should vote for me for president because if I was president, I would ban all school. No kid would ever have to go to school ever again, and they get to stay home and play video games all day. Also, I would ban green beans and make them illegal because you're disgusting and icky, and I I hate green beans! First of all, no one should ban green beans because no one has done more for green beans than I, Donald J. Trump, since the Jolly Green Giant. Shut up! Green beans need to be banned because they're disgusting and they're shaped like little green pee peas. Uh, wrong! Carrots are better! Wrong! No one likes green beans! Wrong, 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 wrong. Break it up, you two. All right, we're gonna go on to the next question. Now, Jeffy, in your opinion, what is the biggest problem in the world right now? The biggest problem in the world right now is Fortnite. Every time they update the seasons, it gets worse and worse. To be honest, I don't even recognize the game anymore. So let's make Fortnite great again. Wrong. Oh, you actually like the dumb updates? All right, all right, all right. Okay, Mr. President, same question. What do you think is the biggest problem in the world right now? Okay, so the biggest problem in the world right now is that Legos are too small. Okay, this causes a choking hazard for billions upon billions of children every single day. Okay, so what I'm proposing is, is that we make these tiny, puny little Legos huge, okay? We're gonna call them huge blocks, okay? So, so kind of like mega blocks? I'm sorry, what? Mega blocks. Oh, mega blocks. Yes, that's exactly what I would call them. Mega blocks, because we would be making America great again, one block at a time. No, no, they're, they're called mega blocks. Oh, uh, oh, uh, th yes. This right here is exactly what I'm talking about. So, if you notice, to show you guys a little bit of a diagram, this is our border wall with the previous administration, and this is our border wall with my administration, the Trump administration. So, yeah. And also, these are the exact same blocks that I want the border wall around the moon to be built out of. So, the wall will be huge! I actually like the tiny Legos. The big ones are for babies. Wrong. M Mr. President, could you please stop saying wrong? Wrong. All right, that is it for the presidential debate. Wrong. Okay, you know what, whatever, I'm, I'm going home. We're just gonna see who wins tonight. There's no way Jeffy wins the election tonight. Don't say that, Mario. We have to believe in him. I don't believe nobody would vote for him. <laughs> hey, hey, did they announce who won yet? No, they're about to. Oh, good. Breaking news, okay? The election results are in, and the next president of the United States is Jeffy. What's that mean? No way. Jeffy, you're president! Yippee! He did it! That crazy son of a gun actually did it! Jeffy, what are you gonna do now that you're president? Well, first of all, I get to poop wherever I want. Yes, you can, Mr. President. And you also get this, the nuclear football. What is that? Well, this will let you nuke just about anything. Well, the first thing I'm gonna nuke is all the green bean farms and all the schools. Oh, no, 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 Jeffy, no, 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 you can't do that, because if you nuke that, you're gonna nuke our country and we're all gonna die. Well, that's a small price to pay for me to be happy. What? Well, no, no, Jeff, don't, 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 don't. Ah, run for your life! Ah! Goofy 
goober, yeah. Junior, your grilled cheese is ready. Oh man, I love grilled cheese. Ah, shit, baby, it's on fire. Dud, how do you think I grilled it, idiot? Oh, shit, baby, I can't eat it, it's too hot. What, what, just blow it. You know when food is hot, you blow it. I wish girls thought I was hot food. What, Junior, just eat your grilled cheese, God. <sighs> Oh, oh, I guess I just won't eat tonight since Chef Baby burned my food again. I really wish somebody could teach Chef Baby how to cook. Hey, idiots! Oh. Huh? Yeah, I'm talking to you. Do you have someone at home that thinks they know how to cook? Are they really bad at cooking? Well, hire me and I'll come tell them that they are absolutely trash at cooking. Might teach them a thing or two. Ooh, I should hire that guy to teach Chef Pee, Pee how to cook. Oh, I'm gonna call him right now. Okay, let me add a couple of eggs. Wait, wait, I can juggle these. Oh, they slipped. Hey, uh, Chef Pee, Pee? No, don't talk to me, Junior. You didn't even eat your grilled cheese sandwich and you almost burned the house down. Well, me? No, you're the one that uh, turned the grilled cheese on fire. Wait, wait, if you would've just ate your sandwich, the fire would've went out. Well, well, well Chef Pee, Pee, have you ever thought about taking cooking lessons? I thought about giving lessons? I'm a perfect chef. <laughs> People should take lessons from me every day. No, no, I meant like getting cooking lessons, like someone teach you how to cook. Wait, why would somebody teach me how to cook? I I'm perfect. Well, no, no, you're not, Chef Pee, Pee. You're really bad at cooking. Wait, wait, I'm not bad at cooking. I'm a god at cooking. Look, I came out of my mom's womb cooking. I was in her stomach with a spatula or whatever she was sticking up there. Well, well Chef Baby, look, I, I, I hired someone to give you cooking lessons. Wait, wait give me cooking lessons? Oh, I'll be giving them the cooking lessons. Who is it, Chef Boy RD? He wish he could be me. Well, no, it's someone you probably know. Ooh, that's them right now. I'll go answer the door. Oh, whatever, go get your little friend. Uh, hello? Who are you supposed to be? Uh, a turtle, I think. A turtle? You've got to be the fattest turtle I've ever seen. Go eat a Snickers, chunky boy. Uh, uh, well, second thought, maybe I could chop you up into a nice turtle soup. Or maybe you'd compliment a nice tomato bisque with some coriander and basil. Mmm, delicious. Well, no, I didn't hire you to cook me. I hired you to teach my friend how to cook. Well, get out of the bloody way and show me to the kitchen, fat boy. Uh, okay. Mm -mm -mm, it's almost done. All right, he's in here. Jesus Christ! Bend me over and check my rectal temperature. What in God's name's going on here? Oh my God! G -g 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 Gordon Ramsay, you're in my house, in my kitchen. Wait, what are you doing here? Well, I feel like I'm in a nightmare, and I'm Freddy Krueger, and that's worse than the Hiroshima bombings. What in God's name are you trying to make? Well, I was making macaroni noodles with a side of egg and marinara sauce. Chunky turtle boy, punch me in the gonads. Uh, okay. Oh, oh, I needed that. Oh, all right. What's your name? Chef Pee Pee. Chef Penis, get over here. Wait, no, no, no. It's Chef Pee Pee. Oh, I didn't stutter. Chef Penis, get over here now. Uh, okay, okay. What do you want? You are bloody ow, disgraceful. Ow, ow. Wait, why are you hitting me? Is this raw egg all over your stove? Yes. That's a salmonella breeding ground. And how long has this bloody bar been out? Uh, it's been out for a couple of days. Three bloody days. Your disgraceful penis. You, you're going to get a biohazard suit on, and you're going to clean this kitchen top to bottom, and then you're going to burn it down, and then we're going to rebuild it from scratch. And maybe, just maybe, you'll be able to cook something edible. Disgraceful. Okay, okay. <laughs> Yeah. Is this clean enough? No, but I ain't got all night, and you need to learn how to cook badly. Hey, fat boy. Yeah? What's something you want to eat tonight? Uh, a cheeseburger. A cheeseburger. Do you think you can handle a burger? Well, you want me to cook it, like, right now? Duh! What do you think, you stupid? Are you dirt, 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 dumb? Get to it! Okay, God. And done. Oh, Gordon, it's ready! I don't want to hear my name come out of your disgusting mouth, penis! But, but, but it's ready! Alright, let's have a look. Jesus Christ! Is that my cremated grandmother? Grandma, is that you? Dirty old hag! What? No, it's not your grandmother. It's the burger that you asked me to make for Junior. Are you sure? You sure it's not a hockey puck? What? A hockey puck? Yeah, you be the goalie and I'll be the shooter. I'll teach you for bullying me. What? What? Uh. Wait, wait, why did you do that? Move aside, penis, and let me show you how it's done. <laughs> All right, Tubby, here's your burger. What in God's name is this? Oh, it's the grilled cheese Chef Pee made me earlier. Chef Wainerhead, get in here! 
I assume you are talking to me? Yeah, why don't you take some advice and buy a ticket to Hawaii and go over and put this rock back in the volcano where you got it from? Is that a rock? It's supposed to be a grilled cheese sandwich. Supposed to be, and you're supposed to be a chef. So why don't you run along, take that digger hole six feet under, and bury that in there along with your career? <laughs> <laughs> All right, anyway, Faso. Here's your burger. Is it good? Is it good? This is a half pound Wagyu beef patty with freshly made Wisconsin cheddar with freshly chopped romaine hearts, vine right tomatoes on a brioche bun. And you're asking me if it's good. I want to serve this to the Queen of England. So if it's not good, I'll chop my left leg off. All right, I'll try it. All right. <sighs> This is the greatest thing I've ever eaten. I bet it is. Chef BB! What is that ungodly noise? Chef BB, where's my dinner? Oh, good lord, an even fatter town. Wait, wait, who are you? I'm the guy trying to make your chef a better cook. Oh, thank God, about time. Dad, you have to let him cook for you. He's amazing. Wait, really? Yeah, let me go whip something up for you. Okay. All right, here you are. Oh my god, this looks delicious! What I've prepared for you this evening is a nice fillet of beef with mature feline emesis, paired beautifully with a nice fresh Maine lobster tail with red crayon shavings crayon. and broccolini. Oh, 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 wow, this actually looks edible! It is, Dad! Wait, it is? Yes. It is edible? It is. Wait, I can actually eat this and not get sick? You can. Oh my god, Chef Bibi never made anything that's edible. You know what? You're hired and he's fired. Well, I wasn't necessarily looking for a job. I, 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 too late, you already got the job. All right. Dad, you're really gonna fire Chef Pee, Pee? Oh yeah, watch me. <laughs> Gordon Ramsay thinks my cookie's so bad. It's not that bad. Chef Pee, Pee! What do you want, Bowser? Oh, you're fired. Wait, why do you sound like that? Well, look, Chef Pee, Pee you're fired. Wait, why am I fired? Because that new Chef Pee, Pee over there can cook way better than you. His food is actually edible. Wait, edible? You can actually eat it? Yes, he can actually eat it. Look, I didn't think it was possible until he started cooking up some stuff. So get out of here, scram, you can't cook. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, Chef Pee, Pee, this is the last time you'll ever see this house. <sighs> I guess it's time to say my final goodbyes. Oh, goodbye, house. Ow! Bowser, what was that for? You know what? I hate this house. I'm never coming back. <laughs> What's wrong, Dad? Oh, Junior, the deed is done. What, you fired Chef Pee, Pee? I took him out back and I shot him just like old Yeller. Oh, poor Chef Pee, -Pee. Oh, I yeah. mean, it was his time to be put down. Oh, yeah, it was. We, we got a good couple years out of him. He was a good dog. He was yeah, a good dog. Yeah, he was. Well, I mean, now we can actually eat edible food. I know, right? Now, I'll never get tired of this food. Oh, me either. Let's eat. <laughs> 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 Grab the remote. Oh, I just found it pretty good. All right, you fat sack of lard. There's some more lobster tails. Now eat up. Uh, Mr. Ramsey, I don't want any more lobster tails. You don't want any more lobster tails? I've never heard of such nonsense. Now eat your lobster tails. Can I please have something different? All right. Well, here's a blooming onion. Do you ever make anything bad? No, everything I make's delicious. Well, can I have a Happy Meal or something? A Happy Meal? What nonsense! I would never put that toxic waste in my body. Now eat your lobster tails. Uh, I, need, I need to lose some weight. I'm gonna, I'm gonna Uber eat some McDonald's or something. <laughs> I'm in my room, and I finally get to enjoy some McDonald's. Why is the door locked? Uh, Open this door! I'm coming! Open the bloody door! Oh, uh, okay. Lobster tails. Oh, no, no, no I, I don't want any more lobster tails. Yes, lobster tails. No, I'm full. I, I don't want any lobster tails. What? Do I smell bloody McDonald's in here? No, no that's that's just my farts. I farted. No, that's not what a lobster tail fart smells like. I'm coming in to check your room. No, no, no. Here I go. Oh, I gotta hide my McDonald's. Well, well, well. What have we got here? Uh, this is really old. I was, I was gonna throw it away. No, I wouldn't know. 
Because all McDonald's food looks disgusting. And since it's over a month old, you wouldn't mind if I threw it away for you, would you? N no, you, you, you could throw it away, but... All right, there but, we are. But what am I supposed to eat? Your lobster tails! But I don't want any more lobster tails. Well, it's a delicacy, and people would kill for it. So, eat your lobster tails. I hate Gordon Ramsay. I'm tired of eating lobster tails. I want McDonald's. Oh, I really miss Chef PB. At least I wasn't fat, because I would never eat, because his cooking sucked. I have to find a way to get rid of Gordon Ramsay. But my dad will never fire him, because my dad loves lobster tails. I have to call Chef PB and ask him for some help. Beep, 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 beep. Hey, Chef PB. Ah! Rami! Wait, wait, Junior, is that you? Wow, you fat. What happened to you? Gordon Ramsay cooks delicious food every night, so I got really fat. Oh, wow. Sounds like a rich man's problem to have a good chef cook for you. Wait, are you homeless? Why are you living in a box? Wait, wait, uh, I'm not homeless. Uh, I'm, I'm just, you know, outside chilling. Yep, I like the outside. Ants biting my butt, stuff like that. Dirt everywhere. Yep. My mansion, it has a heater, but uh, it's broken. You know, I like cold air. So I'm just chilling out here in the cold, just waiting. Well, I was wondering if you could help me get Gordon Ramsay fired. Wait, you get Gordon Ramsay fired? Are you serious, Julia? Yeah, because he cooks really good food every night. I'm tired of being fat. I, I, I just, I, I want McDonald's. I want normal food sometimes. He won't stop cooking lobster tails. I thought you wanted lobster tails. You know the good food. Well, I thought I did, but no, I just want you back. So can you help me get him fired, please? <sighs> Let me think about it. I got to mark some things out of my schedule. Hold on just a second. Yeah, oh. All right, I'm not doing anything. Okay, let's let's go get Gordon. All right, Junior, how do we get rid of Gordon? Junior, hurry up! Uh, hold on, I'm fat. <sighs> really? <sighs> hold on. <sighs> the stairs. <sighs> okay, how do we get Gordon Ramsay fired? Your dad would never fire him because he loves the food too much. Okay, how do we get Gordon Ramsay to quit? Do we just tell him his cooking sucks and he'll cry and run away? No, he's not gonna believe that. He actually has taste buds and he cooks good. Okay, um. Well, I know. What if you dress up like a chef that's more famous than him and tell him his cooking sucks? He'll have to believe you because you're more famous than him. Who's a, who's a chef more famous than him, though? Junior! Oh, hold on, Chef Hi, hi. Okay. Junior, here's some more lobster tails. Eat up. I don't want any more lobster tails, Gordon. Well, you better eat these lobster tails. Wait, wait real quick. What chef did you grow up loving? Hmm, Chef Boyardee. I loved his ravioli. All right, thank you for telling me. Now eat your lobster tails. I'll eat them. All right, Chef Baby, you have to dress up like Chef Boyardee and then tell him his cooking sucks. Okay, I can do that. All right. Junior's going to love these last three lobster tails. Hey, it's me. Chef Boyardee. In the flesh. Well, what are you doing here? It's an honor. Well, they don't call me Chef Boy about a party for nothing. I'm on my way to a party right now. Oh, you must be starving. Would you like a lobster tail? A uh, uh, lobster tail? Uh, no, no, ew! Where is the canned ravioli? Uh, canned ravioli, sir? I, I, I'll get right on it. Well, you're not a chef unless you're cooking canned ravioli. Only the best chefs can cook out of that. Well, I'm sorry, sir. I was just making... The lobster tails. Well, that is not good enough. I need canned ravioli. Okay, well, I'll go get canned ravioli right now. No, no, no. It's too late. You've already messed up. You're done. You, you should just quit at life. Oh, but, sir, I devoted my whole life to becoming a chef to be just like you. Your whole life? What a waste of a life. Oh, my God. If, if you're actually cooking this and not ravioli? Wow, you just wasted your whole life. Ugh. Get out of here. <gasps> I have failed, Chef Boyardee. Chef, maybe you did. You got rid of Gordon Ramsay. I know. I didn't think it would actually work, but he's gone. You look just like Chef Boyardee. He, he knew you without you introducing yourself. I know. I, I kind of I do look like him, right? So we can go back to eating your disgusting food now. Um, I kind of want to try these these lobster tails first, okay? Uh, all right. I'm so glad I got you back, Chef PB. Mm -hmm. What, Jeffy? Daddy, I just made this new song. It's so fire, you have to hear it. No, I have a headache. Well, too bad, Daddy. I'm going to play it for you anyway. Uh, no, no, no. Right here. Jeffy, turn it off. Daddy, I'm going to sing for you. I pooped my pants. I didn't wipe. It's running up my back right now. It's starting to itch. Jeffy, turn it off. It's on my fingers. Jeffy, turn it off. It smells real bad. Jeffy. Come piano show up. Daddy, check out this D major! Jimmy, stop being annoyed! Mario, use his toy! Go get it for me! 
Jeffy, here's your toy. Go, go get it. All right, guys, welcome back to Junior's Toy Reviews. I'm gonna show you off my Thomas the Tank Engine collection. Here's my regular Thomas. Here's my little baby mini Thomas. Here's my fat, chunky boy Thomas. And here's my limited edition, never before open, solid gold PSA 10 gold Thomas. <laughs> Jeffy, you just ruined my video. Oh, I'm sorry, Junior, what are you doing? I'm trying to become YouTube famous like Ryan's Toy Reviews so I can make millions of dollars and get a gold play button. A gold play button? What's that? Well, when you hit a million subscribers on YouTube, they send you a solid gold play button with your name on it. Oh, I want a solid gold play button, Junior. You want to help me make YouTube videos? Heck yeah. All right, so I was thinking that we could prank Chef Pee, -Pee but I didn't have anyone to hold the camera. Okay, and we can throw hammers at him or something. Yeah, we can prank him with like a fake snake or something. Oh, that would be so Pee, -Pee Junior. Yeah, let's, let's, let's go prank Chef Pee, -Pee. All right, let's go. All right, Jeffy, we're going to prank Chef Pee, -Pee with this fake snake. Look. It's so real! Oh, that's so sick, Junior! We're gonna get all the views! Yeah, he's really gonna believe it. What? No. Pumpkin, get away from it, Pumpkin! Pumpkin! Get bad Pumpkin! Pumpkin, get away from bad it! Bad Pumpkin! But look, Pumpkin believes it's real, so Chef Pee's gonna think it's real too, okay? Alright, Junior, let's go. Mm -mm -mm. I love pizza rolls! All right, Jeffy, unleash the snake. All right, Junior, pull me on and get my pants. No, the snake! Oh, you're talking about a thing that's bigger than two inches. I got it right here. No, 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 can't touch this dude. What's going on? Pranked. What prank? Uh, you trying to throw a hammer? You killing me? That's not a prank. Pranked. You know what? I'm gonna tell you that. It's just a prank, Chef Pee. Calm down. We get so many views for Chef Pee freaking out. <laughs> we sure are, dude. Let's uh, go upload it to YouTube. Let's go upload it. Mm -mm. I love pizza rolls. All right, Jeffy. I uploaded our video and I titled it "Chef PP Prank Hilarious So Funny Ha Ha Gone Wrong with Hammer." Oh, sweet, Junior. How many views we got? We got a rockin' five views. Okay. Well, how many until we get our gold play button? Well, we need a million subscribers, and if we assume that the five people that watch and subscribe, we still need a bunch of subscribers. Like we're not even close. Oh, dang it, Junior! I want my gold play button now. I'm tired of waiting. I'm tired of waiting too. I wish I had a gold play button like right now, but I think it's gonna take us a couple years. Well, what about this Super Mario Logan guy? He's got 38 M views. Wait, that means million. Wait, he has to have a gold play button. <gasps> Wait, what if? We break into his house and we try to steal his gold play button. Oh, I think we should totally do that, Junior. Let's Google his address. Just yeah, Google his address and, and see if it pops up. All right. Oh, Jeffy, look! His address is online! Pee Pee! Junior, we should totally go there and steal his gold play button. I mean, his address is online, so he's basically begging us to come steal his gold play button. Right! Right! Like, like we should show up at nighttime and say we're fans, because because he's going to think we're fans, and we're going to ask to take a picture of his gold play button, and when he's not looking, we're going to snatch it. Yeah, Junior, let's go! Let's go to his house right now! Yeah, let's go right now! <laughs> All right, Jeffy, there's his house. And he's got the Lambo sitting out front. I call dibs. We're not stealing the Lambo. Oh, come on, Junior, please. Okay, fine. If we see the key sitting around, we'll steal the Lambo. Yes. All right, so we're going to knock on the door, pretend we're fans, and when he lets us in, we're going to steal the gold play button. Um, Junior, I think we should take these ski masks off or else he's going to think that we're going to rob the place. Well, well, we don't want him to steal our identity because if he sees us while we steal, he's going to call the cops on us and know who we are. Yeah, but if he sees us in masks, he already might call the police. So I think we should take them off. Okay, how about you take the mask off and pretend to be a fan and when you get in the house, you open up a window so I can sneak in with a mask on and take the gold play button and he'll never know that I was snuck inside the house because you opened up a window. Oh, good idea, Junior. Let's do that. All right, All you right. go to the door. I'll go to the back. All right. All right. I'm at his house, 11 o'clock at night. Nothing weird about this. I'm just going to ring his doorbell and maybe he'll give me a house tour. So, guys, what do you want to do today? Uh, I don't know, dude. Well, who's at the door? Bruh, I your house and we almost had that scene. 11 o'clock at night. Uh, exactly. It's 11 o'clock at night. The fans cannot show up at night. It's your house though. You need to tell them to go. I swear if it's fans, I'm, I'm a scream. Uh, hello? Ah! Are you Super Mario Logan? Yeah. The creator of Jeffy? Yeah. Where's the Jeffy puppet? Um, Lance has it. Can I hold it? Well, Lance isn't here right now. Well, I saw his truck out front. Okay, well, he's upstairs, but we're not using Jeffy today. Okay, where's Junior? I mean, I'm using him for a scene. We're trying can to I hold Junior? Well, we're trying to get a scene right now. Well, I can be in the scene. I'm the best at the scenes. I'll get it one take. Well, I mean... Uh, It'll be a one take Timmy. Okay, well, we're trying to get... Can I get a house tour? I mean, we're not letting fans... Can I live here? Well, we're not letting fans inside the house because of the cough cough. Well, I've already had it, so we're good. So, can I, can I live here? Well, where's your parents? Oh, they're in the car. We drove all the way from Alaska nonstop to be here. Wow. This is all I wanted for my birthday. 
I just wanted to come see you. And now I'm here standing in front of you. I can see you with my eyes. I can see them. Yeah, okay. Well, the Alaska's are very far away. Yeah, it was. It was just, uh, the tires never stopped moving. Like okay. nonstop. We didn't even sleep. What? Two days. Two days we drove here to see you for my birthday. And now I'm not leaving until I get to hold the Jeffy Puppet. Can I have some merch? I mean, we have merch. I can give you some merch. Okay, okay. Can I get a PlayStation 5? Well, that's and an Xbox X? That's and an merch. Xbox S? I mean, that's not- Where's Precious? She's in my room. Can I see Precious? Can I hold Precious? Can I have Precious? Well, she's under the bed. What about Pumpkin? Where's Pumpkin? I mean, he's in the house. Can I have him? No. Why? Because he's my cat. Why? Because I want- Look, look, look how about- Hold on, hold on. Can I eat dinner here? No, no. I, hold on. One more thing. Can we FaceTime my brother's sister's best friend's husband's cousin's sister? I know he'll answer. And if not, we'll just try it 20 more times because you have time. Well, I don't. I, look, we have to really get this scene. I'm, I'm almost. Okay, I'll watch. What, no, we just. Look, okay, how about this? Thanks for being a fan. Okay, and, hold on, hold on. One more thing before I go. Can I have a picture with the gold play button? Oh, yes, that's something I actually can do. Okay, so, all right, let's do it. You can get a picture with that, uh -huh. and then you gotta go, okay? And then I can drive the Lambo. No. <sighs> No, you're not old enough. How old are you? 17. Uh, look, okay, listen, look, let's just go get a picture of the gold play button and then we'll think about it. All right. All right, here's the gold play button. When's your HTML movie coming out? I mean, we're still working on it. Take your picture of the gold play button. I'll have a phone. Well, how are you supposed to take a picture? It's hot in here. Can I open up a window? No. I'm going to open up a window. It's hot in here. Don't. <sighs> Well, Jeffy, you made it inside. How is it? Oh, it's really cool, Junior. He let me see the gold play button. Is it golden? Oh, yeah. It's super gold, Junior. And I think my chances of driving the Lambo are pretty good. Really? Yeah, and he's really, really nice. So he might even let me have the Lamborghini. That's so cool. Okay, let's grab the gold play button. All right, this was a good idea, Junior. <sighs> was it a fan? Yeah, now he's inside the house. He won't leave. Wait, wait what? You let him in? Come on, Logan. Why? We, we filming right now. I know, but he wanted a picture with the gold play button, and now he won't leave. He's opened up windows. <sighs> Did he fart? No, he's opened up windows. I don't know why he's opened up a window, but Lavelle, can you help me get him out? I guess. Look, you gotta learn to be me, Logan. Dang. <sighs> yeah, this is why you don't let people in your house at 11 o'clock at night. Here it is, Junior. Whoa, it's so golden. Oh, yeah. I've already seen it, though. This is like my second time seeing it. Okay, help me get it off the wall. All right. <laughs> what? It's like stuck on the wall. Yeah, Junior. How are we gonna get off the wall? Okay, well, we only want the gold part. So let's find a hammer, shatter this glass, and steal the gold part. Oh, good thinking, Junior. All right, you stall I find a hammer. All right, Junior. All right, here's Lavelle. You're the voice of Chef Pee Pee. Mm -hmm. You're the voice of Joseph. Yep. You're the voice of Toad. Exactly. You're Charlie. Do Charlie. Uh, uh, Charlie? Uh, okay. Hi, guys. I'm Charlie. <laughs> So what what you want? You want a picture or something? No, I don't have a phone. You're Chef Pee Pee. Do the voice of Chef Pee Pee. Uh, so what do you want me to say? Anything. Uh, Junior, get out of this kitchen. <laughs> Where's Lance? Um, you, you know what, Lance? Come Lance. here, so I want to see you. Lance. Lance. Lance, Lance, where are you at? Hey, Lance, there's a fan here. Can you please talk to him so he'll leave? Okay. Yeah. Ah, you're the voice of Jeffy. You're Lance. That's you. Yep. Um, can you say something in your Jeffy voice? Well, what do you want me to say? Say, hey, Jeffy, what doing? All right. Hey, Jeffy, what doing? <gasps> That's so cool. I'm going to go upstairs and see if there's some stuff I can take. Um, Logan? What? He said you're going to go upstairs and take some stuff. So. Oh, you were supposed to help me get him out. But you let him in your house. Oh, my God, I'm sitting on the red couch. Can I have it? No. This is the red couch that you film on. I know. I, I, can I have Junior? No. Why? Because I need him. Well, can I have Joseph? No. Can I have Cody? No. Why? Because I only have one of them. Well, can I live here? Well, no, I got to get back to filming. Well, I drove all the way from Alaska. I want to live here. Well, you can't live here. Just look, can you please leave? No, I can't leave because my parents dropped me off. I told him to come back in a couple hours, so I'm what? stuck here. Well, I need, to, I need to get back to filming, so can you just, I'll call you an Uber. No, I don't want an Uber. I want to live here. I want to be in the film. Can I be in the film? No, I, I gotta finish filming. Look, please, just leave. No, I want to see you on the red couch watch you film. Leave! Oh, wow. You're mean. You're the meanest YouTuber I've ever seen. Ever. Wow. Never meet your idols. I'm glad you got demonetized. Rude. Alright, I'm about to steal that gold. Wait, what? Hey, Logan! There's a kid in the ski mask trying to steal your play button. I gotta hurry up and bring it. Hey! Give me, give me, give me that, give me that. Ah, Jeffy, we're caught, run! Yeah, you're caught. Run, Jeffy, run! Oh my God, that was the weirdest fan ever. Ah, oh, the weirdest, dude. The weirdest. <sighs> well, that sucks. We didn't get the gold play button. Yeah, Junior, and they were super mean. Yeah, they were the meanest YouTubers ever. I can't wait to tell everyone that the Super Mario Logan is the meanest YouTuber in the world. He didn't give us any merch. Yeah, but we did get one thing, Junior. What? what? Is that the Lambo key? It's the Lambo key. Shotgun! <laughs> Alright, let's try to get this scene. 
What's that noise? I'll go check. Uh, Logan, they took your Lambo. What? Mm-hmm. Ding, 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 ding! Congratulations, Danny! You're now on the Jeffy Game Show! And if you answer this one question correctly, then you have to buy me the new PlayStation 5 and the new Xbox Series X. I don't want to play. Well, too bad, Daddy. The first question is, what color is my helmet? Red. Ding, 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 ding! That is correct! Oh, no, you just changed your helmet! Nay, nay. Mario, you said he had a red helmet on. Now he's wearing a red helmet. Well, no, it was blue and he just changed. It doesn't count. Well, Danny, I don't make the rules. I just follow them. Well, I'm not buying you the new PlayStation or the new Xbox. Just wait till Christmas. Christmas? That's like next month. I don't even know if I'll be alive by then. You'll be alive next month. I know. Mario, that's true. The sun could explode tomorrow. Yeah, and if the sun explodes, then I don't know what it's like to have a PlayStation 5 or a brand new Xbox. Well, no one will know because if the sun explodes, we'll all I'll be dead, so no one will care. Look, Jeffy, look, Christmas is next month, and you have to be good, because Santa Claus is watching. Oh, Santa Claus is watching? Well, what about this, Santa Claus? I got a big diaper full of shit. Jeffy, Jeffy, that's it, you're grounded. Grounded? What did I do? Mario, how about we make him a good boy chart? What's a good boy chart? Here, look. Every time Jeffy does something good, we put a gold star on the chart. And when he has 25 gold stars, he gets a prize. G good idea, baby. He'll never do 25 good things, so he'll never get a prize. Mario, that's not the point. <laughs> Jeffy, look. Uh, we got you a good boy chart. Good boy chart. Yeah, good boy chart. If you do 25 good things, I'll buy you one of the new systems. 25 good things? I might as well just wait till Christmas. Then wait till Christmas. Well, no, Daddy. Tell me what the 25 good things are. Okay, you, you have to do good things like you can't be annoying, you can't poop your pants, oh, and uh, you can't break stuff. Well, I haven't broken anything all day, so gold star. Oh, I'll go get the gold stars. What? No. All right, Jeffy, there's your first gold star. I got a star? Daddy, that is the tits. And you lost your gold star. I lost it? What did I do? You said a bad word. That's a bad word? Most people would say that's a good word. Jeffy, look, you can't say bad things. You can't do bad things. You can only do good things to get gold stars. Well, Daddy, my butt's mad at you, so you better gotta listen to what he's gotta say. <laughs> Jeffy, that is disgusting. Look, you can only do good things, so start doing good things. Okay, well, what good things do you want me to do then, Daddy? One, take the microphone out of your pants. Okay, next, go clean the entire kitchen, and you'll get a gold star. All right. Well, this might actually be a good thing if he starts doing good stuff. Yo, 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 Mario, what's up, folks? What's up, Black Yoshi? Yeah, man, I know you see that new PlayStation for 5, you know the PS5 one? Yeah, I saw it. And the new Xbox. Yeah. Well, my pocket's running a little thin this month, so I was wondering if you'd be done slide me that Thowie so I can get the consoles. I don't have a Thowie. Owie! Look, Black Yoshi, I'm not going to buy you any of the systems because I have to buy Jeffy one if he finishes his good boy chart. Good boy chops? <laughs> what's that about, folks? Well, if Jeffy gets 25 gold stars, I told him I'd buy him one of the systems. Well, why don't I get some good boy chops? Because you just don't get one. Well, hold up, folks. <laughs> <What? laughs> Mario, take this out right here. This is my own good boy chops. And instead of 25 stars, I got 50 stars on there. Like the American flag. <laughs> I'll play the Libra to the good boy chops, to the United States, or give me both the consoles. Black Yoshi, what good things have you done? Uh, I be done checks the mail. What, uh, that, that's why my mail was stolen. Oh, yeah, your grandma be sent you $5 for your birthday, but I already be done spimps it. Like, that's a federal offense. Mario, I don't care what type of filth it is. If it's a picket fence, a huckleberry fence, the Miami doll fence. Look, you're not getting any of the systems. I don't care if you have a good boy chart. <laughs> well, fine then, folks. You green. I'm just going to take my chart somewhere else. Maybe I'll take it to the Walmart, and they can see how good I've been. And maybe they just give me the console free. <sighs> Oh man, I don't want to clean all these dishes. Hey Jeffy, what are you doing? I'm about to have to clean the kitchen so I can get a gold star. What happens if you get a gold star? Well, I get to get all the new systems. Uh, really? Yeah. We well, want to see my new toy that I just got? Heck yeah, Junior. All right, turn off all the lights. All right. All right, Jeffy, check this out. It's a lightsaber. Junior, that is the tits. I know, right? It's a real lightsaber. So if I touch it, my fingers are gonna come off? Yeah. What? Liar. Well, you must be made out of armor or something. Yeah, yeah, maybe. I am the BFD with the BFD. Yeah, so what if instead of cleaning those dishes, you got rid of those dishes like a Sith? Oh, heck yeah, Junior, heck! 
Yeah, here, use your Jedi powers to clean those dishes. All right, Junior. All right, Jeffy, the dishes are all lined up for you. Dishes, I am your father. You showed those dishes. Well, I sure did, Junior. Whoa, Jeffy, look at the big mess you made. I know, Junior, it's so sick. Ooh, you made a big old mess, now I'm gonna go tell your daddy. Oh, please don't go tell my daddy. I'm supposed to be being a good boy and get the gold star so I can get the new systems. Well, hey, if you help me get the new PlayStation 5, then uh, I won't tell your daddy that you made a big old mess. So, this is what the plan gonna be. So what you gonna do is, you gonna go steal the gold stars and put it all over your good boy card, and then you gonna take that card to your mama. You gonna tell your mama that your daddy gave you the stars, and then she gonna buy you the Xbox. Then you take that same card and take it to your daddy, and then you tell your daddy that your mama gave you the stars, and then he gonna buy you the PlayStation. And then you give the PlayStation to me. Oh, that idea sounds pity. Well, when do I get a system? You don't. Aww. All right, so go steal the star and get a card to your mom. All right. Oh, my stomach's rumbling. I'm really hungry. Oh, me too. Hey, since Jeffy's cleaning the kitchen, I can go get us some food. Yeah, you should definitely go get us some food. Okay, well, what are you in the mood for? McDonald's. Definitely McDonald's. Oh, McDonald's. We always get McDonald's. But I love McDonald's. And just don't tell Jeffy we're getting McDonald's because I don't want him to eat any of it. Why is that? Because I want him to eat healthy. Oh, well, okay. Well, I'll be right back then. All right. Oh, hey, Mommy. What is it, Jeffy? Oh, uh, before you leave, I cleaned the kitchen so good that Daddy gave me all the stars on my good boy <gasps> chart. He did! Jeffy, I'm so proud of you! Yeah, thanks, Mommy. Oh, uh, I am pretty proud of it. Uh, but when you go out, can you go ahead and get me my Xbox? I will, Jeffy! I will! Oh, sweet, Mommy. Thanks. Ooh, yeah, oh, Daddy, guess what? what? Jeffy, why are you talking like that? Right there go good boy chart full of stars. Jeffy, stop talking like that. What are you saying? Well, Daddy, I cleaned the kitchen so good that Mommy go ahead and gave me all the stars. But she's not supposed to do that. She's only supposed to give you one star for cleaning the kitchen. Well, now you got to go get me my PlayStation. Well, Jeffy, no, explain to me what each star was for. All right, well, the first star, because I cleaned one dish, then I cleaned two dishes, what? and then I cleaned three dishes, and then I clean four dishes. No, you don't. Then I clean five dishes. You don't get a star per all dish. All the way down to 25 dishes. Oh, oh, you know what, Jeffy? Fine, listen. I will go ahead and buy you one game system, but only one. But on Christmas morning, when you wake up and there's no other presents, what are you going to think? That there's no Santa Claus? No, no, because I'm giving you your Christmas gift today. So when I give you your one game system right now, that means it's all you're getting for Christmas, okay? So wh which, which system do you want right now? Uh, the PlayStation 5. All right, I'm going to go get it, but that's all you're getting. Good. Oh, folks, it's working, folks! Uh-huh. Uh, uh. All right, Jeffy, here's your PlayStation 5. Daddy, this is cool as... Jeffy, do not say that word. Look, here, just take your PlayStation 5. Merry Christmas. And a happy new year. Jeffy, go! Take it. Jeffy, I have your Xbox! Oh, Mother! That is the bosoms. Thank you for being such a good boy, Jeffy. Oh, I'm the bestest boy ever. Enjoy. Thanks, Mother. No, no, no. This ain't right. What's wrong? They went ahead and got us the digital dishes or the PS5 and the Xbox, so they went cheap on us. Is that bad? Yeah, it's bad. Because what happens if our Wi-Fi goes out? Then we can't access our games. So we need the ones with the disc dishes. So what we need to do is, I got some plan. We're going to go downstairs and we're going to break both of these consoles so they have to take it back and get us the better ones. So come on, let's go. All right, Jeffy, so what we're going to do is we're going to break them, and then you're going to take them back to your parents and tell them that they came like that. Then they're going to take them back to the store, and then they're going to exchange them for the ghouls. All right. All right, so I'm going to hit this egg bot with the hammer. All right, you ready? Here we go. <coughs> I got an even better idea. All right, folks, we're gonna throw the Xbox out the balcony. Here we go. <laughs> that I'll do it. All right, let me get the PlayStation. All right, right here. PlayStation 5 is next. Bye-bye. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go check it out, folks. Oh, 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 yeah, folks. They broke it. So now what you gotta do is you gotta take them to your parents and then tell them they came like this. All right. Mario, I'm back. Oh, good. I'm starving. What, 
Where's the food? <gasps> Mario, I completely forgot. I was just so excited about Jeffy being such a good boy. I mean, he was a good boy, right? Yeah, right? I mean, he cleaned the kitchen, right? Yeah, right? Um, Mommy, uh, I need to talk to you in the other room in private. Oh. It's an emergency. Okay, Jeffy. All right. All right, Mommy. So I was getting ready to play the Xbox, and I was so excited, and I opened up the box, and it looked like this. Oh, no, Jeffy, it's broken. Yeah, and I read online that all the digital Xboxes are broken. So when you take it back, I think you need to ask for the one with the disc, because uh, those are stronger. Oh, Jeffy, I'm so sorry I got the wrong one. I'll go to the store right now, return it, and get the right one, okay? Oh, oh thank you so much, Mommy. I appreciate it. Oh, Daddy! What? It's awful! What? Play the shot, old yeller! What are you talking about, Jeffy? Daddy, I was getting ready to play my new PS5. I was so excited, and I opened up the box, and it was broken! What, broken? Yeah, and I read online that all the digital PS5s are broken when you open them up. Well, well, so then what am I supposed to get? Well, you're supposed to get the one with the disc player. I heard those are stronger, and they don't break, and they're not broken when you... When you get them. What, it looks like this thing just snapped back on. It doesn't. It, well, 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 let me try it. No, it doesn't. Let, let me try it. Okay, it was dropped off a balcony. What? I mean, it looks like it was dropped off a balcony. I don't know what they're doing over there at Sony. But. Uh, okay, well then, I'll try to... Okay, I'll return it and get you the one that can play disc if this one came broken. Okay. All right, thanks, Daddy. <sighs> Jeffy, I got your PlayStation 5. Jeffy! Baby, why'd you get him an Xbox? Why did you get him a PlayStation 5? He said you gave him 25 gold stars. He said you gave him 25 gold stars. I didn't. I didn't. Whoa, whoa, uh, whoa. Uh, oh. Jeffy, that's it. You're grounded. You lied to us. Father, please don't raise your voice at me. No, don't talk to me in that British voice. It's not going to work this time. You lied to us so that you can get both systems. Well, only one of the systems is for me. Then who's the other system for? <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, you got the PS5? Oh, I can't wait to play it. No, you're not playing the PS5. We're going to return these consoles. Jeffy, you're grounded. Well, am I grounded too, Daddy? Yeah, you're grounded too. You know what? Actually, I think I'm going to play the PlayStation 5. Oh, I think I'm going to play the Xbox. What? <laughs> yep, we're going to play these systems because we bought them. And you guys can just sit back and watch and be grounded. Come on, baby. Let's play these systems. Come on. <laughs> oh, man, this PlayStation 5 is so fun. This is so much fun, Mario. Yeah. Ooh. All right, class. Today, we're going to be learning about dinosaurs and their bones. Dinosaurs have... Ooh, ooh, teacher, teacher, I can do a dinosaur impression. Do it, Junior. <laughs> you done? You feel better now that you got that out of the way? Now, with your permission, if you don't mind, I'd like to finish teaching the crass. Anyway, crass, dinosaurs have a lot of bones. I'm talking a lot of bones. And they lived over a hundred million years ago, which means dinosaurs are old as sh <laughs> All right, crass, stop creaming like a dinosaur. You're not a dinosaur, so you can't cream like them. All right, as I was saying, dinosaurs lived over a hundred million years ago, and their bones are buried underneath the earth. So, if you want to, when you get home tonight, you could take a shovel and go in your backyard and start digging, and you might find a dinosaur bone. Oh, Jeffy, when we get home tonight, we should try digging our backyard to see if we can find dinosaur bones. Heck yeah, Junior, and if we find one, we can chew on it like a dog. <laughs> yeah, and we can see what a dinosaur tastes like. Heck yeah, Junior, let's go do it. Yeah. Wait, wait, where are you going? Class isn't over yet. Oh, they're gonna fail anyway. All right, Jeffy, you ready to start digging for dinosaur bones? F yeah, Junior, F yeah. So dinosaurs existed about 50 billion zillion years ago. Mm -hmm, sounds about right. So how far do you think the, the bones are under the ground? Probably a strong two feet. Well, then start digging, Jeffy. All right, Junior. <laughs> junior, I'm hitting something. <laughs> Jeffy, it's an egg! <gasps> Do you think it's a dinosaur egg, Junior? It has to be, it was underground! Wow, ironically enough, right where we started digging, we found a dinosaur egg. Well, let's take it inside! Okay, Junior! Yeah. Oh man, Jeffy, I can't believe we found a real dinosaur egg! How'd you make the dinosaur come out, Junior? Get out of here, dinosaur, get out right now! No, I, I think you're supposed to sit on it. Well, that's what I told her, Junior, but she didn't listen. No, no, I think you're supposed to sit on the egg. Like, you know like how chickens sit on their eggs to make them hatch? Well, it's not a chicken egg, Junior, it's a dinosaur egg! Well, I still think dinosaurs sat on their eggs. I mean, I mean, if they sat on them, they'd probably break them because they were like a million pounds. Yeah. 
I mean, but still, try sitting on it. All right, dude. Now what? Now we wait. How long? I don't know. Maybe five minutes. Okay. Junior, nothing's happening. Well, maybe the egg knows that you're not a real dinosaur, so it's not going to hatch. Hmm. I got an idea, Junior. Just stay right here. Rawr! I'm a Jeffy Rex, Junior. Whoa, you look just like a dinosaur, Jeffy. Yep, sure do. This egg will definitely hatch now when you get on it. Mm-hmm. Ooh, wee Bessie. You sure are a wild one. All right, now I'm going to ride you into the sunset. Yee-haw! Yee-haw! <laughs> All right, Jeffy, I'm going to go play toys. Let me know when it hatches. All right, Junior. Whoa, settle down there, Bessie. You sure are a wild one. <laughs> Jeffy, we're home. Rawr, Daddy, I'm a dinosaur. Jeffy, what is that? It's my sack, Daddy. I think it's a little bit swollen. Does it look normal to you? Maybe you should put your hand on it so I can cough. But Jeffy, really, what is that? Dang, this is what happened. So I went to the shed, and I got a shovel. And then I went to the backyard, and I proceeded to dig a huge hole. But you what? Daddy, don't be mad. And then I found a dinosaur egg, so now I'm going to sit on it until it hatches so I can become a mommy dinosaur. Jeffy, there's no way you found a dinosaur egg in the backyard. Then what am I sitting on, Daddy? Mario, he could have actually found a dinosaur egg. Well, even if that's a dinosaur egg, it's probably millions of years old, and it'll never hatch. Oh, no, Daddy! I feel something! Maybe you should get close and listen! <sighs> Wait, Jeffy, you're disgusting! Daddy, you wanna know what that was? Four cans of SpaghettiOs. Cold, because I couldn't figure out how to use the microwave. Jeffy, get your stupid egg off the couch and you get out of that stupid, ridiculous costume. <laughs> oh no, Daddy! I actually feel something this time! No, I'm not gonna fall for that again. <laughs> oh no, I think the egg's hatching! <sighs> oh my god! Is that a dinosaur? Mario, Jeffy had a baby dinosaur and it's so cute! I'm a proud mommy! <laughs> Jeffy, what are you gonna name him? Meatball. Well, no, we're not naming it because once you name it, you have to keep it. We're not keeping a pet dinosaur. Sebastian! Mr. Wigglesworth. No! Mr. Fluffbottom. You don't even know if it's a boy. Mrs. Fluffbottom. No, we're not naming it. Squeakers. No, it's, it's a dinosaur, it doesn't squeak. Blue! It's green! Dang, I got the perfect name. I'm gonna name him Boo. Oh, I like boogers! You're not green like a booger! You're not keeping a dinosaur and naming a booger! Hey, booger, say hi to my daddy! <laughs> Give me my hat back! <laughs> Give me my hat back! <laughs> okay, you know, I'm gonna call a dinosaurologist a and. Paleontologist, Mario? Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna call up that and I'm gonna see what's going on with the stupid dinosaur because it doesn't even make sense. If you're telling me it's 100 million years old, then why is that a pencil on his nose? It doesn't make any sense! <laughs> uh, I'm gonna call a dinosaurologist. <laughs> Hey there, you call me? Yeah, are you busy? Nah, not really. I just plugged in my new lava lamp. Hasn't started moving yet, but when it does, it's gonna be sweet! Oh, that's really cool. So, I have a question. Uh-huh. Well, can I see you? Yeah. No, no, not with the lava lamp, just you. Oh, yeah, yeah, what's up? Are you a paleontologist? Uh, yeah, I can be. Okay, so here's what happened. My son started digging a hole in the backyard, and he found an egg. No, no more lava lamp! Uh, okay, what's up? Uh, look, okay, focus. So my son started digging a hole in the backyard, he found an egg, and it hatched, and it turned into a dinosaur. That's, that's, that's not how that usually goes. Yeah, so like, what do we do with it? Like, do we throw it away, take it to a shelter, what do we do? I mean, I keep it. <sighs> my grandma's calling. Oh. Hold on, let me decline that. Okay, so what, what do we do about that? I, I'd keep it. Oh, uh, you keep it? <gasps> so we can keep it? <laughs> What, what, no, no, we're not keeping it. Look, 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 look uh, isn't it like dangerous to keep it? Like, 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 what does it even eat? I mean, people probably, or whole cows if you have those. Well, uh, uh, well, well, we don't have those. We only have Cheetos. Yeah, that could work if you have a lot of Cheetos. Well, no, we're not. No, okay, look, look, man, can you just say that it's illegal to have a pet dinosaur and that we should get rid of it? Well, no. It sounds like it'd be cool to have a pet dinosaur. Yeah, we get to keep no, 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 you know what? You don't even know what you're talking about. You're just dumb. Okay, well, don't call me next time. Lose my number. Well, they only call you a paleontologist because you're pale and tall. If you look at me, you can tell that neither of those are true. I'm tan and short. Okay, well, you know what? Just hang up, man. I don't want to talk to you anymore. Okay. All right, Jeffy, you can't keep the dinosaur anymore. Well, Daddy, the guy in the phone said I could keep him, so I'm going to keep Booger. No, you're only going to spend a few more minutes with him, and then we're going to get someone to come take him away from you. Well, me and Booger are going to go play. Come on, Booger, let's go. Ah! Mario, just let him keep it. No, baby, it's a dinosaur. It's going to take big dinosaur poops all over the house. It's going to destroy our furniture. It's going to do a whole bunch of bad stuff, so he's not keeping it. You didn't hang up. Huh? What? Oh, yeah. 
Oh, that's so sick. Hey, Junior, guess what? What? Booger hat. What? Oh, that's so sick, that's a dinosaur! Yeah, Junior, but my daddy won't let me keep him. Well, why not? Because he's a boomer. What are you going to do with him, then? Well, Junior, I'm not going to let him out of my sight, because if I do, my daddy's going to try to take him and get rid of him. Well, then what are you going to do when you go to school tomorrow? I'll just have to put him in my backpack and take him with me. Well, uh, I guess that's what you're going to have to do, then, but uh -huh. that is a really cool dinosaur. Oh. Ah! I have to find a way to get rid of that dinosaur. Mario, just let him keep it. No, it's too dangerous. Ooh, I got an idea. While Jeffy's sleeping, we'll sneak in his room, grab the dinosaur, get in the car, drive really, really far away, and leave it on the side of the road. That's so mean. You can't do that to him. Baby, it's a dinosaur. When it gets older, it's going to get huge. It's going to destroy the house, and it might even try to eat us. Mario, that's his baby. It's not his baby. All he did was sit on the egg. It's not like he banged the dinosaur. Hey, Mario, I got to watch Charlie and friends in here. Something wrong with my TV. Or, ugh. Charlie and Friends was filmed in front of a live audience. Oh, hi guys. I'm Charlie. And today, I'm a dinosaur. I'm Charlie Saurus Rex. <laughs> oh my god, Charlie, that was so hilarious. <laughs> You're not a dinosaur. <laughs> I got an idea. Baby, what I'll do is I'll hire Charlie to pretend to be the dinosaur's dad, and I'll, I'll dress up like the dinosaur's mom, and when Jeffy gets home from school tomorrow, we'll say the dinosaur's real parents came to pick up the dinosaur. Oh, I don't know, Mario. Psh, good luck with that. I've been trying to meet Charlie for years now. Ugh. I'll find a way to get him. All right, baby, how do I look? Mario, you look ridiculous. No, I look like the dinosaur's mommy, and Jeffy's gonna believe it. No, he won't, Mario. There's no way. I'm, I'm getting a phone call. Hold on. Hello? Hey, you, uh, hey, you, you busy right now? No, I'm kind of busy, why? Well, dude, you have got to see this. I mean, look what the lava lamp's doing. It finally started moving. It's getting all blobby and stuff. That That's really cool. Yeah, yeah, look at that. All right, Crafts. So today, we're going to be having a test today on the dinosaur balls. So if you left class early yesterday, <coughs> Jeffy and Junior, then you're screwed. So before we take the test, let's go over the bones of the dinosaur. So the head bones connected to the neck bone, and the neck bones connected to the body bone, and the body bones connected to the wiener bone, and the wiener bones connected to the red bone, and the red bones connected to the tail bone. One more time, class. <laughs> Jeffy, what are you messing with in your backpack? Oh, uh, a dinosaur? <laughs> yeah, right. If you got a dinosaur in your backpack, then I'm packing more than two inches. No, I swear it's a dinosaur. All right, I'm going to come check. And if there's a dinosaur in your backpack, you get to go home for the rest of the day and I'll give you an A on the test. All right, let me check. <laughs> I got to come home early because I took my dinosaur to school. Rawr! Who are you? I'm the dinosaur's mom. Rawr! And I'm the dinosaur's dad. Rawr! And we're here to take our son back. <gasps> Mommy, is this true? Uh, uh, I, I think so, Jeffy. Uh-huh, we left our egg in the dirt because we had to go to the grocery store. Yep, can't forget the fruity pebbles. <laughs> no, can't can't forget those. So come on, son, let's go home. Ah! Man, this mask is hot. Wait, who are you? Oh, hi, guys. I'm Charlie. So you guys really aren't the parents? Well, uh, no, Jeffy, we're just trying to get rid of that dinosaur because you're not supposed to have it. Well, Daddy, that's rude. I and mean, we don't need this, so come on, Booger, let's go. What? We're gonna get rid of that dinosaur eventually. When do I get paid? What? Uh, look, baby, we have to call someone who can really get rid of that dinosaur. Hey there, someone call a crocodile hunter? Yeah, I was wondering, do you deal with dinosaurs? Oh, no, mate, no dinosaurs, only crocs. Well, um, my son has a croc in his room, and he wants to try to keep it as a pet. Oh, you can't do that. You cannot keep crocs as pets. They're too dangerous. So can you go in the room and you know, take the croc from him? Yep, I'll go round him up just in a bit. Mario, why would you tell him it's a crocodile? Well, it, it's small enough to be a crocodile. Look, look, he'll believe it's a crocodile and he'll get rid of it. Oh, no. All right, took a little bit of wrestling, but I got it. What is that? It's a croc. N no, I was talking about a croc. 
I'm confused. There's a croc. Well, no, not the shoe, like a crocodile. Oh, crocodile. Okay, where's it at? It's in my son's room. Mm-hmm. All right, I'm on it. But I'm still going to charge you for this croc. Uh, okay, fine. Just, just go. All right. <sighs> Good booger. Oh no, oh, oh no, I'm got the bubble guts. All right, booger, you stay right here. I gotta go have diarrhea in the sink. Oh, wow, that's a croc. Oh, about 13 pounds. Yeah, I think I can take them. Ah, oh, got you now. Oh, 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 got him in a toehold. Oh, oh, let's get the carrier. Let's get him in the carrier. Oh, all right, that'll do it. But you got him. Sure did. Thank you so much. Mario, this is cruel. No, it's not, baby. We don't need a pet dinosaur. All right, so that's off to the vaporizer for him. What? The vaporizer? Yeah, how do you think we make Crocs? We skin the little fella and then we wrap it around the shoe. What? Yeah, that's how we do it. All right, come on, off you go. Woo! Mario, I hope you're happy. <laughs> um, daddy, have you seen Booger? Tell him, Mario, tell him how sick. You are! Well, I've had a sore throat for the last three days. No, Mario! Tell him what you did to his booger! Well, I found out you were picking your nose and wiping it on the kitchen cabinets, and I decided to leave him there. F yeah, Daddy. Give me some knuckles. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mario, tell him what you did! Uh, I was on the internet, and I ordered you a bunch of toys! F yeah, Daddy. Give me some more nut. Uh -huh. No, Mario! Tell him what's happening! I'm gonna take you to Walmart to pick out a Lunchable! F yeah, Daddy. Give me some more nut. Uh -huh. That's three F yeahs in a row, uh -huh. Daddy. Mm. No, Mario. Tell him right now how you had someone take Booger away and now he's being made into shoes. Mm. <gasps> Daddy, you took my Booger away. Well, look, he's going to be happier in shoes. Daddy, I hate you. You're not my favorite Daddy anymore. <laughs> I don't want my Booger turned into shoes. <laughs> well, look, you can't have a bad Daddy. <laughs> no, 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 it's... You're I'll try to get him back, okay? I'll try to get him back. All right, just stop crying. I'm gonna go get him back. I want my F years back, Dad. Give him back. Hey, is there any way that we can actually get Booger back? Ah! Oh, hey, Booger, you, you just had your dinner? Uh, okay, well, I'm, I'm gonna take this away from you. Uh, come on, Booger, c come back with us. Yeah. Win, win, win. All right, guys, stop crying. I got Booger back. Just went and talked to the guy. All right, Jeffy, look, mm -hmm. you get to keep Booger as long as he doesn't break anything or destroy anything, okay? F yeah, daddy. <sighs> so, Joseph, what do you want to do today? I don't know, dude. Me either. Hey, what's up, guys? Oh, it's Harry. Oh my God, what do you want, Harry? Yeah. Well, I was selling my Pokemon card collection, and I was wondering if you guys were interested in buying any. Well, do you have any Poliwags or Poliwhirls or Poliwrass or Polytoads? No. They don't talk to me. Ha, <laughs> loser. Yeah. So lame. But I do have a couple cool ones like this Charizard right here. It is a holographic, a real penny dropper. That's lame. Uh, okay, well, I also have this Mewtwo. It's actually a shadowless first edition. Shadowless? Yes. So, like, we don't get six more weeks of winter? I don't understand. No, it doesn't have a shadow. So if you look at the Charizard, there's a shadow around the picture. On the Mewtwo, the first edition, it doesn't have that. So how many girls you get with that? <laughs> Yeah, no, uh, don't talk to me unless you have some polys, because I have the complete poly collection. Oh, don't flex on them, dude. What's the poly collection? Oh my god, Joseph, I gotta do it to him. No, don't do it to him. I gotta show him the poly collection. Alright, show him, dude. Oh, you done messed up now. Alright, Harry, let me show you where you failed at life. Oh, he's gonna start crying, get ready to be depressed. Right, I got my poly wag, my poly whirl, my poly wrath, and my poly toad. Oh yeah, the tears are flowing, I see them. Next page, my poly toad E. X is my prized possession. And I just got, you know, pages, pages of polys. I got so many polys, you know, you'll, you'll never beat me, so I'll just read it and weep. <sighs> well, I hate to tell you this, Junior, but none of your poly collection is shadowless or first edition. 
So it's still worth a lot of money. Like maybe one day I'll sell them for 10 million if someone begs me. Yeah. No, to be honest with you, Junior, your collection isn't worth anything. Well, yeah, it is. I got every single poly, like every single poly ever. Look at all of them. No, Junior, look, your polys have shadows around the picture. Just like this Charizard. The Mewtwo is shadowless and first edition. Yours doesn't even have the first edition step. These are worthless. So you're saying there's polys out there that, that are first edition and shadowless? There are! Just like this Regi Steel EX that was graded by PSA, a PSA 10 Gem Mint. What? And there are polys out there that are encapsulated just like this one. What? Joseph, I gotta go find some polys that are like that because these are worthless now! What? No way, dude! They're worthless! Oh, okay, let's go to the store and try to find some PSA 10 polys! Oh, dude, let's go! All right, Joseph, let's see if they have any first edition Pokemon cards. Okay, dude. What can I help you two with today? Um, do you have any first edition Pokemon cards? Poke me man cards? Of course I do, right here. I have a Mewtwo. Ooh. And a Charizard, which is a fan favorite. Well, do you have any, like, Poliwag, Poliwhirl, Poliwrath, Politoads? Hmm, let me think. Oh, yes, I do, right here. All of them are PSA 10 graded, first edition Pokemon cards. Whoa, whoa you actually have them? Dude, no way! Joseph, these are the cards that we need. Oh, they're right here, they're so close. I, I can almost taste them. Dude, I want to lick them so bad. Oh, okay, how, how much are they? We want them. 30. $30? $30? I got $1,000. $30,000? Uh, uh, why are they so much? What do they even do? Well, because there's not that many on Earth. I mean, in space, yes, because NASA took a few of them into space. But uh, right here on Earth, these are the only ones. I don't have $30,000. Well, then get out of my store. Uh, we'll be back. All right. I'll be playing Dungeons and Dragons. What are we going to do, Joseph? I don't know, dude. So did you find the Pokemon cards you were looking for, Junior? Yeah, and they're selling them for $30,000. Mm, sounds about right. They are really expensive. Oh. So what are you going to do now, dude? If I throw away my poly collection since it's worthless. Well, anyway, Junior, I'm just going to go sell my Pokemon cards. <laughs> I'm gonna give you time to cry because you're gonna need it. I'm out of here, dude. Why are my pollies worthless? <laughs> this stupid poly die, die, die. Hey, dude, I came to check in on you. <laughs> What's wrong with you? Don't do that. Are you mad? It's worthless, Joseph. It's worthless. It may be worthless, but you've been collecting these cars all your life. But they're not worth anything, Joseph. Just like me, worthless. Listen, we may be worthless too, but you don't just give up in life. <laughs> but Joseph, it's not first edition. It's not PSA 10. It's not even shadowless. <laughs> listen, buddy, listen. Well, look, we could just look um online. Maybe we could find one for cheaper. Cheaper than thirty thousand yeah, dollars. Cheaper, way cheaper. Oh, okay, get my laptop then. <laughs> okay, dude, I got it. I got it. Uh, all right, dude, got the laptop. I'm on eBay. You're not gonna find any that are cheaper. Wait, wait. No way, dude. Wait, what? Oh, dude, I found a poly wrap for twenty dollars. Wait, wait, is it first edition? Yes, first edition, shadowless poly wrap. Oh, buy it, buy it. Oh, dude, dude, dude. I need a credit card. Where's the oh, credit card? Oh, let me grab my dad. Let me grab my dad. Hurry, hurry up, hurry up. Grab my dad's credit card. Oh, okay. Buy it, buy it, buy it. All right, dude. And bought it. It's bought. Oh yeah. Yeah, we got a PSA 10 poly wrap. Okay, now we just need a PSA 10 uh, Poliwag, Poliwhirl, and Politoad, so look for those. Okay, I got you, dude. What? Ooh, there's someone at the door! It might be my card! Oh, I hope so! Well, they ship fast. Right? Uh, hello? Yeah, I got a package for Junior. Is it my Pokemon card? I don't know, man. I just delivered the packages. I don't know, but... <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, well... Joseph, Joseph, I think my card came in. Dude, what are you waiting for? Check it out! I can't wait to see my first edition PSA 10 holographic poly... Tartar? <laughs> tartar? Why is it called a tartar? Well, I don't know why it's called a tartar, Joseph. What did you buy? <laughs> Hold on, dude. Wait just a second. Oh, oh my god. Oh god. What? You're gonna laugh about this one. What? Uh, it's French. French? Yep, it's French. Like the fries? Like the fries. What? So in France, the way they say polyrath is tartar? <laughs> yeah, I guess so. Those French people are weird. So they're like, wee wee, tartar. What? Ew, it, that's so dumb. I didn't want a tartar. I want a polyrath, Joseph. Dude, it's still a first edition. You I don't care if it's a first edition. I'm not going to love it. I'm not going to love a tartar. I want it to be a normal polyrath. I don't want that. Oh, all right, Joseph, this is what we're going to do. We're going to get $30,000, and we're going to go buy the real PSA 10 polywag, polyworld, polyrath, polytoad. All right, dude, but how are we going to get $30,000? <sighs> Easy. Let's just ask Chef Pee Pee for it. 
Yeah, yeah, the broken chef that cooks for you on a daily basis and complains about it is gonna give you $30,000? He has a Swiss bank account, he has to. All adults have stuff like that, right? They, they store away money? Look, let's go ask Jeffy for $30,000, he has to have it. You might be right. Bill Gates has a Swiss bank account. Mm -mm -mm. I can't wait to throw this away. Hey, Chef PP. Not right now, Junior. I just made some coleslaw and I'm about to throw it away. Wait, why are you gonna throw it away? Because nobody eats coleslaw, it's disgusting. It's meant to be made and thrown away. Yeah, it is really gross. Anyway, can I borrow $30,000? $30,000? Junior, no! Why do you always ask for an outrageous amount of money knowing I don't have it? Well, if you would have asked for a quarter, I would have had it in my back pocket. Well, there's these Pokemon cards that I really want to buy. Uh, nobody want to hear about Pokemon cards, Junior. They're worthless. Well, they're worth $30,000, Chef PP. I doubt it. I highly doubt it, Junior. Well, then how can I raise $30,000? Maybe you should just get your friends and do a car wash or something. Car wash? I can wash some cars. You're gonna have to wash a lot of cars. Okay, Joseph, let's start a car wash. All right, Joseph, we're gonna wash cars to raise the $30,000. Wait, wash cars? Dude, you know how many cars we would have to wash to get $30,000? 10 cars at $3,000 a piece. I know, bro, there's too many. Dude, we can do it, Joseph. Come on, just believe in yourself. Come on, we can wash those cars. Oh, I guess. All right, let's go. Car wash, come get your car wash. We're trying to buy some Pokemon cards. Car, car wash. wash. Joseph, why aren't cars showing up? Dude, people don't want their cars washed by two little kids when they have automatic machines that'll wash it in like five seconds. So then what are we gonna do? <sighs> we gotta offer them something that they don't get at a normal car wash. Like what? Oh, dude, I got an idea. Car wash, get your car wash, and we'll shuck your toes. Ew, Joseph, you're going to be the one to do that, right? Dude, of course. My neighbor pays me $5 to do it all the time. Honestly, if you needed money for Pokemon cards, we should have went to him first. Ooh, there's a car coming. Ooh, car wash! Car wash! Car, car wash! wash! Car, car wash! Car wash! Car wash right here! Car wash! Car, car wash! It's right here, right here! How much is it? $30,000. Yeah, $30,000. Uh, I'm good. What? what? Wait, wow! He can afford it. He drives a Lamborghini. Right, dude. I've always heard he's mean. Oh, I bet he is. Look, well, well, there's another car. There's another car. Oh, oh. Ooh, ooh. Joseph, car wash. Show him the sign. Show him the sign. Car wash. Car wash. Car wash. Oh, uh, you see the sign? You car see, wash. You see it? Car wash, and you'll suck my toes. Yep, we'll suck them. Yep. Oh, well, I don't need someone to suck my toes because I have a maid at the house that'll do that. Well, we, we, we'll wash cars too. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, I don't normally do this, but uh, I'm in a, I'm in a rush. I have a very important business meeting, and a bird had diarrhea on the roof of my car. And so, I, I guess I'll have you guys wash my car. Yeah, well, we'll wash it. We'll wash it. We, yeah, we'll, we'll leave it spotless. We'll clean it off. Now, you sure you don't want your toes sucked? No, we'll do it. I don't want my toes sucked. Oh. No, no, Joseph, we already got them. I'll just park it in the driveway. We'll wash it. We're okay. lost. All right, you two. You see all these little droplets all over my car? Yeah. Yeah, that's bird diarrhea. The bird had too much Taco Bell. So what I need you guys to do is wash this car spotless. And I swear to God, if there's one scratch on this car, I'm going to lock both of you two in cages and drop you into shark infested water. You got it? We, we got it. We're going to wash the car and we're going to make it spotless, okay? Mm -hmm. All right. Get it done. All right, Joseph, you start rinsing the car. I'm going to clean the inside. Oh, I can do that, bro. Hey, hey, Junior, I haven't peed in like a week. Oh! <laughs> It looks like you're peeing. I know, right? Oh. I'm gonna go clean the inside. <laughs> oh, dude, I can't stop peeing. What did I drink? <laughs> Maybe a lot of Capri Suns. Uh, let me clean this inside. Oh, it's dirty. Oh, I'm gonna clean over here. All right, there's a bunch of receipts and trash and a Sprite bottle. What, what is this? Is that a blank check? I could fill it out and, and get $30,000 to buy that Pokemon card. Joseph! Joseph! We're rich! Huh? We're rich! Yeah. Uh, wait, what are you talking about, dude? Look at this, Joseph. Wait, what is that? It's a blank check. We can fill it out for the money for the Pokemon cards. Wait, wait, dude, isn't that stealing? Look how rich this guy is. He doesn't care about, like, $30,000. Dude, you're right. <laughs> We're done with your car. You deal with him. Wait, what? Well, it's all done for you, sir. You didn't even dry it. Look, look, when you're going 100 miles per hour on an interstate, it'll dry, I promise you. This is the worst car wash I've ever been to, ever. Well, you shouldn't get two kids to wash your car. I'm not paying for this. Well, well, you don't have to, because we're rich. <laughs> <sighs> oh, you're back. Yep, and we want these four Pokemon cards. Well, do you have $30,000? We have something even better. A blank check from a billionaire. Mm -hmm. Oh, is it your check? Uh... uh uh, yeah, yeah, his dad's a billionaire. Yeah, my dad, Bill Gates, he said, uh, here's a blank check, put whatever number you want, whatever you want, Timmy. Oh, wonderful! Well, let me get them out of the case for you. <gasps> We're actually gonna get the cards! Dude! Here you are! Joseph, they're right here, they're all mine! Dude, we got them! We got them! Oh, Ten million dollars! Uh, you enjoy that check. All right, Joseph, let's go! <laughs> Joseph, can you believe it? I got Jim Mint PSA 10 Shadowless First Edition Polywag! Polywhirl! Okay. Polywrap! Right. Polytoe! Don't do it to him! 
Ribbit! Oh! Yeah! Polly Gang! Polly Gang! Polly Gang! Polly Gang! I completed the Polly Collection! Yeah, yeah! Oh, oh. Who's at the door? Well, whoever it is, I'm gonna tell them I got all the Pollies! Yeah, tell them they can't compare, bro! Hello? I have all the Polly! What's that? Chris Tallballs, I presume? Uh, I don't know who that is. Let me tell you a story. Earlier today, you washed my car. I had a blank check sitting in my car. I went to my business meeting, and we agreed upon a price. I went to my car to get the blank check, and guess what wasn't there? The blank check. And the bank calls me and said, Mr. Goodman? And I said, uh-huh. And they said, did you spend $10 million on Poke Me Man cards? And I said, are you having a stroke? Because you sound crazy right now. If I'm going to spend $10 million for someone to poke me, I'd like to be there. Chris Tallballs. Who's that? I don't know. I wish it was me. Because if I was Chris Tallballs, I'd be $10 million richer right now. Okay, look, it's what happened. I really wanted these Pokemon cards. So I took your check and, and I bought them with it. Okay, so you go upstairs and you give me those Poke Me Man cards right now! But, but, but I love them! I don't care! I love money! And if you're gonna spend $10 million of my money on Poke Me Man cards, you're gonna give them to me right now! Uh, uh, go! Uh, I'll go get them! Who's at the door, dude? The guy we took the blank check from! Ah, what did he say? He knows we took the check from him! Dude, are we going to jail? No, he just wants the Pokemon cards back. Dude, you can't give him the Pokemon cards! These are rare! You'll never find them again! I know, I love them so much! Oh, what are you gonna do, dude? <laughs> you said do, dude. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you do, dude, your pants! I didn't do, do my pants, dude. But no, seriously, I don't want to give up my PSA 10 polys. I love them! Oh, man. Wait, wait, wait. What? I got an idea, Joseph. What? <laughs> all right, Joseph. I put all my old polys in cases, even the bit one. And can you tell the difference? Mm, no, not really. Yeah, that's an old guy. He doesn't know Pokemon cards, so I'm going to give him my old ones that aren't the PSA 10 first editions, and he's not even going to know. Dude, you're a genius, and you get to keep the most valuable ones. I know, so I'm going to give him these, and I'll be right back. <laughs> you're a genius. Hmm, I wonder if Mario's home. I can go ahead and get my house payment while I'm here. Okay, uh... I have the Pokemon cards, right? You give me those what? Pokemon cards. No! You they're... know what I'm going to do? What? I'm going to go home. I'm going to put these in a blender. Then I'm going to drink it. And then I'm going to pee it out into my gold toilet. And I'm going to be thinking about you the whole time. Well, no, don't take my polys. No! Sucker. All right, Joseph, I gave it to him. Did he believe it, dude? Yeah, he believed it. Woo I completed the poly collection. I did it. Polly gang, poly gang, poly gang, poly gang, poly gang, gang, poly gang, poly gang, poly gang, poly gang, uh, Junior, what? Uh, th this poly dude? Uh, it's, it's a PSA nine. What? 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 PSA nine? <laughs> hey, dang! I was picking my nose, and now the booger won't come off my finger. Ew, Jimmy, go wipe it on a napkin. But dang, no matter how much I shake my hand, the booger won't come off. Jimmy, go wipe it on a napkin. What? Not the couch, Ow! Jeffy! Jeffy, go get a napkin! Do not wipe it on the couch, Jeffy! Well, if I eat it, don't you eat it. No, Jeffy, don't you eat that burger. Ew! Ow! 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 Daddy, it tastes like chicken! Jeffy, go spit it out in the bathroom! Oh, it's disgusting, Jeffy! Ugh. That was gross. That was disgusting! What is Jeffy doing? Jeffy, what are you doing? <laughs> Jeffy! What are you doing? What is this? Dang, this is my booger collection. What, booger collection? Yeah, every time I pick my nose, I come back here and I wipe the booger on the back of the couch. That one right there is from 2016. It's four years old. Sorry, that is disgusting. You're going to grab a napkin and you clean up all these boogers. Well, if I just eat them. You're not going to eat them, Jeffy. <laughs> Ow! Why do you keep hitting me? Because you're a bad boy, Jeffy. <laughs> you think you're a bad boy? You're a bad boy. Uh, why? You're a bad boy because you pick your nose and put your boogers all over the back of the couch. Mario Row! Uh, Chef PB! <sighs> what do you want from me, Mario? Can you please clean these burgers off the back of the couch? Ew! No! Why would I clean that? That's disgusting! No! Well, don't you clean stuff? No! I am Chef PB! Not main PB! Not servant PB! And definitely not booger cleaning PB! Well, can you please be booger cleaning PB just for right now? No, Mario! No, stupid! Uh, okay, fine! Stop messing with me! Ugh. Do it myself! Later. <sighs> Mario, what's going on back there? Jeffy's been picking his nose for years and wiping it on the back of the couch. Ew! Tell him to clean it up, Mario. I did, but you know he's not going to. Sometimes I wish I had a better son. Mm -hmm. Dad!
That is it. I want a divorce. I'm on the track all day chugging my butt off, and you sit on your lazy butt all day and don't even take care of Junior. <laughs> What's wrong, Jeffy? My dad's being mean and said I couldn't wipe boogers on the couch. Where else are you supposed to wipe them? Right, that's what I'm saying, Junior. If I had a kid, I'd let him wipe his boogers on the couch. Yeah, me too, Junior. <gasps> Jeffy, are you thinking what I'm thinking? That we should both have a kid? Yeah, if we have a kid, because we both think the same, it'd be the smartest kid in the world. Mm -hmm. It could be like an astronaut. Yeah. Uh -oh. But we're boys. We, we can't have a kid together. Hmm. What about that hairy kid? He's super smart. Maybe he can invent like an invention or something and then make us have a kid. Yeah, like, like, like a machine that makes us pregnant. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, let me call Harry up. Hey, we need this couch for a second. Can y'all leave? Uh, sure. Okay. Hello, Junior. You called me. Yes, me and Jeffy want to have a baby. Well, that's physically impossible because you two have ding-dongs and not keyholes. Well, that's why we want you to help. Well, I don't have a key. Either. No, like, can't you make, like, a machine that can get, like, Jeffy or me pregnant? Junior, that's physically impossible! There's no way I could invent a machine that would get you pregnant! Well, it's a YouTube video. Anything's possible! Hmm, I suppose you're correct. I'll be right back! All right, Junior, I've done it! I've invented the impregnator! Whoa, how does it work? Well, you fill it up with super powerful energetic reproductive material. It's an acronym. And then you shoot it at whoever you want to be pregnant. So who wants to be pregnant? Well, Jeffy wants to be pregnant. Okay. All right, Junior, I just need you to spit into the top of it to fill it up. Uh, okay. Uh, oh, spit on my impregnator, Daddy! All right, so Jeffy, prepare to be pregnant! <laughs> Junior, am I pregnant? I mean, you look like it. Ooh, I got hoo -hoos. Mm. You have some big cans, Jeffy. Get out of here, oh. Harry. All right, there's only one way to see if you're really pregnant. You have to take a pregnancy test. All right, Junior, go get one. All right. I'm about to lactate like a cow. All right, Jeffy, you go in the bathroom and you pee on this. And if it says pregnant, that means you're pregnant. Okay, so I stick it in my butt. Wait, no, you pee on it. All right, I'm going to stick it in my butt. Uh, okay. Hey, Junior, what does pre mean? What? Jeffy, you're pregnant! Woo! We're gonna have a baby! Yeah, Junior, when's this thing gonna come out of my butt? I think like nine months. Oh, that's a long poop, Junior. I feel like this thing could come out any minute right now. What, really? Mm -hmm. Okay, well, let's go to a bathtub. When people get birth, they do it in bathtubs for some reason. <laughs> okay. Are you guys done in here yet? Wait, what's this? <laughs> pregnant? Rosalina's pregnant? <laughs> Mario, are we allowed back in here yet? Uh, yeah, we are, baby. Yeah, we are. Cool. So... So what, Mario? Is there something you wanted to tell me? Like what? You know... What are you talking about, Mario? Isn't there something inside you? I mean, I haven't pooped in like two days, but I wasn't going to tell you that. No, not that. You know, something else? I mean... I, I ate a lot of food at dinner. I could have a food baby. Oh, that, 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 the second word. What? You're pregnant. Mario, I'm not pregnant. Well, yeah, you are. Are you saying I'm fat? No, no, no. Look, I found this pregnancy test, so I thought you were pregnant. Mario, that's not mine. It's not? Yes, it is. Who else could it be? Mario, did you get a girl pregnant? Wait, wait. Well, look at me. I'm bald. No, it's yours. You're the only girl in the house. Mario, that's not mine. Then who else is it going to be? Jeffy. He could be Jeffy. Oh, no. Je Jeffy's 16. But he wipes burgers on the couch. He can't be the dad. Mario, we need to call him in here right now. Jeffy, get in here. What do you want, Daddy? My hormones are all out of whack. Mario, what the... Jeffy, why do you look like that? Junior got me pregnant. <laughs> how, how, how did Junior get you pregnant, Jeffy? Well, his friend invented a machine and it got me pregnant. Oh, okay. Okay, that's okay. All right, there's a, there's a simple fix to this. Um, Jeffy, come with me to the stairs. Mario, no! I'm gonna be a grandma! No, 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 Jeffy cannot keep this baby. He's a, he's a guy. Where's the baby gonna come from, Jeffy? He's gonna come out of my butt. Okay. Wait, that's not where babies come out of? No, no, Jeff, it's not. Okay, look, this is what we're going to do. Um, We're going to call a doctor and see what you're supposed to do when your son gets pregnant. Okay, L let me call a doctor. Let me, let, me just, let me just call him. Hey there, you call a doctor? Hey, doctor, so you probably hear this question all the time, but what do I do when my son's pregnant? But, uh, no, no, actually, I don't hear that all the time, but I've never heard that before. Well, my son is pregnant. How? Well, he said his friend got him pregnant with a machine or something. 
What, is his friend Optimus Prime? What happened? I, I don't know, but like, like, what, what are our options? Like, what do we do about this? Well, I think your options are just the normal options, I guess. Well, like, how does he have the kid? Because you know he has a he has, he has a wee wee. I mean, I don't know. I, I'd love to find out. So when it happens, please tell me. Oh no, Dad! I think I'm going into labor. Oh, he's going into labor. Oh no, that's that's not good. Oh, okay, hey, doctor, walk me through. What do I do? Uh, 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 okay, uh, do, do you see a head? Do, do I see a head? Uh, see a head? Oh no, Dad! I'm teabagging like in Call of Duty. Well, Jerry, stop it! It's a serious situation. What do we do? I don't see a head. Uh, 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 oh, wait, wait, what's that, honey? Uh oh, dinner's ready? Uh oh, sorry, guys, I gotta go. Dinner's ready. Oh, no, 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 you're the doctor. I need your help. Oh, uh, oh, wait, wait, hold on. I, I'm going into a tunnel. I, 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 can't, I can't hear you. Sorry. You're not going into a tunnel. I can see you. Uh, okay, okay, um, uh, Jeffy, just, just breathe. Just push, push, push. Uh, 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 but that, that is the most terrifying thing I've ever seen. No, it isn't, Mario. It's cute. <laughs> Dada! <gasps> His first word! I don't want to be a part of this. I don't want to be a part of this at all. Jeffy, what are you going to name him? Um, I think I'm going to name him Jeffy Jr. What? Jeffy, you had the baby? I sure did, Jr. Mama! What? Me, Mama? What? D didn't Jeffy give birth to you? Yeah, why are you calling him Mama? I'm your mommy. Dada! Mama! <laughs> uh, okay, okay, I don't want any more crying. <laughs> You boys made a commitment, now you have to take care of it. Jeffy Jr., Jeffy Jr., Jeffy Jr., look, it's gonna be okay. It's gonna be okay. <laughs> shut up, shut up! Oh, oh, Jeffy, oh, what are we gonna do? How are we gonna take care of this? Um, well, I'm gonna be the daddy. And since I'm the daddy, I still gotta go to school, because I gotta provide for this family. Okay, so you're gonna go to school tomorrow, and I'll just be a stay at home mom. <laughs> All uh, right, Jr., so what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna go to bed, because I gotta get up early for school tomorrow. So okay. I'll see you later. Mama! Get up. Oh, look, 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 we're going to, uh, we're going to go uh, rock in the crib real quick. Mama! All right, Crass, since you all are so stupid, we're going back to basic math. So does anyone know what one plus one equals? Um, one plus one equals three. No, how the f- How? How do your stupid brain get three? One plus one, how do you get three? Because the two ones did it, and then they had the baby, and then that equals three people. No, one plus one did not do it. They numbers, how they gonna do it? They ain't got PPs and diabetes. One plus one is two. No, the answer is three. Because when two people do it, and they have a baby, that's three people. Explain to me how there's two. Unless they did it with protection, but you didn't tell me that. So the answer is two. I don't want to hear it. One plus one equals two. Oh, my phone's ringing. Hello? Jeffy! Jeffy Jr. won't stop crying and breaking stuff. Can you please come home and help? Well, can't you handle it? Jeffy, I am a stay-at-home mom. I need the dad's help. Well, I'm trying to learn basic math right now, Junior. I'm trying to provide for this family. Oh, can you please come home, please? I'll see what I can do, Junior. Jeffy? Jeffy, are you using the phone in class? Um, I'm on the phone right now. My kid needs me at home. Jeffy, there is no way that you have a kid. No one gonna wanna park with you. <laughs> you telling me someone gonna park with you? <laughs> no way. Jeffy, just come on, hurry! Oh, I'm on my way, Junior. All right. I'll go ahead and give you an F for the semester, Jeffy. Wee! Shut up! Shut up! Wee! What's wrong, Junior? He just won't stop crying. Why well, have you tried feeding him? What, it eats? Yeah. Well, uh, okay. Uh, look, bring him downstairs, and I'm gonna see if Chef Pee can make him something to eat. All right, Junior. Come on, Jeffy. Junior. Wee! Wee! Hey, Chef Pee Pee. Oh, what do you want, Junior? Can you make some baby food? Dang! How many times are you gonna eat today, Junior? <laughs> Because I'm, I'm calling you a baby. Well, no, it's not for me. It's for my son. Uh, sure. Well, you, do, you don't have a son. You're the baby. So I'm going to make you some baby food. Okay. Wee! Shut Wee! up, Jeffy Jr. Here's your baby food. Uh, I'm not even going to ask. All right, Jeffy Jr. Eat your food. Yo! Well, he's definitely mine, kid. Oh, well, how about some Chick-fil-A mac and cheese? Yay! He's definitely my kid. I'm so glad Jeffy Jr. ate his dinner. Yeah. <laughs> Get out! You destroyed my golden Thomas! <gasps> and you destroyed my car piano! <laughs> I don't want to 
have again anymore, Jimmy. Jimmy, you're going to time out. Who, <laughs> Jimmy? I don't want to have him anymore. I don't want him anymore either, Junior. You destroyed my golden Thomas. It was so rare. He destroyed my favorite cow piano. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna make some phone calls and see if someone will adopt him from us. Okay, <laughs> Junior. Jeffy Junior, where did you go? You're in good spending right now. Jeffy Junior, where are you? <laughs> All right, Jeffy, there's someone at the door here to get Jeffy Jr. But, but we're picking boogers and putting them on the cow. Dad, Dad. So you actually want to keep him? Um, yeah. He broke my golden Thomas and your cat piano. Oh, you're right. Yeah. You're right. All right, Jeffy Jr., there's someone at the door for you. Mama? Uh, hello? Hi, I'm here to uh, pick up kid who are really good at making an iPad. Um, he's right here. It's our son. Oh, he's a boy. I hit a jackpot. Ding, 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 ding. Well... Bye, Jeffy Jr. This is your new home. Mama. Bye. Hey, Dad. Uh, is he going to have a good life? Oh, he's going to be a super smart. He a freak of nature. He's going to grow up and fight Godzilla. <laughs> he even look like Godzilla. But he's going to have a good life. He's going to be super smart. So come on. Mama. Bye. Well, we got rid of our son. Yeah. Remember when you wiped boogers on the couch? Remember when he ate his mac and cheese? Remember when he threw his green beans and shattered the plate? Did we make a mistake, Jeffy? No! no. <laughs> <sighs> I wonder what's taking Joseph so long to come over. Dude, dude, dude! I'm sorry I'm late, but you'll never believe what happened. What happened? Dude, I'm skating over to your house, and out of nowhere, I hear screams. So I'm looking around, and then I look up. It's a dude skydiving, and he's struggling with his parachute. And I'm like, don't open. Please don't open. And then right in front of me, he splashed like a pancake, and his brain pops out. <laughs> Did you catch his brain? Did I catch his brain? <laughs> like bees in a Mardi Gras parade. Yeah, you got the brain. Yeah, dude. Now let's play brain catch. Oh, I love brain catch. <laughs> Come on, dude. Dude, go long. I'm Tom Brady. Catch! Ugh, I got it, I got it! What? Mm -mm -mm. I can't wait to make my famous baked potatoes! <gasps> oh, is that a brain? Hey, Chef Pee, have you seen a brain in here? It's right there! What do you mean? What, where did you get a brain from? Oh, my girlfriend told me she was gonna give me some brain, and she gave it to me literally. What? Do you keep your stupid brains out of my kitchen? Get it out! <sighs> All right, Joseph, that was a bad throw. You're like Tom Brady on the Buccaneers, overthrowing everyone. Yeah, you're right. All right, you go along this time. I'm gonna throw it. Okay, dude. <laughs> it, yeah. I got it, dude. Now that the potatoes are in the oven, just gotta let them bake. <laughs> dude, where did the brain go? Oh, that was a sucky throw, Junior. Well, I'm sorry I'm not a professional brain thrower, Joseph. <gasps> Wait, what, what's Chef Pee cooking? Mmm, it smells like potatoes. Let's see what he's cooking. Okay. <laughs> What? Dude, there's the brain! What? Why is Chef Pee trying to cook a Mr. Potato Head? I don't know, dude. He always makes weird, disgusting stuff. Wait, wait, Joseph, you know what I always wanted to do? What, dude? I've always wanted to throw a Mr. Potato Head into a ceiling fan and see how many pieces come off of him. Dude, me too! But oh. I never had a chance to do it! Me either! Let's do it! Okay, dude! All right, Mr. Potato Head, prepare to go into the Blades of Doom. Yeah, adios, Mr. Potato Head. Bye-bye, Mr. Potato Head. Eh. Oh, he shattered! That was sick! Dude, look! Mr. Potato Head lost all his pieces! I wonder where they went! Oh, dude, it's probably scattered all around the house. You lived a good life, Mr. Potato Head. Yeah, <laughs> rest in pieces, Mr. Potato Head. Yeah. Speaking of all the excitement, let's go see if Chef Pee-Pee's done with dinner. Oh, dude, I am hungry. Chef Pee-Pee, we're hungry! Yeah, and not for Mr. Potato Head. Yeah, we don't want to eat toys, Chef Pee-Pee. <laughs> Chef Pee-Pee? Maybe he quit. I wish. Um, let's see if he was cooking anything else in here. Ugh. Oh, dude, it's that guy's brain. Maybe we could eat the brain and get some knowledge. I don't want to eat brains. I don't feel like being a zombie today. Mm, I guess so. Uh, oh, I know. Chef Pee doesn't like it when I threaten him with stupid stuff. Chef Pee Pee, if you don't come out right now, we're going to eat that Mr. Potato Head toy. Okay, I guess you don't care if I eat a Mr. Potato Head toy. Or we break stuff. All right, Joseph, I'm a man of my word. We have to eat this Mr. Potato Head since Chef Pee-Pee's ignoring us. I don't know, dude. It's kind of hard and plasticky. Wait, wait, it's a note inside. What, a note? Yeah. Well, let's read it. <laughs> All right, Joseph, let's read this letter. What, it looks like it's from Chef Pee-Pee. Oh, dude, I do a perfect Chef Pee-Pee impression. Let me read it. You stupid brass turned me into a Mr. Potato Head. Turn me back right now. Wait, Chef Pee-Pee was Mr. Potato Head? I guess so. Well, he did have a chef hat on. And, and he was cooking potatoes. <laughs> What if he accidentally turned himself into a Mr. Potato Head? Dude, how do we turn him back? 
back. I don't know. Let me call a doctor. Hey there, you call a doctor? Uh, yes, doctor. My friend was baking potatoes, and he turned himself into Mr. Potato Head. Oh, oh man, I've seen this one before. Wait, you have? Oh, yeah, it's actually way more common than you think. When you're baking potatoes and you get trapped in the oven, you can actually turn into Mr. Potato Head. You can? Oh, no, that means Shep if he's Mr. Potato Head. What are we going to do? Calm, calm down, calm down. It's fine. It's an easy fix. All you got to do is put him in the freezer. That'll unbake him, and he'll turn back into a person. All we have to do is put him in the freezer? We, we can do that. That's easy. Well, hey, see, the important thing is that you have all the pieces of Mr. Potato Head before you put him in the freezer. If he turns back into a person, you don't have all the pieces, then whatever pieces are missing on Mr. Potato Head are going to be missing on your friend. Wh whatever pieces are missing on Mr. Potato Head will be missing on Chef PB? Well, he doesn't have anything. He doesn't have his eyes. He doesn't have his nose. He doesn't have his mouth. He doesn't have his arms. Well, then you better go find those pieces. Your friend's going to be a vegetable. <laughs> I guess he already kind of is a vegetable. <laughs> well, I mean, well, we lost all the pieces when we threw him into a, a ceiling fan. Oh, sick. I know, the pieces exploded everywhere. Oh, Joseph, we have to go find those pieces. I mean, we have, we have a while, right? Well, no, actually, see, that's the important thing. See, you only have about an hour to find those pieces, or he's going to be stuck like that forever. Uh, only an hour? Why? Well, because then he won't be a hot potato. He'll be cold. Oh, all right, Joseph, let's go find those pieces. Oh, let's do it. All right, Joseph, we have to find every single piece, because whatever piece is missing on Mr. Potato Head will be missing on Chef Pee-Pee, and I don't want to deform Chef Pee-Pee. Oh, definitely, bro. What? Ooh, I found his butt. Oh, thank God you found his butt. Chef Pee-Pee has the nicest butt. Oh, yeah, the nicest. Dude, if I wasn't in the girls, I'd... <laughs> Just take a chunk out of it. Smack it. Yeah. All right, so uh, we're going to put this in a very safe place, because we don't want to lose his butt. So oh, definitely. You go that way looking for pieces, I'll go this way looking for pieces. Okay. Okay, where could those pieces be? I don't want to miss a single piece. No. No. Oh, come on. Oh, Joseph, I found one of the ears. Me too, dude. I found one in the toilet. All right, so he found both his ears and his butt. Yeah, so he can hear himself fart. Ah! So now we have to find his mouth next so he can hear all the crap that comes out of it. <laughs> dude, we are on the roll. All right, so let's go look for more pieces. Okay. Hey, Joseph, did you find any pieces in that couch? No, I don't see any, dude. This is going to take forever, and we don't have that much time. Hey, Joseph, does, does it ever feel like you're being watched? Yeah, all the time. It's usually my uncle, though. But now he has to stay 100 feet away. But it doesn't stop him from using binoculars. <laughs> Man, they make binoculars real good these days. Wait, <gasps> Joseph, look! Do you see those eyes? Yeah, I see them. Mr. Potato has eyes! Joseph, how are we going to get up there? Dude, I have wings. I believe I can fly. I believe I could grab the eyes. Julia, they're coming down. Okay. All right, Joseph, we got his eyes. Now we just need his nose and his mouth, and I think that's it. Okay, dude. Hey, Joseph. Yeah? I see the mouth. It's on the sleeping cat. Dude, get it, but don't wake up the cat. I'm not going to wake up. Hold on, it's awake! <laughs> there. That looks like Chef Pee-Pee. Yeah, especially with those big ears. Yeah, Chef Pee-Pee has the hugest ears. <laughs> What are we missing? Uh, looks like we need the nose and the arms, dude. Yeah, and the mustache. Yeah. Oh, don't forget the chef hat. He can buy another one. But dude, I guess so. And we only have to find the legs because he never had legs to begin with. <laughs> That's true. All right, let's go look for the nose and the arms. <sighs> Joseph, look! I found the nose! That means the mustache can't be too far off. Yeah, because the mustache is attached to the nose. Hey, guys! <laughs> don't you like my new mustache? Isn't it cool? Toad, we need that mustache! No way! I always wanted a mustache. Now people can take me seriously. You don't understand. We need to save Chef Pee-Pee's life, and we need that mustache, Toad. Aww. I, I kind of like this mustache, though. Well, look, we'll do anything for that mustache. What can we do for that mustache? Hmm. Maybe if you make a fire rap song, you could probably have it back. But I doubt you could do it. <laughs> Joseph, we have to go make a rap song. Come on. Oh, let's do it. Hey, Joseph. What's up, bro? He doesn't want to give us that mustache back. Ooh, that's a problem. That's a problem. I know. I think I need to tell him how bad we need that mustache. Yeah, he got to give it up. All right, let me spit something to him. Okay. We need that mustache really bad. Okay. Chef Pee Pee is Mr. Potato Head. Potato if we head. don't get it back, then he'll be dead. We need that mustache. You heard what we said. What say? We need that mustache really bad. Please give it back. We want Chef Pee Pee back. We need that mustache really back. Please give it back. We want Chef Pee Pee back. We need that mustache really back. Okay, if you don't give it back, we, we gon' gonna be mad. mad. If you don't give it back, we gon' be sad. If you don't give it back, I'll tell my dad. 
If you don't give it back, I'ma okay. If you don't give it back, punch you in the face. What's my fish taste like? I'll give you a taste. I'll end your life, make it seem like a waste. I don't have any new lines, let's copy and paste. Hey, need that mustache really bad? Please give it back. We want Sheppy B back. Yeah, we want him back. Yeah, we want him. What? What? Yeah, we want him back. Yeah, we want him. Give him up. Yeah, we want him back. Yeah, we want him. Yeah, we need him. Yeah, we want him back. Yeah, we. What? Whoa! I can't lie. That was fire. That was fire. Oh, here you go, guys. You deserve the mustache. We have the mustache back. Oh, this is so cool. Oh yeah, I found this hat too, but it didn't fit. Okay, so we have his hat, his nose, his mustache. What are we missing, Joseph? Uh, his arms, dude. Okay, we have to go find his arms. But, we only have like a minute left though, Joseph. Uh, screw his arms. Yeah, come on. We can get robotic ones. We can put them in the freezer. Oh, yeah. Uh, uh, hurry, Joseph. Dude, it's happy. Uh, yeah. All right. We'll see you soon, Chef PB. All right, close it. Uh, all right, you just got to wait a few minutes, okay? Okay. All right, Joseph. I think he's ready. Uh, Chef PB? <gasps> Julia, what happened to me? Chef PB, you're back. Uh, we accidentally turned you into Mr. Potato Head. But I don't have any arms! Oh, well, we couldn't find your arms, you know? We were looking all over the house and we just couldn't find them. Hey, dude, look! It's down there! Uh, uh, never mind, Chef Bee. We found your arms! What am I gonna do with Mr. Potato Head arms? <laughs> How's it going, Chef Bee? I hate you, Junior! I hate you, I hate you, I hate you! You should be more grateful. Like, you know T-Rex has had short arms like that, too. I'm gonna kill you, Junior! <laughs> we need that mustache really bad, okay. Chef so guys, what do you want to do today? Uh, I don't know, dude. I'm bored. Well, I do have $500 and I don't know what to spend it on. You don't know what to spend it on? On PlayStation 5? Yeah, they're out right now, dude. Yeah, you can play Spider-Man. Explore a new world. You have to get a PlayStation 5 right now, Cody. I don't know. I was thinking about buying a new telescope. Ah, what was that for, Junior? A telescope? A freaking telescope? Oh my god, he's oozing nerd right now. You're the biggest, fattest, ugliest nerd I've ever seen if you buy a telescope with that money. But I could, I could explore new worlds with my telescope. What are you going to see with a dumb telescope? Well, I could look at planets, like I could look at Uranus, and then I could get the telescope. <laughs> Cody, if you get a PlayStation 5, I can play it. Joseph, I can play it. I can play it some more. I could play it. I, I could play it again. Junior, it just sounds like you want me to get a PS5 so you can play it. Well, of course, but we would all play it, especially me. And I know Santa Claus would get me one for Christmas, but I don't want to wait that long. I don't want elf juice all over my PlayStation 5. So just go buy it, please. But Junior, if I get a telescope, we can all look through it. And what are we going to say? Your big mom's fat, hairy butt? I don't want to look at your big mom's hairy butt, Cody. Like, like she can stand on the other side of the country and I can see it with my naked eye how, how fat she is because she's so fat. Like, she's fat, right, Joseph? <laughs> yeah. Dude, that was a good burn. Burn! burn. <laughs> Fat mom, Cody. Okay, guys, I think you've helped me make my decision on what I'm gonna buy. Oh, he's gonna buy the he's PlayStation He's totally gonna get the PlayStation. He's gonna get the PlayStation. Get the PlayStation. Get the PlayStation. Get the PlayStation. <laughs> All right, guys, I'm back. Oh! He got it! 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 He got it. That's my boy! That's my dog right there! That's my... I got a telescope. Uh, Isn't it cool, guys? How'd you get the PlayStation 5 box? Oh, well the guy that sold me the telescope used the money to buy a PS5 and then he let me use the box to carry the telescope. Can we be friends with him instead? Please? Come on guys, the telescope is so cool. No, no it's not. I mean look at that, that's carbon fiber. Joseph, how do we kill him? Dude, um, bury him in your backyard and then get a pool made on top of him. That way the police can never dig him up. Hey Cody. Did you hear my dad's getting a pool installed in my backyard? Oh, that, that that's cool. I, I mean, I can't swim, but that, that could be fun. You, you guys want to come outside and play with my telescope? Cody, why would you buy a telescope and not a PlayStation 5? Because the PlayStation 5 just didn't really sound that cool to me. It didn't sound cool? Fun didn't sound cool to you? Video games didn't sound cool to you? Having a better life than owning a telescope didn't sound cool to you? Well, owning a telescope just seemed cooler. What, would you, what, do you, what do you think Galileo would do if he had $500 and he could buy a telescope or a PlayStation? He probably would buy a telescope. Well then Galileo's lame, just like you! Guys, are you gonna come outside and look at stars with me or not? I mean, I guess we have nothing better to do unless we want to look at the PlayStation box. Dude, which... it better be cooler than the PlayStation. Looking at the PlayStation box looks cooler so far. Alright guys, are you ready to look at stars? <laughs> cool! Oh, look at that. Oh, boring! This is 
This is so boring. We could be playing a PlayStation right now. I know, dude. Guys, look, I can see Orion's belt. And then under that, I can see Orion's dog. <laughs> Ryan was packing. <laughs> hey, guys, what are you doing? Oh, hey, Jeffy, we're just playing with a telescope. What are you doing? Well, I'm picking my nose. See this awesome booger I just got? Well, that's a big booger. Mm-hmm. All right, does anyone else want to take a look? Uh, yeah, I'll look, I guess. Oh, this is so boring. All I see is stars. What? Cody, what planet is green? Green? I don't think any of them are green. I'm looking at a green planet right now. Really? Let me see. Oh my god, what is that? Oh, dude, I want to see. Dude, it is green. Is it a planet? Wait, wait, guys, did we just discover a new planet? We? No, I just discovered a new planet. I'm the one that saw it first. But, but it's my telescope. We wouldn't have even seen it if I hadn't gotten the telescope. But I saw it first, so I just discovered a green planet. Oh, uh, okay, okay. Calm down. Let's call NASA and they'll tell us if it even is a new planet. Yeah, let's go call NASA. Hey there, you call NASA? Oh, you guys got a PS5? Sweet! No, it's just the box. Wh why? What happened? He had $500 to buy a PS5, but he bought a telescope instead. Ugh, nerd. I work for NASA and I wouldn't have bought a telescope. Right? But anyway, I was using his dumb, stupid telescope and I discovered a new planet. There's no way. We've been looking for years. We know there's no new planets in our solar system. But we actually found a new planet, though. No, I found a new planet, not we. W with my telescope? But, but I saw it with my eyes. I don't even know why you bought a telescope. You have two telescopes on your face. Okay, okay, okay. Let's just go outside and look at this new planet. Yeah, come on, look. I'll show you. All right, so if you just look inside there, you'll see a green planet. Okay. Huh. What? Wait a minute. What is that? Well, well, it's round and it's green, so that looks like a new planet to me. So I discovered a new planet? Oh my god, I think you boys actually might have discovered a new planet. I discovered a new planet. I gotta go alert the news. Well, tell them it was me. I discovered it. Breaking news, okay? Three young boys have discovered a new planet in our solar system. More on this story as it develops. Three? Boys? I'm a man. I'm not much of one, but I am one. No, not three. One. One kid discovered it, and I was the kid that discovered it. <laughs> guys, I'm the guy in the group project that gets an A for doing nothing. <laughs> yeah, why they acknowledge Joseph? He didn't do anything. Junior, you just have to accept that you didn't discover it. I did discover it. I saw it with my eye. You were eye-banging your telescope for 30 minutes, and you didn't see it until I looked at the telescope, and I saw the planet myself. Well, you saw it with my telescope that I bought. Well, I would have saw it even if I didn't use your stupid telescope. Really? You could see it without a telescope? Yeah, if I would have just looked up and saw it, I would have saw it. Well, then why haven't you seen it before? Because I've never looked up. Well, you've never looked up ever? Nope, I've never looked up. So you've never seen the moon? What's that? What, Junior. What? There's someone at the door. Hold on. Uh, hello? Hey there, I need to talk to you kids. Oh, uh, yeah, sure, come on inside. Ugh. Hey there, kids. So what's up? The International Space Station. That's what's up, because it's up in space. <laughs> that's, that's a little NASA joke for you. You wouldn't get it. You gotta be a part of NASA to understand. Anyway, I brought you guys this certificate so you can name your new planet, because you all discovered a new planet. No, I discovered a new planet. Junior, he said we. We all did. But I saw it first with my eyeball. Well, you saw it on my telescope. Well, you see, that's actually the weird thing, is that we can't actually find the new planet on any other telescopes but yours. You hear that, Junior? Well, you can only find it on my telescope. But I'm the one who saw it with my eyeball, so maybe I made it appear with my eyeball. But we found it with my telescope, and that's the only one. Oh, uh, let me ask him. Hey, NASA guy, so listen. I saw the planet first with my eyeball. He bought the telescope, but I saw the planet first. So who owns the planet? Hmm. Hmm. I don't care. I, I really don't care. I just need you guys to fill this out, name your new planet, and then name who the owner is. I'll be by later to pick up the paper. So what am I gonna name the new planet? No, Junior, I'm naming the planet. No, I'm naming it because I discovered it. What would you even name it, Cody? I would name it Planet Hunkulon, and all of the hunkiest guys in the galaxy would get to live there. That's so lame, Cody. Well, what would you name it? I would name it Guacamole. But guacamole? You can't name a planet Guacamole. It's already a food. But the planet's green like Guacamole, and then at dinner parties, people would be like, can you pass me the Guacamole? And they're like, yeah, hold on. Oh, it's all the way in space, I have to go get it. You wanna name an entire planet guacamole just so people can make jokes at dinner parties? Yeah, and the kids would be like, Dad, where's guacamole from? Oh, it's from the planet guacamole. I agree with Junior, it is a good name. Thanks, Joseph. Well, oh, okay, okay, how about we let Joseph decide? What, me? Him, he didn't do sh anything. Yeah, exactly, he's not involved, so he doesn't have an opinion one way or the other. We should let him decide. <sighs> what would you name the planet, Joseph? Ooh, if I could name it, I would probably name it planet uh, finish! <laughs> okay, that sucks. Joseph can't name the planet. Yeah, that's so lame. So you should just let me name it. No, no, I think we should flip a coin for it. Alright, um, I'm gonna call... Heads. Okay. 
Uh, tails, tails, tails. What? No, you call tails in the air. What, what, no, no, it, it, it's tails, and I called it uh, in, in the air, so that means I win because I said tails last. You should have said, you should have said tails before it landed. Okay, you know what, Junior? Screw it. I don't even care anymore. You can name the planet. I don't uh, care. Uh, yes, planet guacamole, here I come. I want my booger back. There, I named it Planet Guacamole. It's so stupid. Hey there, you named the planet? Yeah, I named it Guacamole. Oh, I get it, because it's green. Yeah, wait, you know you're balding on the back of your head, right? Yeah, I know, just give me the thing. All right, here you go. Go make it official. Thanks. So what do we do now that you have your own planet, Junior? Uh, go visit it. Whoa, dude, let's do it. We can't just go visit it, Junior. Why? Because we don't have a rocket ship to get there. Oh, we do, Cody. Oh, yes, we do. <laughs> What? All right, Cody, bam, there's the rocket ship. Junior, that's not a rocket ship, it's a firework. No, it's a rocket, it's gonna shoot up in space. No, it's gonna go in the air and explode because it's a firework. Well, I'm gonna put it on the non-explode mode. What? Junior, if you wanna see a rocket explode, come over to my house tonight. So who's the first person that wants to go to guacamole? Dude, why don't you go? It's your planet. Well, I'd love to, but I'm not selfish. Yes, you are. Joseph, why don't you go? What, me, dude? Go to your planet? Yeah, you could be the first person on guacamole. Dude, I am so honored. I didn't think I would ever be anything in life. Well, now you are. You will be the first person on guacamole. You can look at the history books, and they will say, Joseph, his friend from school, is the first person to land on guacamole. My picture in the history books? Your face plastered all over Times Square. Oh. The first kid on guacamole. Dude, I'll do it. Okay, I'll strap you to the firework. I'm going to shoot you off. Okay. <laughs> All right, Joseph, you're about to be the first person on guacamole. You're a brave astronaut. What are you going to do when you get there? Dip my chips in it. Oh, <laughs> yeah. uh, dude, this is going to be the best thing ever. I'm going to tell my kids about this. He's not going to be able to tell his kids because he's going to die. Whoa! Why would you wish that upon him? Yeah, why would you do that, dude? I'm not wishing it. I'm just saying that's what's going to happen. Yo, what, what do you think would have happened if they would have told Nemo if he touched the butt that they would take him? But he, they did tell him that, and he did it anyway, and look what happened. Cody, you're not making any sense. Just get out of here. Just get, get out of here. All right, Joseph, I'm going to light you. <sighs> Cody, 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 he's let his lit. He's going to die. No, he's not. <laughs> And he's dead. But did he make it? No, he didn't make it. Well, yeah, yeah he, he made like a landing sound. Come, come on, come on, come on. All right, Cody, let's see if Joseph's on guacamole. He's not because he died. Well, Cody! What? Guacamole's missing. What do you mean? Look! Junior, where'd it go? I don't know. Do you think we blew up guacamole with our firework? No, Junior, it's a firework. There's no way it could have gone high enough. Oh, oh, do you think aliens destroyed guacamole? Well, I don't know, Junior. Let's just call NASA. Well, let's call NASA. Hey, guys, what's up? The stars. I don't get it. Well, anyway, my planet's missing! Wait, really? Yeah, we were trying to send my friend to my new planet. On a firework. And, and we think that we might have accidentally blown up my planet with a firework, or aliens destroyed it. But show me! Look, 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 look! Oh my god, it's missing! Yeah, I know! What do you think happened to it? I, I don't know, did you move the telescope? No, we didn't move it. Do you think aliens destroyed the planet? <sighs> Those dang aliens! I gotta alert the news! <laughs> news, okay? The newly discovered planet, Guacamole, has been assumed to be destroyed by aliens. The world has yet to decide the punishment for this act. So, kid, what do you want to do? Your planet's gone. I want revenge on those stupid, dumb, ugly aliens, because my friend Joseph died a hero. He died trying to go land on Guacamole. So I want revenge on the aliens, and I want to nuke them. I want you guys to send a hundred nukes in every direction in space until we hit those aliens. Okay, uh, we don't really know where the aliens are. They said that's why I want you to shoot nukes everywhere. Make the biggest nuke in the world and nuke all of outer space. Okay, I'm gonna have to confess something here. Uh, it was a booger. What? Your planet. It, it was a booger. A, a booger? Yeah, it was a booger on the lens of the telescope. It was not a planet. Uh, what are you talking about? I'm saying that somebody picked their nose and wiped it on your telescope and you thought it was a planet, but it was just a booger. How long did you know this? Oh, I knew as soon as I saw it, but, you know, I thought, you know, it'd be funny to just kind of play along and you know, you, you thought you made some kind of big scientific discovery, so I thought it'd be kind of funny to tell you you discovered a planet, but then then you strapped your friend to a rocket and he's dead now, so now I'm kind of worried about the repercussions that might have for me and my career. So, I'm telling you this because I think we should all just pretend this never happened and then just tell everyone that aliens did it. Okay. Now that you think about it, Joseph didn't even really need to go on a rocket. He could have just flown up because he had wings. Glitter all over the couch. 
couch? No! Why? I think it would make the couch look pretty pretty. No, it would not make the couch pretty pretty. It'd make the couch messy messy. How about you do something less messy, like make your Christmas list for Santa Claus? Santa Claus can lick my jingle balls. Jeffy, did you just say balls? No, I said bells. I said jingle bells. I heard balls. Cause that's because you have a dirty mind, Daddy. You need to get your mind out of the gutter. Look, how about you just make your Christmas list for Santa Claus? All right, Daddy. <sighs> now, what do I want for Christmas? Jimmy! I, I want to why? Why? Why are you hitting me? Because you spilled glitter all over the couch. No, I didn't. Yes, you did with your elbow. Well, I'm sorry for having elbows. I'll go get them surgically removed just for you for Christmas, Daddy. Jimmy, clean up this glitter right now. I got to make my Christmas list for Santa Claus. You don't get a Christmas list anymore because you're a bad boy and Santa thinks you're a bad boy. No. <laughs> Yeah, Santa thinks you're a bad boy. What? Because you spill glitter all over the, the, the couch and you make my life horrible. Ah! Mario, you're too hard on him. He spilled glitter all over the couch. He didn't mean to, Mario. It was an accident. An accident? I think he did it on purpose. Every move he makes is a chess piece being moved off the board. He, he, he thinks of everything. Everything he does is planned. And telling him that he's not going to get any Christmas presents this year is mean. Well, he's not going to get anything. He's not. Mario, go help him make his Christmas list. Okay, on his Christmas list, I'm going to put a vacuum to clean up all this glitter. <sighs> <sighs> Jeffy, I'm sorry for yelling at you. Let's make your Christmas list. Oh, Daddy. Jeffy, what are you doing in there? Oh, why does my daddy hate me? Jeffy, what was that noise? It was just me complaining. Oh, I thought you had someone in here. Anyway, Jeffy, I'm sorry for yelling at you, so I'm going to help you make your Christmas list. Oh, help me make my Christmas list, Daddy. Help, help. I'll stop. Jeffy, just grab a piece of paper and let's make your Christmas list. All right, Dave. Well, I actually already wrote my list to Santa Claus. You already wrote it. Beep. Uh, dear Santa Claus, what I want for Christmas is a PlayStation 5. Love, Jeffy. Yep, Daddy. All I want is a PlayStation 5. Well, just put your letter in this note to the North Pole. Oh, give me your North Pole, Daddy. Ow! Jeffy, just put it in here. All right, fine. All right, baby, hide this. Just so we send it to the North Pole. What? Uh, all right, Jeffy, we just sent your letter to the North Pole. Okay, Daddy. I'm so excited for Santa Claus to start making my PlayStation 5. Um, Mario, no, you didn't. It's right here. <gasps> Daddy, you didn't mail my letter to Santa Claus? Baby, why couldn't you lie with me? Why couldn't you have my back? <gasps> oh. Yeah, oh, you were supposed to lie with me. Sorry, Mario. Uh, all right, Jeffy, I, I, it must have fell out of the mailbox. I'll go put it back in there. Yeah, Daddy, you better mail my letter to Santa Claus. Where are they even going to send it to if I put it in the mailbox? Mario, they'll find a place to mail it. Go, go. There is no North Pole. Hey there, face eater, you freak. What you want? You get your first piece of mail. Maybe it's a letter from one of the families of your victims. I never begets mails while I'm in here. Need to take it. <laughs> All right, let's see what kind of mails I got. Let's see. Dear Santa Claus, what the? What I want for Christmas is a PlayStation 5. Love, Jeffy. Oh my god. I got a secret admirer. I hope he's got a tasty face. I'm gonna write back to him. All right, Jeffy, I just sent your letter to the North Pole. Daddy, I don't care which side of the pole she's on. I'm still throwing cash as long as she's twerking that bottom. <laughs> what? I don't even know. What? Baby, you, you never cleaned up the glitter? Oh, was I supposed to? Wait, you, you cook it clean. That's what you do, right? Oh, but Mario, it's so pretty. They look like shiny stars. It looks like a big mess. Look, I'm going to grab some paper towels to clean it up. Paper towels? Oh, I, I don't have a vacuum, so I don't know how to clean it up. Um, it's pronounced vacuum, Daddy. <sighs> I have to get so many paper towels. What? Who's at the door? Uh, hello? Hello! I was going through your mail and I found a letter for you! You can't go through my mail! I know! It is a federal offense! So evil! <laughs> Just give me my mail! Okay! Who was at the door, Mario? It was the devil, and he brought mail for Jeffy! <gasps> Maybe it's Santa Claus! Aw, Mario, did you write a fake response to Jeffy from Santa? What? No, why would I entertain him? Alright, the letter says, Hey, Jeffy, I love you too. You'll get a PlayStation 5 if you send me a shovel. Love, Face Eater. Mario, why would you write that? I did not write that! Who's Face Eater? Maybe it's Santa Claus' secret name. No, he'd probably go by Cookie Eater or Milk Drinker, not... Face eater? Oh, maybe he likes sucking face, because you know Mrs. Claus got that wagon. What? Baby, who would send this to Jeffy? I don't know. This is really weird, Mario. And why would this person want Jeffy to send him a shovel? <gasps> Mario, look at the news! 
Jesus. Breaking news, okay? The known criminal, face eater, who was convicted of eating 10 people's faces, was denied parole for the fifth time earlier today. He's scheduled for the electric chair next month, and he's currently being held in solitary confinement at the North Pole Penitentiary Prison. What? Mario, a criminal is writing letters to our son, Jeffy! Why is this happening? I don't know! Baby, when I wrote North Pole on the envelope, they accidentally sent it to North Pole Prison. Oh no! Joey, is this Santa Claus or not? No, Jeffy, it's not Santa Claus. But Santa Claus wrote me a letter and said that he needs a shovel. So what if he's stuck in the snow or something? It's not Santa Claus. He's not stuck in the snow. This is a criminal. Daddy, just because Santa Claus breaks into people's houses and leaves presents behind does not make him a criminal. This is a criminal, Jeffy. It's not Santa Claus and you're not helping him. You're not sending him a shovel. But Santa Claus needs a shovel, Daddy. So I'm going to send him a shovel. Oh, no, you're not. You're grounding. You're going to your room. Oh. All right, Jeffy. You're going to sit in your room because you're grounding. You're not going anywhere. But but Santa Claus needs my help! You're not gonna help him! He needs a shovel! Well, you're saying in your room you're grounded! <laughs> oh, what am I gonna do to help Santa Claus? Oh, what am I gonna do, Daddy? Hey, Jeffy, I was under the covers the whole time. I heard everything. How do we help Santa Claus? Well, Santa Claus is stuck in the snow, Junior, and I need you to go to the store and buy a shovel and then mail it to the North Pole so we can help Santa Claus. Okay, I'm on my way. I'll go get a shovel. All right, thanks, Junior. Hey, face eater, you freak. You call me freaks one more time, so I'm gonna break out of here and I'm gonna eat your face off! Yeah, well, I don't know who's been sending you all this mail, but they just sent you a package. Now, I'm a very trusting person, so I didn't look through it, but I trust you to tell me if there's anything bad in here instead of trying to break out. All right, now open up the gate so I can put it in there. All right, here you go. You freak! Oh, if I could get out of here, I'd eat your face off so bad! From my lover, Jeffy. Oh, let's see what he sent me. Oh, perfect. I'm gonna see you still in my love. Hey, face eater, you freak. I got your dinner, your goldfish crackers. And don't worry, you can just eat the faces if you want to. Hey, I'm talking to you, face eater. Are, are you in there? You, you freak? You, you're a freak. Oh no, is he dead? Oh, please don't be dead. Oh, please don't be dead. Who am I gonna bully now? Face eater! Freak! What? Oh no, what's this? Oh crap, he dug his way out of prison! We got a cold black! Oh, I hope Shan Claus gets that shovel. Hey kid, it's me! <gasps> Shan Claus? <gasps> Shan Claus, is that you? Uh, yeah, yeah, it's me, Santa Claus. Ho, ho, ho. You don't look like Santa Claus. Uh, oh, oh that, that, that's because I'm in disguise. Yeah, I, I don't want anybody to recognize me. Oh, okay, that makes sense. Come on inside, Santa Claus. All right, Santa Claus, this is my room. It's a pretty nice place you get here, kid. How much is rent? Oh, I don't pay rent. Really? That's a pretty sweet gig. Oh, yeah, I got a question for you. What does a teardrop tattoo on your face mean? Does that mean you're a crybaby? Oh, yeah, I got a teardrop tattoo for every face I've eaten. I mean, I mean, uh, for, for every present I delivered, yeah. Oh, okay. And what's the number on your neck mean? Oh, oh, well, that, that's, uh, that, that, that's how many elves I got. Oh, okay. Yeah, hey, listen, do you have a fork? Um, actually, I do. Right here. Here you go. Oh, cool. Thanks, thanks. And, uh, do you have any, uh, barbecue sauce for your face? No. That's okay. I'll just have to eat it raw, then. <laughs> oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. I got a question. Where's my PlayStation 5? L listen, kid, I don't know what that is. I've been in the slammer for the last 20 years. But you told me that you would give me a PlayStation 5 if I got you a shovel. Uh, okay, okay, whatever. Just let me eat your face first. Oh, well, can you come? See my daddy? He doesn't believe that Santa Claus is real. But no, I'm not gonna do that. But I need you to come see my daddy! Okay, fine, fine. Just whatever. Whatever will help me eat your face faster. Okay, now you need to put on your Santa Claus outfit. What? I, I don't I don't have that. Alright, hold on. Let me go get you one. I'll be right back. Alright, now you look like Santa Claus. So let's go say hi to my daddy. Yeah, let's just go ahead and get this over with. I'm hungry. Oh, actually, I got a question real quick. Why are you wearing lipstick? 
Oh, let's just say in prison I had to do some stuff I ain't proud of. No, come on, let's hurry this up. Okay. Mario, how long is Jeffy going to be grounded for? Until that criminal gets the electric chair because Jeffy was trying to help him escape. Oh, Fava. Jeffy, go back to your room. You were not supposed to leave. You're grounded. But, Daddy, I got a surprise for you. What? What, did, did you get a vacuum to clean up all this glitter? No, even better. I'm gonna turn you into a believer. What are you talking about? Oh, Santa Claus, get in here. Ho, ho, ho. <gasps> Mario, it's Santa Claus. I can't believe it. Santa Claus is really here. Man, you guys are idiots. I mean, yeah, yeah, it's me, Santa Claus. Yeah, Daddy, and you didn't want me sending him a shovel so he could escape. Because you were trying to help a criminal, but this is the real Santa Claus. Yeah, yeah, here, here I am. Mario, uh, I can't believe Santa Claus is here. Yeah, uh, so how long are you going to be here, Santa Claus? Oh, uh, you know, I was thinking about staying here for a little while. Well, you can stay here as long as you need. You can even share a room with Jeffy. Oh, great, great. Yeah, hey, Jeffy, why don't we just get this lumber party started now? Okay. I can't believe Santa Claus is really here. Mario, we met the real Santa. The real Santa? I'm a believer. All right, kid, let me eat your face. No more playing around. You sure talk about eating faces a lot. Well, it's because I'm hungry. My name is Face Eater. What do you expect? Oh, well, do you want me to go get you some ketchup or mustard or something? Yeah, yeah, actually, that'd be good. Okay, hold on. Mario, what do you think Jeffy and Santa Claus are doing in there? They're probably writing Jeffy's Christmas list. <laughs> Breaking news, okay? Face Eater, the scary criminal, has escaped from prison by digging his way out using a shovel. How he got the shovel, we have no idea, but if you see him, call 911 immediately because he's extremely dangerous. Oh no! How do you think he escaped, Mario? I don't know, but I don't think Jeffy helped him because he's been with Santa Claus this whole time. You're right, Mario. Hey, hey, have either of you guys seen Face Eater? No, but I just saw on the news that he escaped. Yeah, the tracker in his anus says he's in this house somewhere. What? In this house? Don't worry, Mario. Santa will protect him. Yes, yeah, Santa Claus will protect him. But Santa Claus? Yeah, Santa Claus showed up a few minutes ago and has been hanging out with Jeffy in his room. Uh, uh could, could you point me to the room that Santa Claus is in, please? Yeah, he's in Jeffy's room, the one with the bunk beds. Cool, thank you. Yeah, I got Face Eater. He's in a kid's room. There you are, Face Eater. with a fork. I had to put him down. I didn't have a choice. Oh, is Santa God. Claus okay? Uh, is, is, uh, oh, oh. is Jeffy okay? Uh, yeah, yeah, Jeffy's safe, but he's gonna need years of therapy. Oh, God, so am I. You folks have a Merry Christmas. Oh man, thanks for inviting us over for breakfast, dude. Breakfast is the most important meal of the day. Yeah, Junior, I love eating cookies and syrup for breakfast. It's so nutritious. But Cody, you spilled syrup on your shirt. Oh, dang it, this is my favorite shirt. You're gonna go to school with syrup on your shirt. Ha <laughs> syrup shirt. Ha <laughs> ha, syrup shirt. Do you think Chef Phoebe could wash it for me while I'm at school? What, you're gonna go to school shirtless? Yeah, sure, why not? What? Okay, weirdo, give me your shirt. Okay. Yeah, all right, Junior, there's my shirt. What? Cody! Dude! You're ripped! Oh yeah, I always told you guys I was hunky. I didn't believe you! I haven't seen you worked out a day in my life! What do you think I do in my room all day? Well, how long have you had a six pack for? Since I was born? Oh uh, dude, we're gonna be late for school! Uh, Alright Cody, come to school shirtless I guess. Okay. Alright class, today we're gonna be learning about the Raw of Attraction. There are three Raws of Attraction that girls go by. Money, six pack, and a big hot dog. Well, at least I have two of those. Cody, I didn't know you were rich. I'm not. And guys only have one law of attraction. Big milk jugs. Yeah, I don't like jugs. I'm more of a cake man. Me too. I have diabetes. Uh, is this Mr. Chu's class? <gasps> Who's that? Oh, she's banging, dude. Eh. Oh, crap, I almost forgot. We got a new student today. And her name is, uh, don't tell me, don't tell me, I remember, uh, Pepperoni! Penelope. That's what I said. Alright, Kraft, everyone introduce yourself to Pineapple! Hi, Pineapple. Uh, where do I sit? My face! Junior! Itches! My face itches! Okay, good. Alright, you can go sit by Junior. Hey. Hi. Sup? What do you want? 
Well, you're the new girl, so I just wanna let you know how things go around here. So basically, I'm the hottest, coolest kid in class, and all the girls wanna date me. So if you wanna be my girlfriend, I guess I'll give you a shot, but you better take that spot before someone else takes it. You're not my type. Not your type? Who's your type? Um, him. Him? Me. Cody doesn't even like girls. Not yet. Not ever. Don't worry, Cody. One day you'll love me. No, I won't, Pepperoncini or whatever the hell your name was. See, look, Cody doesn't even want you, so you should date me. But you don't have a body like him. Well, I can't really blame her. I am a walking statue of perfection. Okay, look, I understand Cody looks like Hercules and you could fry an egg on his abs. But I don't have a six pack, but what if I had uh, money and uh, a big hot dog? Do you have those things? I have 75 cents and Chef Pee, -Pee can make you a hot dog. Who's Chef Pee, -Pee? My personal chef, because I'm rich. No, you're not, Junior. Yes, I am, I'm rich. I have a personal chef, so date me, I have money. All that money, you can't buy a body like his. All right, look, Cody, after school, you come over to my house and you're gonna get me a body like yours. Okay. Ooh, can I come? No! Can I come? Yes. Yes! Ooh, the bell. Uh, let's, let's go to my house, guys. Okay. Hey! 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 The bell does not dismiss you! I do! So you get your asses back to your desk! All right. Now, crass dismissed. I'll see you tomorrow. <sighs> that was dumb. What was the point in that? All right, Cody, you have to show me how to get a body like yours. Me too! That's well, not gonna happen overnight, guys. Then how did you do it? I spent years of working out, you know? Pumping iron. Ken here is my motivation. I wanted to look just like him, and now I look even better. Oh, shut up, Ken, you know I look better. All right, Cody, I'm willing to do whatever it takes to look like you. Well, are you sure, Junior? You're gonna have to sacrifice a lot of stuff. Like what? Well, you can't eat McDonald's anymore. What? No McDonald's! Not Mickey D's! And you can't eat macaroni and cheese. No mac and cheese! No mac and cheese! And you definitely can't have cookies and syrup for breakfast. Well, you had cookies and syrup for breakfast. Well, yeah, but I work out. I turn that fat into muscle. Then show me how to work out. Well, I do 3,000 sit-ups every morning. You could try that. What's a sit-up? Well, it's like this. What? Cody, are you okay? Dude, go get your dad, he's having a seizure! Dad, call 911! Guys, guys, no, I'm just, I'm just doing sit-ups. Oh, I thought you were trying to poop. What? No, what? You you poop laying flat on your back like a baby? What? It just looked like you were trying to poop. Junior, just try the sit-ups. Okay. What do I do? You just sit up. That's dumb. No, you gotta sit back down, and then sit back up. What? It's like waking up in the morning. What, what is this? Dude, it's lame. I'm going to play basketball. Wow, quitter! Well, basketball's actually pretty athletic. Wait, wait, hold on, my phone's ringing. Uh, hello? Hey, baby. Mom, is that you? No, it's Penelope, silly. Ugh. Wait, Cody, who is it? It's Parallelogram or whatever her name is. Penelope, tell her I said hi. Junior says hi. Hi. So anyway, back to you, Cody. How did you even get this number? The phone book. Okay, that's a lie. Okay, from Facebook. Okay, great. Then you saw that I'm in a relationship with my boyfriend, Ken. I thought that was a joke. It's a doll. He's not a doll, he's a man. Cody, Cody, ask her if she likes anyone. Junior wants to know if you like anyone. Yeah, you. She said, yeah, you. She likes me, she likes me! No, 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 she said, yeah, you to me. What? No, I think she meant for you to tell me that she likes me. No, I think she's saying she likes me. Hold on, hold on. Hey, Penelope, it's Junior. Hi. Okay, um, do you like me or Cody? I like Cody. <sighs> yeah, see, I told you. Okay, I'm gonna hang up now. No, wait, don't! Can you just rub your phone against your abs? <sighs> Fine. Oh, baby. Okay, I'm hanging up. Wow, Cody, you're so lucky. Why? Because that hot girl wants you. Yeah, I know, it's gross. It's not gross, she's hot. Man, I wish I had your body. Well, maybe she doesn't like me for my body. Maybe she likes me because of my sexy face. Cody, your face is not sexy. It has so many craters, now someone wants to land a rover on it. Ouch. And your teeth are yellow. Well, well, maybe her favorite color is yellow. No, it's not. Look, Junior, I think it would be easier for you to get... Cody? Cody! Yeah, thank you, Junior. I got stuck on that line. I think it would be easier for you to get a big hot dog. Where am I going to get a big hot dog from? Uh, Chef Pee Pee. Oh, yeah. Well, let's go try to get a big hot dog. Mm -mm, this looks delicious. Hey, Chef Pee, Pee can you make me something? No, Junior, I already made your favorite meal, mac and cheese. Now bow down, praise me, kiss the feet I don't have. I can't eat mac and cheese anymore, Chef Pee, Pee. What, why? Because I want to look like Cody. Damn! Cody, how did you get like that? I know, I know, it's a perfectly understandable reaction. So I want my body to look like Cody, so I can't eat mac and cheese anymore. Well, I need a body like that, I need to get like him. Well, then we can't eat mac and cheese, Chef Pee, -Pee. Well, what do we eat then? Um, what do we eat, Cody? I don't know, but you do need a big hot dog. Yeah, we really need a huge hot dog. Girls like huge hot dogs. Well, I can cook a huge hot dog. Bam, I got the hot dog. Now, where's the ladies at? That's a pretty scrawny hot dog. Mine's bigger than that. Hey, I'm working with what God gave me. Yeah, Chef Pee, Pee girls want big hot dogs. Well, how big are you supposed to get? Like three times bigger than that. Oh, bang! Oh, I'll, I'll see what I have. Boom! How about that? Woohoo! That's what I'm talking about. Yeah, Chef Pee, Pee that's a huge hot dog. I'm going to get all the girls. Wait, wait, what about me? 
All right, Cody, we got the big hot dog. Do you think she'll love me now? I don't know, Junior. I don't see what she's supposed to be getting out of this. Yeah, I wouldn't want this big hot dog. Yeah, the bun's not even that big. It looks like it'd just be messy. Yeah, I want a normal size hot dog. Yeah. Anyway, girls are weird. Um, give me your number so I can FaceTime her and show her the hot dog. Okay. <sighs> What? Cody! What? Spit it out! What? Why'd you eat the hot dog? Uh, I'm sorry, Junior. I just can't help myself. Hot dogs are my favorite food. Whenever I see a hot dog, I eat it. Yeah, I know. <sighs> okay, so now that I don't have a big hot dog and I don't have abs, the only thing I can have left is money. That's how I get her. Junior, you'd have to have millions of dollars for a girl to like you. Yeah, and I can't raise millions of dollars. <sighs> okay, there has to be another way to get a body like you, Cody. Well, we could call a doctor. Maybe there's some kind of surgery he could do. Yeah, yeah let's call a doctor. Yeah. Hey there, somebody call a doctor. Wow, you are gorgeous. Oh my God, how, how, do, how does somebody even begin to look like you? Well, that's why I called you, because I want you to help me look like him. Look like him? No, no, I, I don't think I can help you with that. I think God has to give you that. I don't think anyone can help you. Well, there's no surgery you can do to help me look like that? Surgery? No, no, science can't make that happen. What am I going to do, carve you out of marble? No, that's not happening. Well, is there any medicine you can give me to look like him? Him? Medicine, huh? All right, kid, let me tell you the story of a guy named Lance Armstrong. Ooh, ooh, he's the guy who landed on the moon. N no, no, you're thinking of Neil Armstrong. Lance Armstrong was really good at riding bicycles. Oh, cool. Except he wasn't. And he won a whole bunch of races in France, except he didn't. You see, because the reason he won all those races is because he was using steroids to make himself stronger and faster. And then, whenever people found out about it, they took away all of his medals and one of his balls. Well... Can I do steroids? No, the whole point of the story is that you wouldn't want to do steroids. Well, he got stronger. Well, it also made his hot dog smaller. Oh, well, then I can't do that. I need a big hot dog. I'm trying to get a girl. Yeah, right, exactly. Okay, so there's nothing you can do? Well, I mean, my advice would be just do whatever this guy tells you, because whatever he's doing, it's working. What if he tells me to eat cat poop? Then I'd be eating cat poop right now if I get to look like that at the end of it. I mean, Jesus, I I want to paint you. I mean, you, you, you are just incredible. You... You belong in a museum. I mean, what, what's it like? Does it feel like you're constantly wearing a suit of armor? I mean, yeah, a little bit. Oh my god, that, that is incredible. Oh, oh you, you, you have a good day. I guess I'm just gonna give up, Cody. Give up? Give up? Well, don't. Instead, just listen to this song I made for you. You'll be real hunky by the end of it. Okay. All right, Ken. Junior wants to get swole like me. I know, I know. I told him it was gonna be hard, but... I think you can do it. Alright, Ken. Drop us a sick beat, and I'll teach Junior how to be hunky like me. Here we go! Triceps, biceps is how I get them. Six pack weight rack is how I get them. Dating dudes by sending nudes is how I get them. My hunky bod to call me God is how I get them. Ten pound weights, come on, Junior, that ain't nothing. I can lift anything, easy bake oven. You want abs, not flabs, better get to working. I be doing squats, might even catch me twerking. 5,000 push-ups is how I stop my morning. Women see my body, and they start swarming. Bench pressing, ranch dressing, I, I be impressing. c c, -c come a teacher, it's time to learn a lesson. Get hunky, get hunky, get hunky. 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 Come on, Junior. Get hunky, get hunky, get hunky. Uh huh. Get hunky, get hunky, get hunky. Louder. Get hunky, get hunky, get hunky. Louder. Get hunky, get hunky, get hunky. I'm hunky, I'm hunky, I'm hunky. Yeah, you are. I'm hunky, I'm hunky, I'm hunky. Look at me. I'm hunky, I'm hunky, I'm hunky. Hell yeah. I'm hunky, I'm finally hunky. Yeah. Baby, are you here? Uh, hey, baby. Ew, where's Cody? Um, he's not here right now, but check out my hot abs. Aren't I hot? <sighs> Ew, no. Wait, uh, yeah, I'm hot. I have the same body as Cody. You like Cody because of his body, right? No, I don't like Cody because of his body. I like Cody because his face looks like pizza. And I love pizza. What? 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 No! Hey, Jeffy, what's up? Cargo. Cargo what? Cargo beep beep. Are you stupid, Danny? It's common knowledge. You should know that. That was dumb, Jeffy. Trango. Trango. Mario, play along. Trango. Trango what? Chuggy, 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 chuggy. Oh, don't worry, Jeffy. You know what? Train got derailed and it crashed and everyone on board died. All right, look, look, let's just watch TV.
Stretch it, pull it, stretch it, pull it. Introducing the incredible stretchable Super Stretchy Spider-Man. He can stretch over 100 feet wide. Super Stretchy Spider-Man can stretch around the world three times. Here's Dr. Stretch, who has a PhD in stretching to explain more about the stretchable Spider-Man. Hi, I'm Dr. Stretch, and I have a PhD in stretching. Your mom knows me very well. I'm here to talk to you today about this incredible, stretchable, non-rippable Spider-Man. He can stretch forever without ripping. He could stretch all the way to the moon and back and never ever rip. And that's a guarantee for your money back because he is made out of unrippable, stretchy material. We call it stretch-tanium. And I guarantee it will never, ever in a million years rip. You heard it from the doctor himself. This incredible stretchable super stretchy Spider-Man will never rip. You got that right. Never rip. You heard it correctly. Never rip. If it rips, you get your money back. Guaranteed. So if there's a single rip on the super stretchy Spider-Man, you get your money back. Guaranteed. It will never rip. It will never rip. $29.95. Buy it now. It's only 30 bucks. Oh, day! I want that. Give me half it. I want that right there. Dang. What? Dang, look. What? Dang, look. I want that. Give me half it. I've seen it. Look at it. Jeff, I'm looking at it. Just look at it. I want to have it. Give me half it. Jeffy, Jeffy, just wait till Christmas. Christmas? I don't want to wait that long. Jeffy, wait till Christmas. Yeah. Oh, let me stretch out Spider-Man Daddy. Jeffy, stop it. Look, just wait till Christmas and you'll get all the toys. Look, just be patient. But Daddy, if you get it for me right now, you won't have to get it for me for Christmas. But if I get it for you right now, then you're going to have one less toy on Christmas and you're going to be sad. Oh, please give it to me, Daddy. Oh, oh, oh Jeffy, look, look. I'll get it for you if you never make that noise ever again, okay? All right, Daddy, thanks. Oh, let me get my phone and, and call and order it. Someone's at the door, Mario. I know, I heard it. Jeffy, your stretchy Spider-Man came in. <gasps> my toy came in? Heck yeah, Daddy. Let's stretch it. All right. <laughs> Oh, wow, it's stretchy. It ripped. Mario, the commercial said it wouldn't rip. That commercial's a liar. Yeah, it said it wouldn't rip or, or we'd get our money back. So look, I'll just call and get our money back because this obviously is cheap and it, and it ripped really easily. <sighs> let, let me call him. Let me call him. <laughs> Jeffy, stop crying. Look, look, you don't have to cry. Look, I'm calling the customer support. I'm going to get our money back. Thank you for calling Stretchy Spider-Man customer support. My name is Camille Habib Habab. Camille as in camel, Habib Habab as in corn on the cob. And what can I do for you on this fine evening? All right, so I saw your commercial about the Stretchy Spider-Man. And in the commercial, it says that if it rips, I get a full money back guarantee. So I bought the Spider-Man and it ripped. So I'd like a refund. I'm so sorry to hear that your Stretchy Spider-Man has ripped. Have you tried to Turning it off and turning it back on. What? It, it's made out of rubber. It, it, you can't turn it on and turn it back off. In the owner's manual, you can do a manual reset where you stick your hand inside the anus of the Spider-Man and hold the press, the reset button, and you can reset. What? Did it work? No, it's still ripped because it's it's broken. It ripped. I'm so sorry to hear that your stretchy Spider-Man is broken. Do you happen to have your account number? What? No, I didn't get an account number. I ordered it off the commercial on the phone. Did you pay in full? Yes. Okay, do you have a confirmation number? What? No, I, I just called and bought it. That's all I did. I'm so sorry. I won't be able to assist you any further without an account number or a confirmation what? number. Let me speak to your manager. Oh, uh, you would like to speak to a manager? Yes. Okay, please hold. Camus? Camel's calling my hoof like I'm locked up nonstop. From the pyramids to the deserts, yeah, yeah. I'm a camel, not a pop star, nah, nah, nah. What? Hello, you requested to speak to a manager? My name is Camille Habib Habab. Camille as in All right, listen, camel, listen, listen, listen. Habib Habab as in corn on the cob. And what can I do for you on this fine evening? I wanted to speak to the manager, not the same person. This is the manager. My name is Camille Abiba Bob. Camille is okay. Camel okay. Abiba Bob. Okay. Corn on the cob. And what can I do for you tonight? Look, I bought the damn stretchy Spider-Man, and he ripped. So I would like to get a refund. I'm so sorry to hear that your super stretchy Spider-Man has ripped. Have you tried turning it off and turning it? Back? What is it? 
There is a manual reason. I tried it! <laughs> I tried it! In the end news of the Spider-Man. I did it! Did it work? No! Get my money back! Get it back! Do you have your account now? No, I don't have it! Then sorry sir, there's nothing else I can help for you today. What? Goodbye! Did you have to wake up on me? Well, that phone call was pointless. Thanks, God. Hey, don't blame me for that. What, God? Yes, it's me. W w what are you doing here? Well, you blamed me for your phone call, and I felt like that was kind of unfair, so I'd like an apology. Um, I'm sorry, God. Hmm, you know, I can tell if you don't mean it right. What, I'm sorry, what, excuse me, could you stop doing that? Please? You're so furry. Stop talking. <laughs> <laughs> I just wanted to see if his tongue felt like my tongue. What? Oh, uh, God, 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 like, since you're here, uh, almighty God, um, is there any way that you can help me with my problem? Mm, what's your problem? Well, um, me and my son bought this stretchy Spider-Man, and it said that if it uh, ripped, that I would get my money back, and they didn't give me my money back. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you know that there are real problems with the world right now, right? Like, I could end world hunger if I wanted to. Or, I could make some pizza rolls. Hmm. End world hunger. Make some pizza rolls. Huh. I, I could, I could make world peace. Or, I could make some pizza rolls. I could, I could end this virus. Or I could make some pizza rolls. Hmm. Guess, guess which one I'm gonna do. Make some pizza. Make some pizza rolls. That, that's exactly right. <sighs> okay, well, no one's willing to help. I'm gonna call the cops and get those people arrested for scamming me. Hey there, somebody call the cops? Oh my god, what happened to Spider-Man? Was it Dr. Octopus? Did he rip his arm off? Or was it the Green Goblin? Or even worse, Venom! It was me and my son Jeffy. What? Oh my god, why would you do that to Spider-Man? He's a friendly neighborhood Spider-Man, he's a hero! It's a toy. R really? Uh oh. Oh, or, or maybe you're saying that because you don't want me to be mad that you ripped his arm off. We called you here. Oh yeah, yeah, that kind of makes sense. All right, look, this is what happened. It's a toy, and so me and my son saw this infomercial for a stretchy Spider-Man, and they said it can stretch and it'll never rip or you get your money back. So we bought it, and it ripped, and I called them, and they won't give me my money back. So what do you want me to do about that? I want you to go arrest them for not giving my money back. Well, how am I gonna do that? Well, I I don't know, but can you just deal with it? Look, there are actual emergencies happening in the world right now. Like, I drove past a six-car pileup to get here. Like, cars were on fire and everything, and I just ignored it because I heard somebody get their arm ripped off, and it turns out it's a toy. So, I think I'd rather go deal with the car accident. But, but, but I lost out on $29.95. Okay, it's like 30 bucks, man. It's not that bad. Well, they scammed me! Yeah, whatever. I'm gonna go deal with that car accident. Or, I can go home and make some pizza rolls. Hmm, car accident, pizza rolls, car accident, pizza rolls, so I think we have a winner. So Mario, what are you going to do now? Yeah, daddy. Well, since the cops won't help me, since God won't help me, since Camille Habiba Bob, Camille and Camel Habiba Bob, is going to God won't help me, I guess I'm just going to have to make them pay. Oh, and I'll make them pay. <laughs> Mario, why are you laughing like that? Yeah, daddy, you're being a weirdo. Because I'm going to make them pay. <laughs> um, mommy, daddy's acting like those weird kids that play Naruto at lunch. Uh... It's really dark in here. Yeah, I don't pay my electric bill. Well, I, uh, I heard you're the type of guy I come to if I, uh, want someone to... What, to scratch a chalkboard? What? No, no, uh, I, I heard you whack off guys. No, 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 that's my downstairs neighbor. I whack guys. It's a completely different business. Uh, oh, okay, uh, so are you the, the guy I'm looking for? And that depends. What do you want to have happen to someone? I need someone to, uh not live anymore. Okay, yeah, that's me. We're on the same page. Okay, so, so how much does it cost for you to, to whack someone? Well, that depends. Who do you want me to whack? Okay, well, see, um, it's actually a lot of people because I called this company because they were selling a toy and they said that uh, for 30 bucks I'd get the stretchy Spider-Man and that it would never rip, but if it ripped, I'd get my money back. So uh, I bought the toy and it ripped and they won't give me my money back. So you want me to whack an entire company? Well, I mean, you could rough them up first and see if they give me the 30 bucks back, but if they don't give it back, you can whack all of them. Well, that's gonna cost a lot more than $30. Well, how much is it gonna cost? 
Well, a company typically has about 50 people. I charge about $1,000 a head, so about $50,000. $50,000? Can't you just like do it for free because what they did to me was messed up? No, I gotta make money somehow. Well, well, what else are you gonna do today then? Well, I'd rather be eating pizza rolls. What's with everyone eating pizza rolls? Have you ever had them? They're delicious. I, I mean, they're okay. Okay, all right, this conversation's over. What, no, no, no! <sighs> Did you get your money back, Mario? No. Okay, okay. Here's 40 bucks, Mario, because you spent 30 on the toy. You keep the extra 10. No, I don't want your money. I want my money back that they stole from me because they said... What? <laughs> what? <clears throat> Since you guys both don't want the 40 bucks, can I have it? No, Jeffy! Why? If she doesn't want it, and you don't want it, why can't I give me have it? Je yeah, you can't give me have it because it's her money, and I don't want her money. I want the money that was stolen from us because it was a money back guarantee if it ripped. And it ripped, so I want my money back. There's someone at the door. Hold on. Thank you very much. Uh, hello? Hey, Mario. Goodman, what are you doing here? Well, I'm the CEO of Stretchy Spider-Man Toys, and I saw where you called into our call center earlier requesting a refund. Uh, yeah, yes, I, I was requesting a refund. Yeah, well, unfortunately, our refund department is closed because I like money. Well, no, no, you owe me a refund because on the commercial it said a money back guarantee if the Spider-Man ripped, and it ripped. Well, you gonna believe everything you see on TV, Mario? If I if I go make a commercial right now saying trees are made out of candy, are you just gonna go start eating trees? No, but it said a money back guarantee if the toy broke, it broke. Well, it also said that it could stretch around the world. But do you think it can honestly do that, Mario? No, because it ripped. Exactly. So, I don't owe you anything, it's just a loss. What? No, I want my... 30 bucks back, just give me my 30 bucks back. <sighs> Mario, all I have are hundreds. So I'm not gonna give you a hundred because that's not what you paid for it. But I was going through my wallet. Hold on, it's in there somewhere. Oh, right here, here it is. I was going through my wallet and I found this coupon for $25 off a $75 purchase or more at Victoria's Secret. So I thought, hmm, Mario could use this and he could go buy his girlfriend some edible underwear and you could have dinner on me. So here you go, Mario, take it. Come on. I insist. With all that you've been through, you deserve it. But treat yourself, Mario. Come on. No, no, I would like to have my 30 bucks back. Well, this is the best I can do, Mario, because I'm not going to give you one of my hundreds, because you didn't pay $100 for it. What? That would be preposterous. Here, go on. Take it. I don't want it. All right, well, I guess you don't want it. Then. No, 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 I'll take it. I'll, I'll take it. I'll, at least I'll have it. Oh, sorry. You can pick that up. See you later, Mario. What? Ugh. <sighs> Who was at the door, Mario? The CEO of the Stretchy Spider-Man Company. Oh, did you get your money back? No, he gave me $25 off a $75 purchase at Victoria's Secret. Oh, that's cute. Can I have it? Yeah, he said I could buy you some edible underwear and have dinner. Ew, oh, Mario. You can eat underwear? I want to eat underwear, Daddy. No, give me your underwear. Let me eat them. No, it would Jimmy. No, let's just watch TV. Oh. Stretch it, pull it, stretch it, pull it. Introducing the new incredible stretchable Incredible Hulk. He's 30 times stretchable than the incredible stretchable Spider-Man. Here's Dr. Stretch once again to explain just how stretchable the Incredible Hulk is. Hi, it's me again, Dr. Stretch. Now, we received a lot of complaints last time about our stretchy Spider-Man ripping, which is completely preposterous since that's impossible since he was unrippable, but in any case, you're gonna love our next product. This incredibly stretchable, incredible Hulk. Now, this guy is made of Stretch Tanium 2.0. That's 30% less rippable than our last product, which was completely unrippable to begin with. So this guy is guaranteed to never rip, ever. Now that is a money back guarantee. And if he does rip, you will have double the money you paid for him. You take that to the bank. You heard it from the doctor himself. The new incredible stretchable Incredible Hulk will never rip. 30 times less rippable. Stretch Tanium 2.0, $29.95. If it rips, you get your money back guaranteed. Double your money back guaranteed. It's like you can buy two more of them. Buy it now. Oh! No. Daddy! No. Daddy, look! Oh! No. Oh, God, no. Daddy! Oh! No. no. Daddy, give me a No. No. Daddy, I need it. No, you're not. You're not getting. You're not getting it because the first one ripped, and that one's gonna rip too. So no, we're not falling for that, Jeffy. Daddy, go. Daddy, go what? Daddy, go buy me that toy. No.
Uh, Joseph, I'm bored. Yeah, me too, dude. <laughs> guys, guys, look what I got. Oh, no, Joseph, you got a teddy bear. Wow, you got a teddy bear to replace your stupid doll? No, no, I still have Ken. Wow, he has two of them now, a doll and a teddy bear. These two? But guys, do you know what this is? A teddy bear? A blue one? It's not just any teddy bear, it's a star belly. So, what's that do? Well, what's it do? What's it do? Junior, turn off the lights and I'll show you what it does. Well, are you gonna mess with my butt? No, not this time. Okay, let me turn off the lights. All right, Cody, I turned off the lights. All right, guys. Are you ready to see into another galaxy? It's just a teddy bear, Cody. Junior, I don't think you understand. What you're about to see, not that many people have seen and survived. You're about to travel across space at the speed of light. No way, dude. Yeah, you're bluffing, Cody. Hey, right, guys, are you ready? It can't be that great, Cody. It's just a... Oh! Oh! Cody! Oh, my God! Now, isn't it incredible? It's like the universe is on my ceiling! The coolest thing ever! Junior, it just busted a hole through your roof. We're looking at this space right now! That is so cool! Like, oh my god, we're like astronauts! Who oh, do wait, where's this line coming from? No, Joseph, don't look directly! <laughs> oh my eyes! My eyes! We have to call a doctor to help Joseph! Junior, I can't move! Junior, you can't move! Junior, can't move. Oh, okay, okay, okay. What we need to do is we have to kick the teddy bear off the couch. Okay. <laughs> okay. Oh, okay. Oh, I was trapped in the spell of it. Okay, let me call a doctor. It's okay, oh, Joseph. Oh god! Hey there, somebody call a doctor? Yeah, doctor, we think my friend went blind. Oh, how'd that happen? Did he look at my ugly wife? No, he looked inside that star belly. The star belly? Oh my god, those things are dangerous. They have the power of like a thousand suns inside of them. I mean, like looking inside of one of those is like taking your eyeball out and throwing it directly into the sun. Times a thousand. Uh, uh, like, like, where did you even find one of those? Yeah, I got it on the black market. Oh yeah, I shop there all the time for like organs, for transplants and stuff. Well, if Joseph looked inside, is he blind? Oh yeah, if he looked in there, he's definitely blind. Well, can I get an eye transplant? Oh yeah, sure, that'd be easy. Yeah, uh, that'll just be, hold on, let me figure out the price. Um, a million, billion, gazillion, cotillion, jillion, bedillion, zillion dollars. Well, we only have half a gazillion billion gazillion dollars. Well, sorry kid, that's just not gonna cut it. Have fun being blind, loser. Well, Joseph, I guess you're gonna be blind for the rest of your- Ha ha! Can't see! Hey, hey kid, hey kid, guess which letter of the alphabet you can't. What? C! He can't see! <laughs> you get it? Because he's blind, loser! Who is that? Anyway, Joseph, it looks like you're gonna be blind for the rest of your life. Dude, I'd give my show so I could see again. <laughs> Did someone say so? Ah, the devil! <laughs> yes, thank you, CJ. I got this. Wait, who's that? Oh, well, it is bring your son to hell day. So this is my son, Craig Jr., but he goes by CJ. Yeah, my name is CJ. Well, what are you doing here? Oh, well, I heard your friend say that he would sell his soul to get his vision back. Well, you already took his soul. Yeah, you took my show when you gave me my new show. Oh, that's right, I did. Oh, never mind. Come on, CJ. No, I don't want to go. I want to stay here and play toys with my friends. You, you want to stay here with these losers? Yeah, I want to play toys. Hmm. Okay, I have a deal for you. I am very busy in hell with a lot of paperwork. So if you could just watch Craig Jr. for a little while, I will give you your friend's vision back. Watch your son. But I'm so busy today. Yeah, me too. Guys! Okay, fine, we'll watch him. Great, then we have a deal. I'll be back in 24 hours to pick him up. So I guess we're watching the devil's son. Dude, I'll be right back. I gotta use the bathroom. Uh, uh, this door won't open! Uh, Joseph, wrong way. Oh, oh, oh okay. Go. That way. Thank you. Ow! Oh. So, CJ, what do you want to do? I want to start a fire. Where'd he poof to, Junior? What? He can poof? Well, of course he can poof. He's the devil's son. Of course he knows how to poof. Oh, he can be anywhere. He's going to start a fire! Mm -mm -mm. Cinnamon Toast Crunch, the taste you can see! <laughs> Thank you, Bible. Thank you, a Fire. Fire. Wait, what's the smell? Shit, baby, your hat's on fire! What? <laughs> Shit, baby, are you okay? No, I'm not okay. What was that? <laughs> bap, 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 fire. CJ, why'd you like Shit, baby's hat on fire? Yeah, fire. Give me that. Stop doing evil stuff. Junior, it's the devil's son. I don't know what you expect him to do. Boy, stuff. 
Oh, he pooped! Oh, where'd he poop to this time? Oh, where'd he poop to, Daddy? I don't know, Daddy. Uh, oh man, oh man! I can't wait to watch Charlie and Friends! It's my favorite show ever! <laughs> time for Charlie, who likes Charlie, we like Charlie, everybody hey, loves Charlie. Hey. Got Charlie, where's Where are you going with my TV? Get back here! <laughs> Babu, bap, bap, babu. Ah, I'm gonna kill you! Ah. Dad, what happened to your TV? Where'd he go? That little red thing threw my TV off the balcony! Oh, CJ won't stop doing evil stuff! Junior, it's the devil's son. I don't know what you want him to do. Oh, we have to stop CJ before he breaks more stuff. Wait, who's CJ? 1800, 1900, 2000. Baby, I finally have enough to pay my house payment on time. I'm so proud of you, Mario. Oof, poof. Yeah, give me your money. What? Hey! Come back here! Bah! No! My house, baby! Mario, stop, don't! This one at the door. It's Goodman. It's, put that fire out. Uh, hello. Hey, Mario. You called and told me that you had your house payment, so I came as fast as I could. So where is it? I don't have it anymore. How? How from the time that I left my mansion and got to your house? Where well, you see, like, this little mini devil, like, grabbed the money, and then he threw it in a pot of fire. What are you on, Mario? Well, I'm not on anything. You need to clean up and go to rehab. What do I, I'm telling the truth. Look, look, come here, look, I'm telling the truth. See, come and look, 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 the money's all burned. Why would you do that? I did not do that. The, the devil did. Uh, Mario, it looks like you made me money roni and cheese, and you burnt it. Well, no, I, I did not burn the money. It was an accident. Look, 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 look. Is, there, is there any way you can still accept the money? It's still intact a little bit. No! Mario, there's a million other things. I'd rather accept than this burnt money. Like I'd rather have a, a, a pimple on the inside of my butt crack. And every time I wipe, it just hurts a little bit, just to remind me that it's still there. Or I'd rather have an Applebee's gift card, and I don't even eat an Applebee's. <laughs> Where'd he go, Cody? Junior, he put a sewing needle in the Nerf bullet. Anyone who gets shot with that is gonna get seriously hurt. How evil! We gotta stop him! I would rather stick my hand in a porta potty for a nickel. I would rather. What is that? Wait, what? Bow, you bow, you bow, bow. What? Uh. What? Oh. Owie! I'm tired of you, get him! Oh, donkey! I can't wait to dig into my nice, delicious, creamy cream cheesecake! Oh, it's going to be like a chocolate soft serve when it comes out! Oh, it's going to explode my bowels! Alright, let's dig in! Oh! What happened to my cheesecake?! Oh, oh come here, you! I'm gonna get you! Oh, it was Shrek, what happened? That little red booger ate all my cheesecake! Where he came from? Oh, I'm playing my Mr. Red Guy. What doing? We have to stop him. Cody, he keeps doing a lot of evil stuff. We have to stop him. Who's at the door? Uh, hello? Hey there, I got a pizza for a guy named Shrek. Oh, don't get it, that's me! Alright, let me show you what you're getting. Oh, okay. Boom, take a look at that. Oh, delicious! Yeah, I'm Uber Eats. I gotta show you the pizza so you know I didn't spit in it. Okay. So how's that look? Oh, it looks delicious. Yeah, I made that happen. I'm Uber Eats. Right? That was rude! Donkey! What did you do to my pizza? Oh, CJ! Bad! CJ, you need to stop. You're being too evil and hurting people. Yeah. I never stop. Oh, God, please help us. Hey, what do you want? I'm playing a game right now. God? Yeah, yeah, whatever. I'm playing this plague game. Whatever I do in the game happens in real life. It's awesome. Well, well, well can you please stop that and, and tell CJ to stop being evil? <sighs> Fine. Hey, 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 CJ, stop it. I'm never going to stop. Mm. Well, I've done all I can. I'm going back to play my game. Uh, when's the devil coming back to pick up his son? 
Oh, oh thank God you're here. Oh, oh, don't say that. Oh, I'm here to pick up Craig Jr. How was he? Oh, he was so awful. Oh, really? He was so evil. Oh, well, what did he do? Well, first, he let Chevy B's hat on fire. Oh. And then, and then he threw my dad's TV off a balcony. Oh. And then he threw this guy's money into a fire. Oh. And then he knocked this guy's cheesecake on the ground. Oh, Craig Jr., is this true? Yes. Craig Jr., I'm so proud of you! What, you're proud of him? Yes, of course! He was too good before, so I'm so happy he learned how to be evil! Come on, Craig Jr., let's go steal candy from some orphans! Well, wait, but before you leave, you said you were gonna give Joseph his vision back! Oh, yeah, right. The black, okay, okay, your eyes are fixed now. Oh, I can see again! Oh, yeah! All right, guys, now that we all can see again, well, oh, Joseph can see again, what do you want to do now? Oh, I know what we're going to do now. Get the lights, Junior. Okay. <laughs> all right, guys, are you ready to go back to space? Yup. All right. Whoa! Oh, my God, it's so amazing! <laughs> oh. Dude, I can't help myself. I got to look at it again. Mario, I can't believe we waited till Christmas Eve to set up the Christmas tree. Well, baby, you know we have to wait for the trees to go on sale. We got this 75% off. Hey, Mommy! What is it, Jeffy? Can I put the star on top of the tree now? Um, yeah, you can. Okay, I'm gonna jump. But no, Jeffy, let me get a ladder. You're gonna hurt yourself. Yeah. No, 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 no! Uh. Jeffy, why would you do that? Daddy, I missed. Can you set the tree back up so we can try it again? No, Jeffy, and if you keep acting bad, you're gonna get nothing for Christmas. Ah! Ah! I want toys for Christmas! Jeffy, ah! you are getting toys! Oh, well then, everything I just did was necessary. <sighs> well, I don't know what he's gonna get for Christmas because I didn't get him anything. Mario, yes you did. What, what'd I get him? Jeffy, what was that toy you wanted? I want the Turbo Man action figure with the arms and legs that move and the boomerang shooter and the rock and roller jetpack and the realistic voice activator that says five different phrases including it's turbo time accessory sold separately batteries not included mario you said you got that for him last week i did yes mario watch the flashback i'm wearing a dubber i'm spanking it twice i'm gonna find out who's naughty or nice Jeffy Claus is coming to town. Oh, Jeffy, can you stop singing? I have a headache. Hey, Mario, did you get Jeffy's Christmas present yet? No, what does he want? That Turbo Man doll? What's a Turbo Man doll? What's Turbo Man? He's just the hottest toy ever. Daddy, check out this commercial. Check out the Turbo Man action figure with the arms and legs that move, boomerang shooter, and the rock and roller jetpack with the realistic voice activator that says five different phrases, including it's turbo time. Accessories sold separately, batteries not included. See, daddy, that. Give me half that. I have a headache, Jimmy. Shut up. Mario, you better go to the store now before they sell out. Oh, oh, look, I already have it. I already got it. You did? Yeah, I already got it. I, I bought it last week. I, I forgot that I bought it. Yeah, I totally bought it. I already got it, okay? Oh, Mario, I love you. Yeah, yeah, just everyone shut up. Oh, yeah, I guess I did say that. Did you get the Turbo Man or not, Mario? Uh, of course I got it, baby. I said I got it, I got it. Because if you didn't get Jeffy the Turbo Man, he'll have the worst Christmas ever. Facts. I will, Mommy. I will be the most ungrateful child you've ever seen if I'll have Turbo Man tomorrow. Well, we don't have to worry about that because I got Turbo Man. Mario, if there's not a Turbo Man underneath that Christmas tree tomorrow morning, I am leaving you. I can't be with someone that doesn't take care of their own child. Well, it looks like you can throw your suitcase away because I got Turbo Man. Like, I promise I got that Turbo Man. Daddy, hose bags stay packed. What? Nothing. Well, look, I just have to go to the toy store real quick. Why are you going to the toy store, Mario? Because I have to uh, get the, the, the... Because if you're trying to get Turbo Man at the last minute, they've been sold out for months. Well, baby, why would I go to the store to get Turbo Man if I told you I had Turbo Man? I already got Turbo Man. I, I just wanted to go to the store because uh, Jeffy said accessories not included. Facts and batteries, Daddy. Don't forget the batteries. Yeah, so I have to get the accessories because he's got to play with the accessories. Mario, it's Christmas Eve. The toy store's closed in like 10 minutes. Well, then why are we talking? Why are you wasting my time talking? I should be at the toy store. Oh, man, where is it? Where is it? I gotta find one. Hey, Mario, did you find a Turbo Man doll? What, you're looking for one, too? Yes, I need one bad. But me, too. I can't find one. Oh, ooh, there's a worker. Oh, hey, can I help you find something? Uh, yes, uh, do you have a Turbo Man doll? A, a what? A, a Turbo Man doll. Everyone wants one. A Turbo Man doll? <laughs> hey, hey, Murph, get over here. Yeah, what's up? This guy's looking for a Turbo Man doll. Turbo <laughs> <laughs> Turbo Man <laughs> Do you have one or not? No, we've been sold out for months. <laughs> so, so do you have one or not? No, no, we sold out of those months ago. What a loser. 
Oh. Look for Turbo Man oh, Toys. Oh, it's close oh. to Christmas. <laughs> oh, I can't believe Turbo Man sold out everywhere. I need one so bad. Me too. Look, if I don't get one, I'm dead. Why do you need one so bad? Look, Junior wanted this Turbo Man for Christmas, and Bowser said if I don't get it for him, he's gonna throw me into a volcano. Oh my God. Yeah, my life is on the line. Well, my wife's on the line. She said if I don't get Jeffy a Turbo Man, she's gonna leave me. Hey, Mario. What? What was that? Uh, I sneezed. Bless you. Uh, did you listen to what me and Chevy B were talking about? No, Mario. Okay, good, because it's about your Christmas gift. Oh? It's big. Oh. Expensive. Mario, did you get the accessories? What accessories? The Turbo Man accessories. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, we just got back from the store. I, I put them in the attic. Mario, I know you didn't get that doll. What, baby, I got the doll. I have a Turbo Man. I got the doll. Oh, you got a Turbo Man? Where did you find it? You told me you didn't get it. I'm lying. I'm lying. I'm lying to oh, her. Oh, oh, oh. Mario, I just heard you say that you're lying. What, baby, to him? I'm not lying to you. You're my baby. Oh, wow. You were lying to me, your best friend? Buddy, buddy, buddy. I'm not lying. I'm not lying to you. I'm lying to her. She's a woman. Bros before hoes. Oh. Oh, oh yeah, bros before hoes. Yeah. I forget, I forget. Mario, you're lying to me? Baby, I'm not lying to you. You're my wife. We've been married for years. I'm lying to him. He's a chef. So another lie! No, 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 buddy, I'm not lying to you. I'm lying to her. She's... Mario, what is going on? Oh, 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 look, look. I'm lying to both of you. Oh, oh I can't wow. believe you are lying to your best over friend. Over we both watch annoying brass and we, and we both have mustaches. Oh, okay! I lied to both of you. I lied. I don't have one. I don't have one, okay? I, I don't have one. I never got one. Mario, I can't believe that you're going to disappoint Jeffy and me on Christmas. Huh? We're going to do it on Christmas? Mario, I am leaving you. Who's that? Hopefully a man that will treat Jeffy better. I can't believe you were lying to your best buddy. Buddy. Hello? Hey, babe. Super D, my superhero ex-boyfriend. What are you doing here? Well, I just heard with my super hearing you say that you were leaving your boyfriend. Husband. Ew, divorce papers. Ugh, but you're worth it. And to be honest, Super D, I don't think I'm really leaving him. I think I'm just mad. <laughs> well, we'll see about that. Now, how about we go bake some cookies? Ooh, I love baking cookies! <laughs> I know you do. Yeah, we'll go make some cookies and I'll put in my AirPods while you talk about your problems. Oh, I would love that! Come on. Oh, man, I have to find a Turbo Man doll. I don't want Rosalina to leave me. Okay, all the stores are sold out. <gasps> But maybe it's online. eBay! Oh my god! I found one! Wait, you found the Turbo Man? Yeah, I found a Turbo Man on eBay. It's $550. Well, you better get it! Okay, I'll bid $600. That's the most I'll go. Ah, I can't take it anymore! Eating a burger with no honey mustard. 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 All right, Chef PB. Um, oh no, I got outbid! What? I bid $600 and then someone bid $500,000! Wait, 500,000? Who would do that? Hold on, let me see who that is. Uh, hello? Hey, it's me, Turbo Man. Oh, oh my god, I found one! What? Hey. What? Goodman, where'd you get Turbo Man? Oh, I won it off eBay. What? How much did you pay for it? $500,000. Wait, you outbid me? I sure did. I saw your username on eBay. Short, fat, bald Italian plumber. I was like, huh, that's Mario. What's he doing on here trying to spend $600 on a Turbo Man doll when he can't even pay his house payment? Look, 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 I need that doll. I need you to give me that doll. Well, too bad, Mario, because you know what I'm going to do with it? I'm going to create a YouTube channel called Smashing Turbo Man. I'm going to smash it right there on the channel for you to watch. Who plays you? I, I, I don't want my wife to leave me. She said she'll leave me if I don't get that. Well, good, because then maybe you'll have more time to make money to pay your house payment. But please, please give it through, man. So have a Merry Christmas, Mario. No, no, it's right there. I can smell it. I can taste it. <laughs> Mario's always lying to me, and he's always being mean to me. He kept saying over and over and over again that he bought the Turbo Man doll. And guess what? Super D? Yeah, what? He didn't buy the Turbo Man doll! Yeah, crazy. What's going on in here? Oh, hi, Mario. Super D and I were just baking cookies. What, baking cookies? What? Hey! Hey! Oh, hold on. Let me turn off my music. Hey, what's up, little man? Why are you baking cookies with my wife? Well, I heard your wife was sad, and I figured some cookies would cheer her up. <laughs> Let me tell you, your wife's cookies? What? Oh, man, hold on. Mm. Oh, God, your wife's cookies. They're out of this world. Put the cookie down now! Mario, shouldn't you be out looking for a Turbo Man doll? Baby, pro I promise you, I've been trying to find one. They're sold out everywhere. How are you going to explain to Jeffy tomorrow when he doesn't have one? You know, if you could find a Turbo Man doll, I'd really appreciate it. Wait, 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 hold on. What, what, what will she appreciate? Well, my son wants his Turbo Man doll for Christmas, and it's sold out everywhere. So if I could find one... It would make Rosalina really happy, and she probably wouldn't leave me. Oh, really? <laughs> hey, what's that over there? Wait, what, where's what? Oh my gosh, a Turbo Man doll! Super 
D, you're amazing. Yeah, it's not the first time I've heard that. We should put it under the tree for Jeffy. Uh, yeah. How did you get one? Well, I just went to the factory with my super speed and got one. It was the last one, too. What? Don't worry, little man. You never really had a chance. <laughs> I'm ripped. Uh, okay. Okay, no. I'm not gonna let this happen. I'm not gonna let him steal my woman. I'm gonna destroy that doll. I'm gonna destroy it. <laughs> we should put the person under the tree for Jeffy. Yeah, but what happened to your tree? Oh, it fell over. Can you help me put it back up? Oh, sure, but you're gonna have to lift it. Um, shouldn't you? You have super strength. Well, yeah, that's true, but you know, I've just been working out so much. And, oh, I'm really tired. You know, I mean, these are real muscles. Like, they're not just stitched into the suit. These are real, but I'm just tired, so I'm gonna need you to lift the tree for me. Oh, okay, I, I can try. Okay. Yeah, and there you go. Lift with your back. Yeah, really get in there. You're doing great. There you go. Oh, I can't do it. That's fine. It's under there. Uh, hey, you want to watch a movie or something? Oh, uh, yeah. We should watch Jingle All the Way. Okay, as long as it's not a chick flick. Eating a burger with no honey mustard. Eating a burger with no honey mustard. Hey, Chef Pee, I need your help doing something evil. Uh, are you okay, Mario? You're sounding a little crazy. All right, look. Rosalina's ex-boyfriend got Jeffy a Turbo Man doll. Wait, wait, he did? Where is it? Where is it? Uh, they put it under the tree, but I need your help to break it. Wait, to break it? It's a rare doll. We've been looking all day. Look, my life is on the line, Mario. Uh, I know, but my marriage is on the line. So... If Rosalina thinks that her ex-boyfriend got Jeffy a broken Turbo Man doll, Jeffy's gonna be upset, which is gonna make Rosalina hate her ex-boyfriend and love me. Yeah, sure. Let's just break it. Yeah, that's the plan. Let's go and break this stupid doll, Mario. Let's go. Yeah, yeah, let's go break I'm it. I'm in the mood to break something. All right, Chef PB. There it is, under the tree. Are you ready to break it? Oh, sure, Mario. I'll break it. I'll break this rare toy. You know what? I'm gonna wreck it like Ralph. All right, so I'm gonna lift up the tree, and while I have the tree lifted, I want you to start smashing that toy, like smash it over and over and over and over again. Oh, don't worry, Mario. I'm gonna smash it so much, I'm gonna be a part of the Super Smash Bros. All right, all right. That's awesome. All right, I'm gonna lift the tree. Oh, it's so heavy. Oh. Lift it, lift it. Start smashing it. Uh, Mario, you know what? Uh, I, I need this. <laughs> yeah, no, I, 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 get back here! What was that noise? Babe, look, someone stole the Turbo Man. Oh, no! Uh, uh, Mario, why are you under the tree? Oh, baby, it was awful. So, uh, I came to check on the Turbo Man, and a robber broke in. And then, uh, he, he, he took the Turbo Man, and then he threw this tree at me. Oh, Mario, are you okay? My lie detector powers say he's lying. What? Yeah, I think he helped his friend steal it because he was jealous of my ass. Mario, is that true? Uh, well, I just didn't want you to leave me. Oh, well, now I am, Mario. Is there any way you could get another one, Super D? No, that was the last one at the factory. Mario ruined Christmas. Yes, yes, he did. Mario's a Christmas ruiner. Come on, Super D, get me out of here. Come on, babe. Ugh. Oh, God, I hate my life. Oh, really? What, God? No, nah, because your life is so bad, right? You've got all your arms and legs and this house and your health. Yeah, that must suck. I guess you wouldn't miss it if I took all that stuff away. Well, no, no, I, I didn't mean it. I'm just upset. Oh, you didn't mean it. Of course you didn't mean it. They never mean it when I threaten to take it away. You know, how'd you like to be an ant, huh? That would suck. I could make you an ant. Do you want that? What, no. No, of course you don't. Ants are horrible. They just they just walk around and they, they bite people and they do ant stuff. I, I don't really know what ants do. They're just, they're just kind of useless, you know? Nobody really pays attention to ants. I mean, when's the last time you thought about ants, except for right now when I'm talking about ants? I bet you don't think about them at all. Like, if all the ants in the world disappeared, you wouldn't even notice. I bet you wouldn't. I'll do it one day. I'll make all the ants disappear. It won't even make the news. Watch. No one cares. No one cares about ants. Yeah? Well, I, I, I have a huge favor I need from you. No, 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 no. No favors. I get too many requests for favors this time of year. Like, Santa, I want a new bicycle. They, they call me Santa. I'm Santa. You know that, right? What, you're Santa? Well, of course I'm Santa. I have a big, bushy, white beard, and I wear red. I mean, do you really think a human being could visit every house in one night? What, no. No, no. Only I can do that, because I'm God. Oh, okay, well, well, look, I understand you don't want to listen to any other favors, but I need the biggest favor from you. All right, look, look, 
I need a Turbo Man doll. Oh, you need a Turbo Man doll. I need a Turbo Man doll. I've looked everywhere. I've been trying to find one all week. Wait, you can't find one? No, they're sold out all over the world. I've, I've checked every store in the world and even on other planets and no one has one. But you're God. You can do anything. Yeah, I know. And I've told them that. I've said, hey, hey, it's me, God calling, literally God. And they say, oh, I don't care who you are. I, I, we don't have any Turbo Man. It's impossible to find one. Oh, God. Well, I really need one. What do I do? My wife's going to leave me if I don't get a Turbo Man for my son. Hmm. Listen, son. It's not about the Turbo Man doll. It's about the Turbo Man inside. Inside you. I'm saying you should dress up like Turbo Man for your son. Uh, oh, yeah, because if I can't get Jeffy a Turbo Man, I could be his Turbo Man. Yes, exactly. But me, I'm going back to the store to try to see if I can find a doll. So, um, gonna, gonna need a ride. Well, well, can't you just poof anywhere you want to go? Yeah, I, I can. But to be honest with you, I've, I've had a few drinks and I probably shouldn't be poofing. I, I don't want another PUI that, that's poofing under the influence. You know, I, you know I'm on probation and I, I just re really can't afford to get busted right now. So. I'll grab my keys. Th thanks, man. Mm -hmm. Christmas morning! I can't wait to open up all my presents! Where did all my presents go? I'm sorry, Jeffy. Mario wasn't able to get you your Turbo Man doll. All I wanted for Christmas was Turbo Man! Daddy, Daddy hates you. You should love me instead. I won't disappoint you. It's Turbo Time! What? Hey there, did somebody want Turbo Man? Turbo Man? Yep, it's me, the real Turbo Man. Mario, is that you? Yeah, I dressed up like Turbo Man for Jeffy. <gasps> My daddy's the real Turbo Man? Yeah, I am. He's not really Turbo Man, he's just wearing a costume. It's Turbo Time. No one steals my family. I don't even need the doll anymore because my daddy's the real Turbo Man. Yep, it's Turbo Time. Mario, you saved Christmas. <sighs> hey, hey Mario, bro, look what I jacked from some family. Uh, you got a Turbo Man doll? Yeah. Uh, uh, Jeffy, look, you get the real Turbo Man doll too. Yay! It's Turbo Time. Oh, Mario, I love you. I, I wasn't giving you that to keep, but I want that back. That's... All right, guys, you ready to play superheroes? Oh, yeah, dude, but I'm the Joker. I'm Batman. I want to be Batman. No, Cody, I'm always Batman. You have to be someone else. Be Robin. I don't want to be stupid, stinky, ugly, dumb Robin. Okay, well, then go choose someone, but you can't be Batman. Oh, uh, Junior, you have another Batman. We can both be Batman. We both can't be Batman, Cody. There's only one Batman. Yeah, that's against the rules, dude. You have to give the rules. Y yeah, we can. Uh, look, hey, Batman, it's me, other Batman. No, you're one of those dumb Batmans that work on Times Square. What? Well, okay, Cody, look, we can both be Batman, but you're the uh, you're the Ben Affleck Batman. I'm Christian Bale. Well, I don't want to be Ben Affleck Batman. He was fat. Okay, well, then don't be Batman at all. Go be Mexican Superman. But, Junior, you always make me be Mexican Superman. Mexican Superman is the coolest. Yeah, Mexican Superman is awesome, dude. He always saves the day right in time to make it to his daughter's quinceanera. Yeah, he's so awesome. All right, let's get this over with. Okay. <sighs> hey, I'm the bad guy, Joker. You can't beat me. Meeting Batman. Oh, well, you don't understand who I have as my secret weapon. Who? Come on, say your thing. <sighs> so you Mexican Superman. <gasps> oh, no, not Mexican Superman with Batman. My two arch nemesis, I'm outnumbered. Yes, and you don't understand what he has up his sleeve. Say it. <sighs> hot plate. <gasps> not a hot plate. Oh, no, that's my weakness. Yeah, now hit him with the Baja Blast. <gasps> you. Oh, Baja Blast. Oh, I'm melting, I'm melting. And now you better get out of here before he gets the Gordito Crunch. Oh, not the Gordito Crunch! Yay, we saved the day! Arriba. All right, you want to watch TV or something? Oh, yeah. All right, let's watch TV. Hey there, have you ever wondered if you were related to someone famous? Well, now you can find out. Just call me at 1-800-FAMOUSDNATESTERS.COM.
and I'll personally come to your house and tell you who you're related to. You might even be related to Jeff Bezos. Maybe he owes you some money. Maybe maybe you're like a long lost kid of his or something. Come find out. Oh, guys, 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 I want to get DNA tested. I want to see what famous person I'm related to. I don't know, Junior. That place looks like a scam. Yeah, I want to get tested too. I, I bet I'm related to Abraham Lincoln. Oh, that'd be so cool. I know, right? I bet I'm related to George Washington Carver. Ooh. Who's that? The guy who invented peanut butter, duh. Oh, well, why would you be related to him? Because he's smoother than peanut butter, duh. Yeah, Cody, who do you think you're related to? A dork? <laughs> Dr. Dork? Yeah, yeah, uh, a Robert E. Dork? <laughs> Professor Dork with a degree? Uh, yeah, yeah, Ulysses S. Dork? <laughs> Captain Dork with the ship? Yeah, yeah, Elon Musk, Musky Dork? <laughs> yeah. Dork Dorky Dorky? Yeah, I Dorky? <laughs> My life as a teenage dork bot? Yeah. These are just TV shows. Uh, uh, a Dork and Josh? <laughs> Uh, I dorky. Oh man, dorky. Uh, ima dorks, imaginary home for dorks. Yeah. Uh, uh, what's it called? Um, a cat dork. South uh, dork. Uh, South dork. Uh, family dork. Uh, a cinnamon toast dork. Uh, Rick and dorky. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, uh, do dorks. A bunch of. Do oh, ooh, ooh, uh, um, I got one. Uh, this, 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 the dork life of, of Zach and Dorky. Oh, on deck. Oh, on deck. Oh, on deck. Okay, I will get DNA tested just so I can prove I'm not a dork. Oh uh, yeah, let's call a doctor so we get DNA. Tested. <laughs> Dork. Hey there, somebody call a doctor to get DNA tested? Yeah, we saw the commercial and we want to do the test to see who we're related to. Oh, it's really fun. You never know who you'll be related to. Like I did it, and my great-grandmother was Amelia Earhart. Really? Yeah, yeah, it explains why I'm so good at hide-and-seek, and so bad at flying planes. So, so, so how do we do it? Well, you see these DNA sample tubes? Yeah. Well, you just take some bodily fluid and put it in the tube. Okay, so like, I can spit in it? Yeah, sure, or whatever else, it doesn't really matter. Ooh, can I poop in it? Yeah, sure, why not? Yes. Oh, I know what I'm putting in there. All right, so uh, after we put the stuff in there, then what happens? I just run it back to the lab, then I'll have your results by the next scene. Okay, I'm gonna spit in mine. <laughs> Time to poop. Oh man, guys, I can't wait for our test results to be ready. All right, your test results are ready. They're ready, are they cool? Oh, they're cool. All right, Cody, we're gonna start with you. The most famous person you're related to is Thomas Edison. Whoa, no way, dude. Oh, that's so sick. Who am I related to? You, you're related to Neil Armstrong. Neil Armstrong, the first man on the moon. I knew I knew a lot about space. Whoa, an astronaut, dude. Oh, I know, it's so cool. Oh. Okay, Joseph, you're related. Martin Luther King. Oh, oh, oh. oh man, I always knew I had a dream. I dream every night. No, no, not quite, but close. Osborne Dorsey. Uh, who's that? He's the inventor of the doorknob. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. I'm always good with, you know, turning doorknobs. Yep, you have fun with that information. Oh, this is so cool! All right, guys, can we just admit that I'm related to the coolest person ever, Neil frickin' Armstrong? No, Edison is cooler because he invented the light bulb. Without him, we'd be in the dark right now. No, because if Edison wouldn't have invented it, somebody else would have invented the light bulb. Dude, the only way you would have been able to get inside your house today is because of my boy Dorsey. Well, no, because then Walmart invented those automatic doors. What? Yes, yeah, so we don't even need doorknobs. We don't even need him. See, 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 Neil Armstrong, he discovered the moon. He didn't discover the moon, Junior. He just went there. Yeah, and they say the first person to go on land discovered that land. So he was the first person on the moon. So he discovered the moon. And he got there with his cool spaceship. He flew there, landed, he got out, and then he danced on the moon. Dude, he wouldn't be able to get out of his spaceship without a doorknob. Well, he wouldn't be able to see the doorknob without a light bulb. Well, he, he wouldn't have been able to go to the moon if he wouldn't have discovered the moon in the first place. Dude, you use doorknobs for anything. No. No, no, you use light bulbs more because you use them every day. Uh, have you ever heard of a candle? Well, 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 well the, the moon lights up the sky at night. So, so, because without the moon, it would, uh, it would be... It would be dark. Yeah, without... Light bulb. No, without the moon. We knew... <laughs> look, 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 you wouldn't even know it was nighttime until you opened the doorknob. Well, no, 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 you, would, you wouldn't know... Well, actually, there's windows. See, Bill Gates invented windows, so you could look out the window. So we don't even need the doorknob. Who cares? But without doorknobs, we wouldn't even have knock-knock jokes. Ha, that's better. Well, without light bulbs, you wouldn't even be able to see who was at the door to answer it. Well, without, without the moon, you wouldn't know it was nighttime, so you know not to answer the door because not, scary people come at night or fans who don't know the rules. So, so, so that... Yeah, and see, without the moon, we wouldn't have waves. And without waves, we wouldn't have ships that would bring you materials to make your stupid light bulbs and to make your stupid doorknobs. So, so actually, you know what, Cody? I'm suing you. But why? I'm suing you because Thomas Edison got the idea for a light bulb by looking at the moon. Because he went outside and he said, ooh, I like that little light in the sky. Ooh, ooh I, I want to make one for my own. So he made a light bulb based on the moon. So I'm suing you. Yeah, yeah I'm suing you too, Cody, because there's no way Mr. Edison could make his light bulb without opening a door from Mr. Dorsey. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. See, 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 so Cody, you owe Joseph money. Well, actually, Joseph, you owe Cody money because because without the light bulb, Dorsey wouldn't have been able to make a doorknob without light. 
Nah, 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 nah. We had candles, bro. We had candles. Oh, yeah, yeah, candles. Okay, so, so Cody, yeah, you owe both of us money. Well, I'm not giving either of you money. Well, we don't need your stupid, dumb light bulbs, Cody. Well, okay, I'll just take away all the light bulbs in your house and see how you like it. We don't need them because we have the moon to light up everything. Nobody's going to need doorknobs then. Yeah, we don't need that either because I just have a door. I can just push the door open. I don't need a doorknob. That's dumb. I, I like Walmart automatic doors. I'm lazy. Yeah, you know what? I'm, I'm gonna take the moon away. And then what were y'all gonna do when y'all can't see at night? Oh man, this is such a huge mess. It's gonna take forever to clean up. Wait, what happened to the lights? Oh, it must have been a power outage. Uh, hey, Chef PP. Wait, C Cody, what are you doing? Uh, do you know if there are any more light bulbs in the house? Wait, 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 why are you stealing our light bulbs? Oh, I'm not stealing these. I own these. My great-great-grandfather was Thomas Edison. Look, I don't care who your great-grandfather is. Put my light bulbs back. And tell that to Junior. He thinks Thomas Edison didn't do anything. What? And done. I just finished my Apollo 11 Lego sculpture. So I'm just like my great great grandfather, Neil Armstrong. What, what happened to the lights? <coughs> hey, Junior. What are you doing here, Cody? Well, I'm just collecting all of my light bulbs that my great great grandfather invented. Wait, wait, you stole my light bulbs? Oh, I'm not stealing them. Since my great great grandfather invented them, they're mine. Well, well, I was building my Apollo 11 Lego sculpture. See, look, there's me, and there's my great great grandfather, Neil Armstrong. See, see, um, I, I didn't see any light bulbs on the Apollo 11. Yeah, that's great. Well, I'm gonna just take all of these light bulbs back to my house where I'll have all the light. Well, well, when you're walking home, guess what's gonna help you light up the streets when you get home? Uh, the moon. Well, there are also street lights. And guess what's in those street lights? Light bulbs! Well, well, you're dumb and, and stupid. Ugh, Joseph, get out of my way. Ah, uh, 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 where do you think you're going? Home. Uh, home? Where? Through this door? You know you gotta use this circular thing. What's it called again? A doorknob. Can I please use the doorknob? I guess so, for a thousand dollars, and if you praise my great granddad Dorsey. Well, I don't have a thousand dollars. Well, get an appraisal. Hey, Cody, bring me back my light bulbs. Oh, now you want them. I thought they were useless. Well, they are useless, but I bought them, so they're technically mine now. Uh, look at that, I forgot one. Hold on. Well, no, Cody, don't, don't grab don't light. do it. Oh, oh, come on, Cody. That's better. Well, well, at least you can't get through this door. Oh, uh, yeah. Okay, Junior, I'm going out your window. Well, well, uh, peasant! So, so where are you going now, Cody? I'm going home. Well, the whole walk home, you better not ever look up. If you ever look up at the moon, you owe me $100. Okay, fine. I don't want to look at the moon. I've seen it before. You better not ever look up. Don't look up. I'm not. Don't look up. Junior, I'm not looking at the moon. You better not look up. <sighs> Junior, are you going to follow me all the way home? Yeah, because I don't want you to look up at the moon because that's my moon. That's my great-grandfather's moon. You can't look at it. Okay. If you look at it, you owe me $100. I'm not going to look at it. Don't look at it. Don't look at Oh, my God, Cody. Like, if there was a time to look at it, you should look at it now. It's the most beautiful full moon in the world right now. Oh, oh, Cody, look, there's a man on the moon. Junior, there's no man on the moon. There was. My great-great-grandfather, Neil Armstrong, he was on the moon. That was the man on the moon, the only man on the moon. And that's why I own the moon. And you better not look at it or you owe me $100. Junior, shut up. It's the most beautiful moon in the world. Like, if you want to look at it, you can pay me $100. I don't care, Junior. Like, this walk home would be so boring if you didn't have the moon right there. That big, beautiful moon brightening up the streets. Junior, I'm not looking at it. it but you better not look at it. You better not look at it. I'm not going to look at it. Are you sure? Yes. It's so, it's so pretty. Okay, I'll let you look at it one time. No. I'll let you, free, for free. You can look at it one time. No, I don't even want to now. Look at it for free, like one time. Shut up, Junior. Go away. Junior, you broke all my light bulbs. Well, they technically weren't your light bulbs. They were mine because I bought them. Junior, you owe me so much money now. Well, no, I don't. Just because he invented them doesn't mean that I don't own them if I buy them. Like, I'll sell you a piece of the moon. How about that? No, Junior, I don't care. I don't want to see you right now. Well, no, I'll, I'll sell you one piece of the moon if you stop getting mad. God, I can't stand Junior. I, I uh, where do you think you're going, Cody? In my house. Oh, in your house? Don't you think you have to use a doorknob? Well, well yeah, but jo Joseph, this is ridiculous. This is my house. But this is my doorknob. A Dorsey doorknob. <sighs> okay, fine. I guess I'll use a window. <laughs> Get to climbing. <sighs> guess I'm just going to sit on my couch with no light. Well, you know what? I do have light. I have the moon. And it's just the, the roof is blocking the moon. But I don't need stupid dumb light bulbs. They're dumb. Hey, uh, wait, why is it so dark in here? Oh, my friend's great-great-grandfather was, uh, uh, the inventor of light bulbs, so he took all my light bulbs. Oh, yeah, about that. I have an important update about your DNA test results. Uh, can you get your friends back here? I can try, but they're really mad at me. Yeah, uh, just so you know, there's also a guy who's over by your front door charging people a thousand dollars to use his doorknob. <sighs> That's Joseph. Joseph, get up here! Get Cody! What is it, Junior? The doctor says he has to tell us something. What do you want, dude? <sighs> Cody, can we please have a light bulb just while you're here? Okay, but you only get one. <sighs>
All right, doctor, what'd you have to tell us? Well, uh, it looks like the test results I gave you before were wrong. Wrong? Wait, I'm not related to Neil Armstrong? No. Well, well, well Cody's not really related to Thomas Edison? Nope. Well, well, Joseph's not related to Dorsey? No. Well, then who are we related to? Well, I got your real test results right here. Let's start with Joseph. You are related to Michelangelo. Oh, dude, that's awesome! I always wanted to be a Ninja Turtle, and I already lived in sewers. <laughs> yeah, and Junior, you are related to Crush from Finding Nemo. I mean, that's still pretty cool. Like, what's up, Jelly Man? What's up, Jelly Man? Hey, Jelly Man. Hey, Jelly Man. And you, Cody, are related to Vern from Over the Hedge. <laughs> Vern? Over the Hedge? Vern? <laughs> I hope you haven't seen that movie. Yeah, you guys, you guys have fun with that information. All right, guys. Do we even have to discuss who's related to the cooler turtle? Dude, it's me. I'm a ninja. No, it's me. He rode the East Australian current. No one else did that. Well, I uh, went over the hedge. <laughs> went uh, over the hedge. Uh, Vern. Uh, Vern. <laughs> what type of name is Vern? <laughs> uh, give me my light bulbs back, you oh, dork. Gosh. <laughs> Mario, I can't believe it's about to be 2021! I know, I can't wait for this year to be over with. 2020 sucked. Hey, Danny! Jeffy, stop spanking your diaper. Why? Because it's annoying. Jeffy, doesn't that hurt? Nope. Well, Jeffy, if you keep doing it like that, it's gonna hurt. <laughs> Je Jeffy, stop it! <laughs> Jeffy! <laughs> Ow! Jeffy, are you okay? <laughs> Je Je Jeffy! Uh, are you okay? Stop! Jeffy! <gasps> It sounds like you broke something. Yeah, Dad. It hurts so bad. Oh, call a doctor. Call a doctor. Okay. It's, it's going to be okay, Jeffy. Hey there. Somebody call a doctor on New Year's Eve. Oh, dear God. He's been drinking. You know, you know, I I hope it's worth it because, because I ran over my cat backing out of the driveway on the way here. So please, please tell me what's so important that it was worth me backing over my cat. Huh? Huh? Tell me. Uh, I, I didn't know you ran over your cat. Is he okay? Is he okay? Is he okay? You sound just like my wife. Is he okay? Well, I'll tell you what. How about you lay behind the wheel of a Ford Focus, and I'll back over your entire body, and I'll ask you if you're okay. How does that sound? It'll be fine. Oh, oh, well, well we, we called you because my, my son is, is, is in pain. Jeffy, show him. All right, this is what I was doing. Ow, 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 stop, stop, stop doing that. There, problem solved. I'll bill your insurance. Well, well no, he, he said he's still in pain, though. Well, of course he's in pain. He's been smacking himself in his private parts. It's gonna hurt. Well, I, I think we should do an x-ray. Oh, you, you think we should do an x-ray? Oh, I didn't realize you were a doctor. Well, I'll tell you what. I'll tell you what. You go to two years of community college, and you drop out, and then go to a Halloween store and buy yourself a doctor costume, and then you can tell people what to do, buddy. But for now, I'm the doctor. Uh-huh. You got it? Okay, well, I just, he's still in pain, so I would like to, to do an x-ray. Okay, all right, we will do the x-ray, okay, because me, the doctor, said we were going to do the x-ray. It's my idea that we do an x What is that noise? What is that? Th th there is no noise. What? You don't, you don't, you don't, you don't, you don't hear that noise? No. Huh. So, can we do the x-ray? Yes, yes, we will do the x-ray. I'm, do I'm doing it. All right, I got your son's x-ray. Um, what's all these lines on the, the paper? The printer ran out of ink, okay? Okay, you probably could have figured that out just by looking at it. Oh, well, can you put more ink in the printer? Oh, my God. What, what, what? You think I'm like Superman or something? You expect me to do all of these things today on New Year's Eve? You, you, you know, I'm not even supposed to be here. I was at home partying, and then you called me, and then I ran over my cat, Mr. Puffy Pants, and now he's probably in worse condition than your son is. God, this year sucks. You, you hear me, 2020? You suck. You, you hear that? You suck. This year sucks. Uh, what, what, what's wrong with my son on the x-ray? Uh, yeah, your son. Uh, you, you, you see those cracks right there? Yeah. Yeah, they're not supposed to be there. That That is the result of years of him doing this little number right here. Oh, well, well look, can you tell him to stop? Uh, you, you, you need to tell him to stop it. What? Stop it. Well, no, tell him he's right there. Hey, 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 you listening? War. Stop it. Didn't have to. No, no, you're right. You don't, you don't have to. He doesn't have to, you know, but you know, if you keep doing it, this is going to get worse and then you're not going to be able to walk anymore. You're going to be like Mr. Puffy Pants. who's more like, 
We're like Mr. Flat Squishy run over pants because I ran him over. I'm so sorry. Well, Jeffy, if you keep smacking your diaper, you're not going to be able to walk anymore. Do you want to keep walking? Yeah, I want to keep walking. Well, you can't keep smacking your diaper. Ooh, Jeffy, Jeffy, your New Year's resolution to be should, should, should be to not smack your diaper anymore. Okay. Yeah, yeah, and my New Year's resolution is going to be to look in the rearview mirror when I back out of the driveway. And not to answer your calls on holidays anymore, because look what happens. Nothing good. Now, if you'll excuse me, I gotta go check on Mr. Puffy Pants. All right, Jeffy, you heard the doctor. No more spanking your diaper. It's gonna be your New Year's resolution. What's a New Year's resolution? A New Year's resolution is at the beginning of every year. You're supposed to come up with a goal. Is this story almost over yet? <sighs> Jeffy, listen. A New Year's resolution is a goal you set at the beginning of the year, and you try to stick to that goal. See, your goal is to not spank your diaper for a whole year. Ow. Jeffy, you already lost. But Mario, it doesn't start till midnight. Ooh, baby, baby, when's midnight? Um, another five minutes. Hurry, order a pizza. Why, Mario? Because if we order a pizza right now in 2020, then after midnight, when it's 2021 and the pizza comes, we can say, what took you so long? I ordered this pizza a year ago. Oh, Mario, I don't think the pizza delivery driver's gonna like that. He already has to work on New Year's. He's gonna think it's hilarious, baby. Like, no one's ever done that before. They're gonna think it's really funny. And, and, and see, my New Year's resolution is I wanna be a jokester. I wanna make people laugh. But, Mario, I think your New Year's resolution should be to work on your hairline. What? Uh, no, no, see, 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 if I'm funny, I can make jokes about it. Like, who's the bald guy? Me! Ha, ha. <laughs> see, see, I like making people laugh. I'm gonna order a pizza. All right, baby, I ordered the pizza. Mario, Mario, the ball's about to drop! Mine weren't televised when both of mine dropped. Ooh, ooh, ten, ten, nine, five, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, two one. one! Happy New Year! <laughs> oh, baby, baby! You hear that? The doorbell! But Mario, we're supposed to kiss! I, kiss me. I gotta make that joke! But Mario! Oh man, this is gonna be so funny. Uh, hello? Hey there, did you order a pizza? Oh good, it's you! The guy who made me run over my cat! Oh, uh, I'm sorry. Yeah, and I hope you're happy, because I also ran over my dog on the way here. Uh, oh, well, what took you so long? I ordered this pizza a year ago! <laughs> oh, I get it. Yeah, like a year ago, huh? <laughs> Happy New Year! What? Hey! <sighs> Did the pizza delivery driver laugh at your joke? Well, he kind of laughed, and then he threw the pizza on the ground. Mm-hmm. Mario, you didn't kiss me on New Year's! Oh, baby, I, I totally forgot. Like, I was trying to do my joke. It, it was supposed to be a funny joke. <sighs> Um, Daddy, I really need to spank my diaper right now. Well, no, Jeffy, it's your New Year's resolution. You can't spank your diaper for the whole year. Okay, Daddy. Hey, Jeffy. Huh? Daddy, did you say something? No. It's me, your diaper. What? My diaper? Don't you want to smack me? Uh, yeah. Come on, Jeffy, smack me. You know you want to. I really do want to, but I can't. I've been a naughty diaper. You need to smack me. Oh, I know you've been naughty, Mr. Diaper. I want to smack you so hard. Hold on, let me ask my daddy. Um, daddy, can I smack my diaper just one time? No, Jeffy, it's your New Year's resolution. You cannot smack your diaper. You can't do it. But I really want to smack my diaper. No, Jeffy. Oh. Sorry, Mr. Diaper. My daddy said no. Don't listen to your dad. Smack me! Well, I have to listen to my daddy, because it's my New Year's resolution. Come on! Smack me! No, Diaper. I said no! Smack me! I said no! Smack me! No! Jeffy, stop screaming! Jeffy, why won't you smack me? Everyone stop yelling at me! But Jeffy, who's yelling at you? You're yelling at me, and my diaper's yelling at me! What, your diaper's yelling? Jeffy, your diaper's not yelling at you. Yes, he is, Daddy! He really wants me to smack him, and I'm trying not to! Well, don't smack it, Jeffy. I'm not! See, you're not Mr. Diaper. I'm not smacking you. Please! No, Mr. Diaper. I don't care if you say please. He keeps talking to his diaper. I don't know what's going on, Mario. I'll give you a cookie if you smack me. Hmm, a cookie? That is tempting. Smack me. But if I smack you, I'll lose my New Year's resolution. Smack me. All right, I'll do it for a cookie. Wait, really? Yeah, as long as it's chocolate chip.
Mm, mm. Oh yeah, oh yeah, that that right there is what I'm talking about. Oh yes, sir, yes, sir. Oh, hit me harder. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Um, Mario. What? Jeffy. Jeffy! You just messed up your New Year's resolution. You're gonna hurt yourself. But my diaper said he was gonna give me a cookie. Wait, wait, Jeffy, your, your diaper's not gonna give you a cookie. Stop it! Hey, 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 why'd you tell him to stop? Jeffy, I can't believe you already ruined your New Year's resolution. Mario, he lasted a whole two minutes. A minute and a half longer than I did. It, anyway, Jeffy, I, just, I, I can't believe you. Like, the doctor told you if you kept doing it, you were gonna hurt yourself. Like, you don't care about walking, you're gonna lose your ability to walk. And why'd you do it, Jeffy? Well, Daddy, the diaper said he was gonna give me a cookie. Well, where's the cookie at? Huh? Where's the cookie at, Mr. Diaper? Stop talking to your diaper, Jeffy. It can't talk. God help us. Hey, hey. Happy New Year. Oh, God. Yeah? He's drinking. Uh -huh. Hey, how's everybody's New Year's going? Um, it's, it's going pretty bad. Jeffy already broke his New Year's resolution. <laughs> yeah, yeah, me too. Ooh, <laughs> hello. Hey, did it hurt? Did what hurt? When you fell from my house. <laughs> you get it? Because cause I live in heaven. Oh, yeah, I get it. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh party foul. <laughs> Sorry about that. Hey, 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 if I made you in my image, I must have some nice cans. <laughs> That's my wife. Oh, uh oh, uh oh. Oh, sorry, man. <laughs> sorry, I didn't mean to make you mad. Oh, well, what are your plans for the new year? Oh, I don't know. I might uh, just uh, flood the entire world again. <laughs> Thinking about doing that. I did it one time before, you know. But then this guy, this crazy lunatic, made a boat and saved all the animals in the world. His name was like Old McDonald or something. That's crazy. Yeah, please don't do that. Yeah, or or I could have aliens take over the entire world. See how you guys do with that. No, yeah. pl please don't do that either. Yeah, yeah, you, you know how the Mayans thought the world was going to end in 2012? Maybe they just got the numbers backwards. Maybe it was 21. <laughs> Stay tuned and find out. <laughs> <laughs> well, um, I, I, I need a favor from you, God. Yeah, yeah, of course you do. What is it? So Jeffy cracked his pelvis, and I want to know if you could, you know, fix it. Mm, yeah, sure, whatever. Poof. But Jeffy, does it work? Try it. All right, hold on. <gasps> it doesn't hurt anymore, Dad. Oh, thank you, God. Yeah, yeah, you'll just blame me for your next problem like you always do. Anyway, this party's lame. I'm going to Vegas. See ya. All right, Jeffy, God fixed your pelvis bone, so don't smack it anymore because you got a fresh start. All right, Daddy. I think I'm just going to limit myself to 30 diaper smacks a day, which is less than the 300 I usually do. No, Jeffy, don't, don't smack your diaper. <sighs> well... At least we're in the new year. Boop. Boop. Jeffy's. <gasps>